Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are back with yet another key Kraken Game Pass game and this time it is all in Tinykins, a Pikmin similar type puzzle adventure game developed by Splash Team, published by Tiny Build and is usually available for £20.99 but you can get it for free with Xbox Game Pass right now. So you know, deload that shiz buddies and girl buddies. So we play as Milo, a guy who arrives on Earth expecting a welcome, a home except he's more plankton sized, tiny and nobody's around and a day hasn't passed since 1991. <laughs> Such simpler times. Anyway, we with the help of our tiny friends build bridges, use and abuse them in such ways to get find out what the hell's going on. Now as for achievements and trophies, there's nothing you can miss but every level we have to collect an insane amount of pollen, they kind of look like golden wart or something. We have to find a ghost on each chapter, collect every letter on every level, but the main big boy is basically collecting every single tinykin on every single level. It's one of those fun, but if you miss something somewhere, can get very annoying scouring over the whole level to find one bloody thing. So this is why this guide comes with actual commentary too, to actually help you instead of you having to pause a video every three seconds. Hopefully we can get this done in around five to six hours. So with that being said, then let's begin. And when we begin, we're going to be playing for the prologue for the next sort of 10 minutes or so. Um, if you, we're just going to run up to Rigney here, who is kind of like, I don't know, just looks like one of those guys who just has not shaved in his entire life. Which I'm jealous because my beard kind of looks like a spider crawled and died in my face, unfortunately. So these are just little hint type things here, so use the right stick to move around, press the A button to jump, of course, as is usual. Now if you press and hold the A button after you jump, you will be able to use, um, well, it's basically like a double jump, so you're in a bubble, you can float, float over to the other place, so hit one of these eggs, and this is what the tiny kins are then. So they will end up helping you in such ways, obviously as we go through the levels, there will be um, better tiny kin, which will help you in different ways, so we basically need to collect 30. So we're going to grab all seven of these here. If one did go onto the floor, just jump down, grab it, and use that rope. Just walk straight up to that rope and climb up. Otherwise, we can just go up to Beard Mc... Beard Face. Oh, sorry, I uh, <coughs> choked on absolutely nothing right there. So then, we can just spam the A button to just get through any bit of dialogue, which is all good. And now we will sort of just... Well, let's begin the prologue, right? So what we're going to do then... From here, we are going to head to the left, jump down off these books, and we can jump on these uh, bongos and things like that. We're going to grab uh, another four up here. So jump. So what I'm going to do, especially with the later levels, is I'm going to keep pressing the pause button uh, just to make sure that you've got the same amount of tiny kin that I have and the same amount of pollen that I have. But again, we'll come to that in just a bit. We're just going to go straight forward, grab another three right here. So we should be on 14 of the little eyeballs. Taranga Leelas. Go around and just go underneath and we're going to get up to 19 now. Go to the right, or sort of, you know, straight on more or less, next to this, oh, the Maya calendar when we were all supposed to die right in 2012. Well, that went well. Still alive. Barely. Uh, climb up the rope again and we're going to collect, uh, we just collected a couple down there, going to collect another one now. Jump across again, press and hold the A button to bubble your way across, jump down off to the desk. There's 27, and then we could just simply go across, grab all 30, and this is where the fun stuff comes in. Now we can throw them. Uh, we can get an achievement for throwing the tiny kins at the old beard face, but we're just going to um, use it at the flower pot. So hold the left trigger, and then just press the A trigger, uh, the A trigger, the right trigger to shoot. Sorry. It's, what's the time? It's, it's half past nine in the morning. I, you think I'd be used to this, having kids waking up at half five every morning. Death. But once that is done, now you will keep those tiny kins, which is all good. So again, press the left trigger and throw at least 20 at them to get the goggles. And this basically ends this portion of the first uh, prologue. Uh, it's in the next room where we're going to get another couple and a couple of bunch of achievements. So uh, it's a fun game, very enjoyable. But like I said, with the collectibles, as we're going to be able to see, it can get very stressful, which is why hopefully... My commentary will provide a little bit, just a, just just to make things a little bit easier instead of, because I know there are various guides out there, I've checked them out, I've had a little look at them, and it gets stressful when you're having to look at the different screen, pause, 
have a look at your screen. Make sure you've got the same ones. And not all of them will show you if you've got the same ones that I have. So that's why I'm going to be hopefully making this as easy as I can. So when this bit's done, we can now head through and into the next area. The Chrysal Workshop. This is where I come to cry when my calves don't grow. Which is a lot. Uh, but basically, so after every level, this is the workshop that we come back to. Uh, so every... Basically, we need to collect just one big thing. This is These are what we need to collect in every level. Um, and we've obviously got the first one. So, job done there. But we'll come back to this bit with the thing that we've grabbed in every level. So, uh, Prattle, who looks like... Nerd! But it looks better than me, which is depressing for me. What we can do though, luckily now, is if you press and hold the right bumper button, we can now slide on a piece of soap, which never seems to disintegrate. So again, that comes in mega handy for us. Um, so again, just smash through all the dialogue. These are our little friends, so we can actually just um, pure, literally, we can just grind our way up there on our soapy skateboard, which is banguin, mans. So if we just keep going straight for now, straight in front of us, Again, press and hold the right bumper there to use the soap. Have a just have a chat to Sikaru, and these are what the pollen are. Now, again, just for the first level that we're going to come up to, we need to collect sixteen hundred. So you can already see that that is a pain in the bumder snatch, right? Uh, but now we're going to do some epic Tony Hawk grinding up. So just press and hold the right bumper all the way until you get up to the top, and then we're going to do the same up the next string. <laughs> So then when we get to the top, what we're going to do is speak speaking to Prattle here, who is, I mean, dude, if you want the ladies, you've got to ditch the bow tie. You've got to, apparently, according to every TV and movie ever, all you've got to do is be a jerk to women and they love it. That's not entirely true. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I was a jerk once and then I got punched in the bows. So it didn't really work out for me that way. Um, so yeah, don't be a jerk to women. There's just no point. So we are now onto the final area and this is where we're going to get a couple of achievements. Now you're not actually going to see it. One achievement should have already unlocked for you, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to mention when we moved the flower pot. And it didn't unlock because the first couple I did and then my game completely crashed and messed up, so I had to do it from the beginning again. So, uh, something on my part there. So, all we need to do is just keep chucking Tinykins at the old bearded McFace head. Um, for around a minute or so, we need to chuck a hundred at him. And then eventually, what's going to happen is, as soon as you've um, done that, and you've... It does take about a minute. Uh, so, just keep going, literally, until the... But why achievement unlocks? So, like I said, we're just going to get these first couple of... There are a couple of miscellaneous ones in this game, but they're very, very easy. So just keep going then until the but why achievement unlocks. And then just chuck one tiny kin at the key and then bubble your way across. Don't worry about the tiny kin, they will always follow you. Grind your butt snatch up. And then just before we're going to throw the key in the door, what we're going to do is we're going to jump down. And just before you hit the floor, we're going to press the A button. But you have to do it just before you hit the floor. So, as you can see now, that's obviously not going to work. By the way, I, I threw that in because, now, if we just do it literally, press the A button just before you hit the floor, the um, Miraculous Reflexes achievement will unlock. So, um, yeah, if you do it too far above the ground, it won't unlock. So, just keep going until that one unlocks. Um, also, what I did show you is we throw the key in the door, so we're now going to go into the city of Sancta, the first level. Um, yes, if you die, if you fall from a great height, you will literally just start from the same edge that you just um, sort of jumped off. So if you mess up for whatever particular reason, just jump off an edge, die, and you can just go straight back there instead of trying to climb your way up. And all that tang. So there we go, jump down, head through. Okay, here we go, the city of Sancta. Now, of course the rooms are not that big, but because of the collectibles that we have to grab and everything, it can seem like a bit of a shit of a business. Um, now we're going to grab a few achievements in this level as well, but uh, yeah, so hopefully the um, commentary, sorry, I'm really struggling to get my words out today. My English is just as good as my Italian, to be honest, so far today. Non-existent. Uh, which isn't good in a video guide. 
Uh, but no, hopefully the commentary will help. Um, I will be telling you how much you're supposed to have at the same time that I have. Um, there are two little mistakes that I show. Um, I say two little mistakes. I basically had to do a little bit of cheeky editing, but I will let you know and come up to that when we get there. Otherwise, we are going to begin. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do this. Right. First things first, go to the left. You can see there's just crap everywhere to collect. So we're going to grab these first uh, bits of tiny kid. Now these are explosive ones. And we're going to be getting another achievement called Sniper in just a bit. And that is for just throwing a tiny kin egg um, at another tiny kin. Uh, a tiny kin at a tiny kin egg. That's what I'm saying. So grab these. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go backwards on ourselves. Sort of to where these bongos are. And just in between this little cubby hole, we should now be on eight tiny kin. So grab the four. From here then, we're going to go sort of left. Sort of straight and left on ourselves. You can see the big grate on the right. And we're going to grab another five tiny kin eggs right here. Um, grab one of your tiny kins, throw it at the egg, and this is where you will unlock the sniper achievement as well. Uh, so just make sure to get that out of the way. Grab another three, and then start heading to the right. Uh, there's nothing here. Go past these two tiny broskies to grab another three tiny kins. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with ass. Uh, I meant gas. Right, those three little piano keys are where there's hidden pollen, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So keep heading uh, sort of past the xylophone stairs grab another three tiny kin jump up here grab another three and then you need to use two on each of these to grab the pollens now as you can see in the top right hand corner that is your pollen count so we're going to be getting yet another achievement so go into the water and immediately get out that will get you the swim like a stone achievement uh, but don't go too far in because you'll die straight away so that should, will get you the swim like a stone achievement. So heading up here and we're grabbing another couple of um, pollen. Jump down, grab another three tiny kins and then jump on the videotape. Jump over to the cassettes and there's a whole bunch of um, pollen. They look like golden chicken nuggets, don't they? Or golden jenny warts. Uh, but we can just jump up. We're going to grab our first bits of hidden ones. They're, that's just showing you where to get the swim like a stone achievement if it didn't unlock. So just throw uh, one each of your, I keep going to call them Pikmin, your tiny kin, and that will be three bits of hidden pollen there to grab. So now just go straight uh, past the candles, sort of back to where we began or where we started the level. Grab the three blue tiny kins, um, go to the right here, and grab the next four tiny kins. Right, jump up on this book. There's another two blue ones. I think they're blue. Eh, we'll call them blue for the level. So jump up. And we're on to a guitar. There's another three red ones to grab. And we can bounce, bounce. But we're actually going down. Oh, my God. We're going in the hole. Going in the hole, boys and girls. Right. There's a couple of grab here. There's three on the tables. There's uh, four, sorry, on the tables. Plus, there's a bunch on the stage as well. So you should be on 91. And uh, now we should grab a couple more here. So you should be on 97. I think that looked like there. I don't know if I was going nuts then. Uh, but that is all for this area. Like I said, there's a lot of little hidden areas. So, um, yeah, let's just keep cracking on with it. So jump off the guitar then. And uh, what we're going to do, the center hut is basically right there. So we're going to go underneath the carpet, grab these bits of, that's 111 we should be on. Uh, the pollen. And then what we can do now, make sure to grab the red tinykins here. It's basically, this is where the center hut is, right in this carpet. So make sure to grab the next three red. And another three red here should be on 32. And grab the three pollen. Keep going. And just to the right is going to be yet, yet another three. And like I said, it is absolutely constant, this. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to head into this little area now to the right of us. Uh, make sure to grab the first two. And then just go through all the dust bits. Go to the right to grab another two red ones. And then if we go straight ahead, you can see just hidden there was another couple. Should be on 122. So if you press the start button, you can see on the menu uh, how much tiny kins you've got. And then on the next page, you should see how much pollen you've got. So grab another three there from underneath that little mirror. Go to the left and then grab these next bunch. Should be 134 right now. And grab the nether next three tiny kin. And then this is the next bit of hidden pollen then. Smash it open. Grab a bunch. Job done. Now, like I said, what I will say is, if you're not on the same as me, um, it's easier to just go back, sort of backtrack to where we've been, so you can grab the one that you may have missed. 
So that is why is it, it is very important to just keep checking that you're on the same page as me. Um, so just pause the video if you want and then have a look just to see if you've got the same amount as me. If not, but like I said, backtrack and then have a look. Go straight from there. Now we're going to be grabbing a couple of achievements here. You can see like a frog thing right in front of us, but we're going to light up this whole area. So grab this first candle, throw a Pikmin at this first candle. Uh, nothing here, but if we go behind us, there it is. It's basically in the center. We're going to open up the door, but you're going to make life just a little bit easier for us there. So that's job done. That's the outside, as you can see. So chuck another tiny kin at these three. Turn directly around, and there's going to be another two to throw them at. So throw them, boys. Throw them little blue balls that you've got. Right, go to the right, and there's going to be another candle to throw. Job again. Uh, don't worry about the ants. They just do nothing. Go to the right here. You can see another three red ones, of course. So make sure to pick them up. And now go to the right again. And we're going into this new little area. So it can be slightly confusing, but I'm going to do my best to, you know, keep it as less confused as possible. So there's another five golden nuggets right there. Just to the right of from where you entered. Uh, another candle just to the right. Again. And to the left of us is going to be three blue ones and some more golden genital wart. Uh, uh, pollen, sorry. Um, open up this door for some more hidden pollen. Smash it open. Grab a whole bunch. It'll be on 249 right now. Uh, getting through it, slowly. Right then, from here, what we're going to do is head, um, not left, but we're going to go basically right. And there's just going to be another three for us to grab, plus a candle for us to chuck open. Job again. Right, there's nothing to the right of us now, and there's nothing in the in that room to the left of us. So now we can just head back out. And um, basically, we can now head up the ramp, and we can see just what is going on upstairs. Is there a party upstairs? I want to go to a party. But there's no party, but a whole bunch of crap more to collect. So grab the three tiny kin from the left as we enter. And as we can see, there is a bunch out there, but we're going to turn directly around and just jump up where this leader guy is. To grab another bunch there. Um, throw one... Uh, well, throw five, sorry. Five tiny kins at this frog thing. Or it looks like a scroll or something. But basically what you have to do is stay behind it and it'll start automatically going there. Jump up here though. Grab the last three candles. And you will get the nightlight achievement now for lighting all of the candles in the room. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, head out of this right side door. Grab another three red tiny kins. Again, I keep going to call them Pikmins. Um, otherwise, for now, we can just jump down and we can just wait. Um, again, when we grab an item, or what's called museum artifacts in this game, hilariously, um, we can grab them and we basically, sometimes we'll have to get obstacles out of the way and stuff like that. Otherwise, we can just simply wait and skablamo. So with that, you will also get the Ribbit achievement and a whole bunch more of Polon. So that's Nightlight and Ribbit. They're the two achievements you should have got from there. So let's head back up the ramp now. You can't skateboard up the ramp. For some reason, gravity doesn't allow us to do that. Go straight, sort of left, just to the outside here and grab another two. Bomb open another two. And then what we can do is stay on the outside and grind our way down. Be careful not to fall off or it doesn't matter. You can just go back up the ramp if you do. Um, don't worry about falling off. That's basically, that's like an automatic thing. Go across the opposite side. And you can see just to the left there is another whole bunch of pollen. The guy with a fork. Don't poke me, buddy. I'm not into that stuff. Well, not anymore, anyway. Uh, we can climb back up. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, climbing here or jumping across. Jumping across each little lamp candle thing. So just make sure to grab every single one that you can see. And again, keep, keep checking, making sure that we're on the same amount. So the tiny kins should now be up to 16 red ones. I do end up... Balls in it up, I'm just falling down, which is fine. We'll just jump ourselves across anyway. So we should now be on 426 pollens right there. So jump it up. And again, because there's so many, it's so easy to just miss one. I ended up doing it twice where I ended up, oh, we're just going to jump across, obviously, grab the next couple. But I ended up missing uh, a couple of tiny, like two tiny kins and one, literally one pollen as I was going. It's so easy to do that. So uh, even when I tell you where to go, thoroughly check just to make sure that you are on the right path. So go outside and grind away to the edge to grab another four tiny kin. Job done. So yeah, like I said, always thoroughly check before leaving an area. And again, just make sure to check that we're on the same path. Um, go back inside and we're going to head back up the rope. Still staying on the top floor. 
And then we can throw one tiny kin at that. That will um, chuck a rope down. Now, obviously, the, the more through the level we'll go, the more ropes we can chuck down. So if you do make a mistake, we can just clamber back up. So go to the opposite side. Be careful here. We're going to be doing a bit of jump hopping, skipping. Uh, so uh, make sure to uh, chuck a couple of red tiny kins at this boy. Lovely stuff, mate. Jump across, jump across, bubble across even. And job done. And that's it. And this is basically for the whole game. We're just collecting stuff and being really pissed off if we end up missing some. So grab another three tiny kin and then just keep going across. So be careful here. We need to jump up and then bubble our way across to the next bit, as you can see with the pollen. And do the same again. And then we can just simply walk up. And then what we're going to do is if we turn around, we need to jump... And we're just going to jump onto the floor, so just be careful. Keep pressing the A button there to jump down. Lovely, jabbly, jobs, Yanan one, whatever I just said. So, break open this box, and we're going to jump up on the, um, um, what the hell's that called? Chinga winger. I'll just call it a Chinga winger for now, that'll do. So, climb up. Head to the left, you can just see a couple of blue tiny kins sticking their blue balls out. <laughs> and we're going to grab these three and then jump back up. Jump on this tamborino, maraca, caraca, whatever the hell it's called. I don't know why I can't remember. Grab the next few pollen there and then jump down this comb, or bash down this comb. What we're going to do, we're not going to go up just yet. We're going to jump down here. Yes, kablamo. Go down this ramp to find another three red tiny kins and a whole bunch of golden genital, golden um pollen, of course. Why do I keep getting that wrong? <laughs> Right, so when we've done that, jump down first to the left to grab another three red tiny kin, and then go back on yourself. To the left here, we're going to find yet another bunch of red tiny kin, another four. So it should be up to 18. 18 red, 17 blue. Uh, jump up onto these uh, um, instruments, and then jump up again. 511 should be on. Chuck a couple here. Grab the next three reds. And then jump across. Well, or just go down the ramp across. Grab the next three reds, and just behind this book is going to be another four and a whole bunch of pollen. So there is one of the lamp as well, but we're not going to grab that until a bit later. We can't get up there just yet. Anyway, uh, chuck this rope down again. Always worth doing that, just in case you fall, die, and you need to climb yourself back up. So with this little area done, that's fine. We can just now crackle on. So head up straight onto the book, onto the ch onto the chingy wingy wing wong. I keep forgetting what that is. Now we can just start climbing up the comb, grab another three here before jumping up. And then just go straight, and we need to throw a tiny kin there at the cup, and that will get us another way up. So now we can just head up the ruler. And um, we're going to uh, break open a couple more tiny kins right here, so aim it at the box. Go, 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 Mr. Blowjo. Uh, grab another three on the playing cards here, directly behind us, and as you can see, there's another couple of red tiny kins. Let's break open the rope first, though, just in case we fall, crash, and burn, which we're not going to. So jump up, make sure to grab the two right there. Uh, you'll do it eventually, at some point. And then again... Uh, what we can do is grab the four tiny kins off the lamp first. We're going to throw a tiny kin at the letter. So again, don't worry about posting it all at um, you know one at a time. You can just grab one, and one of your tiny kins will hold on to that. Open up this, and then press the right bumper to skedaddle your way up, boys. Let's do this. Skedaddle. Oh, grind, grind. Don't you mind? I want to grind. So grab all of the golden pollens right here, and again, blow it open. Golden balls, golden balls, and just behind the binoculars is another three tiny kins. So what you can do, if you click in the right stick, um, you can actually have a look, and it's basically the augmented reality. So you can see the, you can't see the collectibles though, which is annoying. So as we just jump across here, make sure to try not to fall there. I did the first time, and then my game all messed up, and then I started again. Um, grab another tiny kins by the book here. And then across the videotape is another three. But uh, yeah, so if you click in the right stick, it shows you a couple of things, but it doesn't show you if you're missing any tiny kins or pollen, which is pretty darn annoying. So jump down and jump down again and just grab the couple of tiny kins, red ones hidden right here. And then we're going to jump back up, go across. And as we can see, we've got a couple of more pollens to grab on the pencils and everything. Should be up to 636 now. And then what we can do is 
we actually have to climb back up. So climb up the card again, up the book, and then just do your whole bubble jump in and grab the pollen from the top room as well. Look at them cute little matches. Ah, oh, that's cute. Um, throw a couple of tiny kins here. There are two books very easily missed. So make sure to grab, there's the first one, and then there's the second book. So make sure to grab the tiny, uh, throw the tiny kins at it, to grab the next bit of hidden pollen. Keep going straight to the left here. There's another bunch of pollen that again could be easily missed. Jump down the book, go to the right, grab these four bits of tiny kins, and grind your way um, on the edge to grab all of the pollens. Again, make sure that you've got that. We've got a rope already down there, so that's our good, baby. It's <laughs> owl good. So jump down here to the left, and underneath the book is another set of hidden pollen. Again, very, very easily missed, uh, but we can just jump up. Once we've got those, that's the only thing that's down there. Uh, keep going straight to the left, and we've got another couple of nuggets to bash open with our, with our own nugget. <laughs> red? <laughs> red. Right, on the same area, there's another four red tiny kins. Should be up to 37 red tiny kins at the moment. And then what we can do is jump over to the next gap. And we're going to get rid of this cup to get the ruler going so we can uh, climb up there again, which is all good. Uh, climb up the ruler, jump on the cup, bubble your way over to the bongo bango. And then make sure to grab every bit of pollen on this little area. And then if you fly across, you can obviously see the next red bunch of tiny kin. Now again, another thing I'm trying not to do is go incredibly fast, where you don't know where we are and what we're doing. Uh, make sure to grab the play button as well. That's very important. That's the first museum artifact thing, or the, the main story artifact, so make sure to grab that. Um, jump back onto the cup, bubble your way over, and then what we can do is grab the next bunch of pollen on the rope in front of us. So just slowly climb down. No need to rush, just slowly climb down. But like I said, I don't want to be going too fast where it stresses you out. A bit of an edit there, but just turn around, jump onto the next platform, and you should be on this little area. Sorry, that's all I did was literally turn the camera around. So the three golden pollens right there, move the cup. That will get the ruler down, which makes life easier for us. Grab the next bit of pollen, and if we have a look up, we can throw two red tiny kins to get some more pollen. There is another one just to the right of us, which uh, I missed for now, but we're going to be coming back to this area. To the left here is another sneaky one. And then we, we will grab the uh, next bits of pollen here off the cards. You can probably just see it there on the top right corner of the screen. Um, but again, doesn't matter. We will come back to that in just a second. But for now, once we've grabbed that, we're going to walk on down. Uh, make sure to grab the those next bits of pollen by throwing some red tiny kins at them. Uh, and again, one up the ceiling there, just in the middle of the main room, and just to the right of it as well, is yet another one. So grabby, McStabby Wabby. Uh, another golden nugget for us to crack open, as well as one on the table. So that should be 750, I think that looks like there. My eyes are <laughs> a bit unwary. Um, but in the same area, you can throw a couple of tiny kins here at the black key, and they will start carrying that off. Uh, but make sure to grab the three red tiny kins, and the answer like, bruh! That's my goddamn dinner, you son of a god! Where you going with my dinner, boy? Uh, make sure to get this rope, or this uh, string, sorry, going. Uh, we won't bother with that just yet. We'll come back to that in just a bit. But on the rope here, we're going to climb down just to grab a couple of um, pollens and then climb back up again. That area we'll come back to in just a little bit. So climb all the way to the top, jump across to the top, basically, well, the, the, the top level, if you want to call it that, and then grab the next pollen, which I missed a little bit earlier on. Right, now that we've got that, that area is done, we're all good. We're going to climb across here. Uh, in fact, all we're doing is waiting now, so we just need to grab the, or move the blue cup for the broskies. And this is all we're doing then, is just waiting, waiting, waiting. So all you need to do is just jump down on the piano there, um, jump on the box, but make sure to grab the four red tiny kin here and the next set of pollen, which will be just underneath the books there. So again, very, very easily missed. Uh, but make sure to grab them. There you go. Just as the, uh, just as the, the just as our tiny kin were coming down off the ramp, it was the book underneath that. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Make sure to break open this box. And again, there's going to be a whole bunch of pollen for us to collect. Uh, in between all the keys, we're going to see it right now. So just make sure to grab all of them. Not, you know, these ones are very you can't miss, but it's a just in case thing. 
There's so much pollen to collect, so much going on that, God damn, you don't know what's going on. I'm literally going to have nightmares about the words tiny kin and bloody pollen. The amount of, the amount of times I've said it already, and <laughs> you've just got another couple of hours to go, apparently. <laughs> oh, grande. <sighs> anyway, so since uh, we've just messed up Broski's dinner, it does open up a secret path for us inside the piano. Oof, the piano's going to enjoy that one. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do, grab the next set of pollens all right here. I mean, Milo, you must be starving, mate. Get a bit of that ant crap, don't you? Um, uh, we're not going to go into the secret room. Sorry, that's what we, uh, that's what I'm trying. There is the secret room, but we're not going to go into it just yet. Um, from here, what we're going to do is actually head back up the ruler to the left of us. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. And then, as you can see, there is another golden one that we just almost missed. Um, <laughs> so you can't get it from the back of the book, but if we go across there... And we can grab that one. So you should be on the same amount of golden pollen that I am. Uh, again, a little bit of an edit there because I was being a bit silly. Uh, again, if you missed it earlier, there's the next set of red tiny kin. But we're going to jump down onto the ruler here from where we found the next those uh, four red tiny kins. And again, very well hidden is another whole bunch of golden ball, uh, ball pollen, pop pollens. I'm already losing the will, man. Uh, so make sure to grab all of these, and then we can just jump straight in front of us on the piano stool. Um, <laughs> why why is someone sitting on screws and ropes as well? Jesus, somebody's a bit... Uh, <laughs> somebody wants to make his life difficult. So grab all of them, jump down here onto the bango, bongo, and the guitar. And we drop down, but that's fine. Make sure you just grabbed all of them. Now we can go over to these cassette tapes and this big xylophone thing. Jump up, jump up, and get down. What? And again, there's going to be a bunch of pollen here, on top of there, underneath. So that should be 847. And then with this next bit of pollen, that should be 853. So we should be on 853 right now. Happy days. Right, what we're going to do from here, then we're going to jump back up. And we're just going to smash open these next bit of boxes to grab just a couple more Tinykins. So again, if you just want to pause the video when I grab that, and you can pause your game just to make sure that we're on the same path right now. Otherwise, we can climb all the way back up the rope. And then we can, basically, we're just going to head now back towards the piano. Now, <laughs> the thing with this game is, it's trying to f figure out, remember where everything is, and do it in such a smooth pathway that it can be a bit annoying to do sometimes. So sorry if... Um, we've, you know, if it sometimes seems a bit back and forth and everything, I do apologize. But grab the three on top, jump down. There's one directly in front of you, and then three red tinykins to the left. Um, and that's it. But if we go over to the next little area, there is another two very hidden ones. That's 871, I believe that is now, and a couple more red tinykins. That should be 30 for you. Now, this is where, this is the area where I actually missed one of the small... Uh, pollens for the first time. So grab the other two here, then jump across and grab the next four, and then we can just jump <laughs> well, I mean, try not to jump down, but we are going to open up this door, but and this is what I mean about searching thoroughs, uh, searching areas thoroughly as we go back across, because I ended up missing one that was on the bottom of the rope, and it was driving me insane what I was where it was for bloody ages, and it was that one right in front of us there which I missed, but before jumping on the ropes Go back on yourself there into the new area, and we can see another couple of red tinykins to grab. So with this one, what we want to do is go onto the right-hand side rope, so jump down, grab the next bit of pollen, and you're going to see a little bit of an edit, so just ignore the where it says uh, the pollen count in the top right-hand corner. We're going to go across, jump across, there's four on here, okay? So jump down, so keep going down, there is four on that rope. So just make sure to grab all four off that rope before going onto the ruler. Now, you should have one more golden pollen than me. At this particular point, as we jump across, you should now have one more at the moment golden pollen than me um, until just a little bit later on. And I'll tell you where it'll correct itself. So if you're wondering, and we grab another three red tiny kins here, just in this little sort of maze-looking area type thing. Um... Other than that, though, we should now be able to... I think that's pretty much it now for the area. 
Uh, so if you have got one more than me, which you should have, and you're worried and you're wondering what the hell did I do or what I didn't do, that's it. So for the time being, you should have one more golden pollen than me, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to jump down here. There's another couple of golden pollens left to collect. Uh, sorry, it did get a little bit awfully confusing, but it's to the left of us is where we're going to find another four. And then straight on, you can find another three red ones, which is actually 36 red 20 kins. And then we can open up this. That will sort out the piano. That will also get us yet another achievement. And that's going to be called It Belongs in a Museum. Wow, look at that. Man, that just look awesome and insane and stuff. So, walk into it there to collect it. I'm going to be the Elvis Presley. It's the intact honor. You know? <laughs> but that is the It Belongs in a Museum achievement unlocked. So now, open up the door. And that is all good. So, like I said, you should, that should be all the pollen and everything collected from the piano or inside the piano. I know the piano had a good time. Yeah, we'll call you, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're not quite done with the piano yet. We're going to jump up the rope and just scooch across on our soap board. Grab all of them. Careful not to fall off. If you do, just climb back up the rope, of course. Uh, but just jump across here and then go up. And there's another couple of... Uh, tiny kin. I keep going to call them Pikmin to grab, and you can smash open another, another sp little spunky string right there. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Kind of looks like an erection from that thing, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like oh, and it, a human. That's very exciting. Uh, make sure to grab open this box right here. That will get us a new little pathway, and of course to grab some more golden pollen. I'm gonna hate golden pollen by the end of this game. Uh, grab another three. The rope should already be there for us. That's all good. Uh, so now we can just scooch on up. Pretty sure I fall off here. Yes, I do. <laughs> what a stupid dumbass, man. Anyway, we can just climb back up. Simples as pimples, yeah? Oh, yeah. Right, so be careful not to fall off this time. Go across. There is another four to grab. So we should be on 926 right now. You should be on 926. And still the same amount of pollen anyway. Make sure to grab this second letter. Uh, there's only four in this letter. Make sure to grab a, a tiny kin and throw one at this book. That's going to get us another bunch of pollens. Pollens. And another four clambering up this book right here. And that should be it now for the piano section. So again, hopefully that the guy... I do hope the guy's going well so far, guys. And that you are able to keep up, because I know one of those collectible games is just a pain in the old third testicle. Everyone's got one, right? <laughs> right. So, climbing up this string, you should now be on 944. Of course, remember that, because I accidentally missed one in the piano earlier on. Uh, so, we're just going to keep going straight ahead. We've done all these areas. Uh, but now, we're going to start jumping down. Make sure, of course, not to die. Just bubble your way down. Grab another three... Tiny Kin should be on 23 now. And then this is where you should now be all good. So it should now be on 958. So from now, we are back to square one. So you, we should now both be on 958 and ready to go. So now we should be on exactly the same ones. So as we drop this um, rope down, uh, don't jump down just yet. You can see just by Chungus Malungus right there, there is another nugget to, br uh, to a bash open. Like I said, uh, so as we go, we'll go across to the left here for another couple of nuggets. But again, it is so easy to just accidentally miss one. And that's why I always say to double check as we grab another couple of tiny kins. Because if you've got one less than me, just backtrack to where we've been and you will end up finding the missing one. That's the easiest way that I can think of. So head into this little area anyway. Big nips on these things. Oh, the eyes. I thought they were nips. <laughs> Uh, so you grab a couple of tiny kins here, jump up onto this videotape. Apparently I can't have forgotten the use of my legs. Jump up onto this ruler and then go across into this little cubby hole with all the books. Go down and you're going to find another couple of golden pollens. We are coming up to the big 1k, baby. Sadly not 1k gamer score though. Um, <laughs> we got a long while left to go for that. So, uh, that's all there is in this area, but what we're going to do is now actually jump up the rope for another set of hidden pollen, plus another letter. Uh, so you can grab the tiny kins, the red tiny kins up here, three on this little wine glass. And there's the hidden pollens then. And now we have got over a thousand, and we need to grab the third out of four letters as well. 
So the fourth letter is basically right in front of the post box, so we ain't gonna miss that. So you should now be on exactly the same ones that I am, so 1001. So as you can see, again, apologies that it's taken almost 40 minutes for me to show you the pause menu right there. Um, but I'll be doing that a lot more from now on, just so you know, and we, I know that we're both on the same page and you haven't missed one or two somewhere, just making it easier for you, which I noticed some others didn't. Right, into this same little area, we are now going to glide down. Just to grab another couple here. So you should be on 1,005 golden pollens right now. Uh, drop down. We're back into basically the central hub. The starting area where we started. But we're going to just go across basically back in ourselves. And to the right here, we're going to go up onto this file. Up onto these books. And we're going to grab another couple of p -p -p pollen. -er. Pollen up. Pollen your way up. Pollen heat. It's time to master pollen. Nah, you thought I was going to say something else then, huh? Bah. So, grab the pollen here on the edge of the um, accordion. I think that's an accordion. Could be wrong, probably wrong. Onto this little pink area, grab a whole bunch of pollen once again. And then there's another bunch of tiny red kin. Red, red kin. Red tiny kin is what I was meant to say. So make sure to grab that before heading up the ruler. Just so you know we've got it. And then, this is where I actually missed the next set of blue tiny kin. Uh, Blue tinykins. So jump up, and there are three tinykins. So you see the bit of edit there. So there are three ti blue tinykins. Make sure to grab them. Um, again, this these are the two that I actually missed first time around. So make sure to grab the three. And then what you can do then is um, open up this box to chuck a rope down. So they're the only two things that I missed. Um, but again, just keep following the video, and you we need basically need 25 for a camera. So you should be. You should, at the moment, have two more blue tiny kins than I have, so keep that in mind. Jump across, grab all the golden pollen there, and then throw a tiny kin here at the switch. And then that is going to open up this little armchair. <gasps> Holy monkey balls! Secrets everywhere! Right, so with that all done, again, if you want to right now, take a little pause. Make sure you're on the same amount of um, golden pollen, at least, that I am. And again, remember, you should have two more blue kin that I have blue tiny kin that I have at the moment. So open up this um, gateway, the gateway to heaven, yeah, for another two red tiny kin. Um, throw a couple of blue tiny kin here at this after you grab the golden pollens. So there should be two red tiny kins there and three golden pollens. Then we can grab this. This is another sort of uh, one of the main um, story um, artifacts that we need. Sorry, my words are going nuts then. So go back on yourself again. What we're going to do is climb up these books. Next to the vent there, or the cat, the cat flap on the left-hand side, we're going to climb up, and we're just going to grab these just before we head back. So grab all this pollen here; should be up to one thousand and fifty-six right now. One thousand fifty-six here. Yeah. Very, uh, very efficient as we are. Right. So uh, just on this main area now, what we're going to do? Just keep going straight, and then what we're actually going to do is on the carpet. Um, we got, I just turned the camera around, by the way, a little bit of an edit there, apologies, but go ahead, speak to Sikaru, and because we've gotten um, 1,000 golden pollens, he now gives us an extra bubble. Now, with that, basically means that you can float in the air in the bubble, uh, in the bubble a, a little bit longer, so that comes in handy, but that'll get you the bottling up achievement. So now what we're going to do, go straight and then head into this little area, grab the two tinykins off this matchbox, jump up for another three. And then obviously, as you can see on the right, there's another two red ones there, so you should be on 32. Jumping up and grabbing another bunch. That's 1,066 that we should be on now. And make sure to grab these two blue tinykins. And inside this little newspaper tent, it's very cute, uh, grab another bunch of golden pole poles. Uh, right, pretty sure that is it for this area, so we're all good now. So what we can do is just head out of here. What we're going to do is actually move this blue cup closer to the golden pollen balls of lifey wifey in the knifey. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that. Anyway, when that's all done, we can now jump up, grab the golden pollens, and go on to the next platform. I've got a, a three to collect here, three red ones, and stick your nugget in that nugget, boy. Go on, ish. Yeah, boy. And then we can open up the door. Did, 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 did you hear? No, 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 I didn't. So, go f, -f, 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 -f I can't get that pick out. 
get uh, get that bit out. So open up this and that will oh, br break open the box. That'll open up this little area for us. Tidy. C continuing source of inspiration. Right, jump down anyway. And then what we're going to see is to the left of us is going to be four red tiny kins. So you should be on up to 17 right now. And still in the same area, just turn around and go directly in front of us, past the slipper, grab another three red ones here on the left. Remember, you should be on 22 blue tinykins. Um, open up this area, or break open the box, and that opens up this little area. We're going to be getting the first class male achievement here, so... Throw a tinykin there at the letter, and then throw it at the post box directly in front of us. That is what will get us the first class male achievement. And we're flying through, plus another whole bunch. This is where we get our tiny kin back as well, by the way. So now you should be on 25. So grab oh, 25 gra uh, blue ones. So grab the red tiny kins and then the next bit of pollen from this area. Look to the left of us there, and there's going to be a whole bunch more. So you should be on 25 blue tiny kins by now, just to be uh, just to let you know. Um, while I'm on 23, because I missed those ones earlier. So there's the next set of golden pollens. Next, we're going to climb up. Go into this little room. You can obviously see it on the bunk beds right there. Lovely. So that's 1,200 and my eyes are going blind. There's nothing in this room, by the way, so don't worry about that. Uh, but there is an easily hidden one to the left. So we're going to climb up to the roof, grab these bunch. 1,221 we should be on now. And then to the left of where we are, we're going to drop down to find yet another piece. Job done. It feels like it's never ending, doesn't it? But it does end. And then we've got the rest of the levels to go, so <laughs> that's nice. So jump up onto the roof, make sure to grab this next set of tiny kins. That should be red, 21 red ones, 25 blue ones. And then grab the next golden pollen here in this little room. And that should be that then for this area. Honore. Right, so we're going to go right here. We're going to speak to another trembling, terrified ant bro. Dovi can. Andrea Davizioso Dovi can. Excellent motor GP rider. Uh, rational. I've got a rational on my arsenal. Uh, which I should really get seen to. Otherwise, people will make fun of me. Anyway, break open the gate. And like I said, by now, as long as you've been following the guide, hopefully correctly, uh, and I haven't been too annoying, you should have 25 of these blue tinykins, which should pick you up and have this camera. If you are missing one or two, uh, sadly, you will have to backtrack and have a look and try and find those blue tinykins. It's exactly what I had to do as well. Um... But it's going to be a bit of a long walk here. Um, so again, if you want to for now, if again, if you are missing, pause the game, of course, make sure that you're on the same amount as, uh, as as that I am. And if that's the case, then we're just fine and we can just wait for the tinykins to nip the camera over to the opposite side of the room. If not, and there are some that you are missing, uh, do a little bit of backtracking, go and find where you think you may have missed some. <laughs> So if you, again, missed the four red tinykins from there earlier on, you can go ahead and grab them. Otherwise, we're going to take the deliciousest of pictures of Bar Barney the Dinosaur. No, in, <laughs> no, in British companies or the British government, they've probably got um, they've probably got some electric in there. And, um, you know, it's going to charge us £500 a month just to charge it up. So uh, when that's done anyway, throw a tinykin <laughs> at the picture. Of course, that's a bit of humour as the British government uh, tends to or continues to bend over the British citizens and go in completely dry. So grab the picture anyway, and now we can just head back towards Dovikin, or Davizioso, I can't remember his bloody name now. There it is, and then just oh, immediately throw it at the picture frame behind it, and that's the end of that chapter. And we've still got a few things left to do in this chapter, but that's the end of that. Scaredy cat. Right, what I forgot to also mention is we need to find, I think I forgot to mention it, but we need to find a ghost uh, there's one in every single level. Now, a lot, uh, quite a few of them are sort of in the way as you're looking for all the pollen anyway, but a lot are not. So let's go and find that one. So these next bit of pollens here under the picture frame go directly in front of you, and the left is going to be a secret area. This is where the ghost is. So you can see a couple of pollens to collect in front of us, a couple to the left. Take it back now, y'all. And then when we go into the next area, grab another three red tinykins. 
And this is where the ghost is, or Gasper his name is. So that will be one out of seven that you will have grabbed. I believe it is seven. Um, so grab the next set of pollens. The ghost will obviously disappear because it is just an ant ghost. Makes all the perfect sense in the wild, right? So again, now from now on, this is where I actually show you. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it a lot more throughout the game, but I'm going to be showing you on each level exactly what you should be doing. So before leaving, head to the left, just underneath the bottle there, to grab another set. So every time we do a bunch of big pollen collecting or uh, tiny kin collecting, I'll pause the game, and then you can pause the game as well just to make sure that we're on the right path. Again, I did notice with the other guides, they didn't tend to do that, which made it a bit confusing. Um, so I, again, I just want to help as much as I can because I'm nice like that. Right, grab another few blue tiny kins from the box in front of us, and that's all good. Then we can just continue to climb up the rope. Okay, go in the hole. Go up the rope, grab the two from here, then we're going to turn around, go across the ruler, and we're going to see another two for us to grab. Make sure to get them, and then we can climb up the rope. Okay, climb up the rope. Now, what we're going to do from here then, we are actually going to grab one from the lamp in just a moment. As you can see, there it is, which we didn't get earlier on. Uh, again, and... So obviously what we're going to do is just climb back up, all the way up, and again, I do apologise if that does happen sometimes. If there is one that we uh, end up missing for whatever particular reason, it's just because there's so much bloody going on. Uh, sometimes it is easy to miss one. So climb up the ruler, and then just simply bubble butt your way down. No harm, no foul, minor inconvenience, isn't it? It's all good. So with that um, done, and that area done, we can now go into the plant pot. So two there, we can climb up. And then what we're going to do is actually jump down into the dirt now. So we can jump down, just that there's three red tiny kins around the plant pot itself. And into the actual doit. Get a little doity. Get a little doity and grab some golden genital warts right there. So grab those three. And then we can keep climbing up the pot. There's another two for us to grab. And another two. So that should be 1,246. I believe I was reading that right. And then jump across again, uh, just behind us. Oh, 1,003, sorry. Jeez, I'm going I'm going right nuts. All right, we can't actually climb up there now, so we need to go across, so bubble our way across and jump up here. Another few to grab, so two in this first left room. We can climb up, grab this one, and then climb up again and grab the three on top of the video tapes. And then now we can bubble our way across, lovely. So remember, we, we, because we collected the 1,000, we've got a little bit more time. Which is nice. So, uh, once we've grabbed that from this little candle lamp type looking thing, let's just scramble across and go onto the videotapes again. Doesn't matter where you end up actually, because what we need to do is jump across anyway. Grab this next set of tiny kins, should be on 25. So, there we go, should be on 25 and 29 blue ones, I think that was, and then 1331. So, from now on, it's all correct, by the way. So uh, every time I pause, have a look at your pause menu as well. Make sure that you've got the same number that I have. Again, like I said earlier, if not, backtrack and you should find it hopefully. So after you grab everything here into the, uh, the pollen, the next set of rooms, um, smash the, there's two boxes up here and there's a little spunky string right there. So one on the right, one on the left, one in the middle, chuck it all down. That's going to get rid of this ramp and it's going to open up this new area. That is the main thing that we need to do, and we're not too far away now from completing it, really. So let's go ahead and do some Tony Hawk Venomin straight up. So soapy skateboard your way up. And that's 1,345 that we should be on now for Golden Pollens. And simply go all the way back down. Man, I didn't realize Milo was such a badass. He is the badass scientist, bro. Jump down anyway into this next area and we can, for one, throw the play button on. And then what we can also do is go to the right, just behind the speakers to grab another three golden pollen bollocks, uh, balls. <laughs> Sorry. Jump across the other side and behind the other speaker is going to be another three. And then what we can also do now, um, obviously the ants or our tiny kin have just put those on, so that's all good. The electric conductor is what it was called. So what we can do is head, jump down to the left hand side and we can see a bunch of slippers and stuff like that. But we're going to grab 
Uh, these set a pollen first from grabbing the, or throwing the tinykins at it. And now we can have a little go on the upside down slipper. Jump up again, remember to grab all the pollens, very easy to miss one. And then just jump up across to the rope, grab all three of them on the rope. And we've got another little thing for us to do. So again, just have a look at the pause menu, make sure that you're on the same one. Was a bit quick with that one, sorry. So have a look with Chunky Nips right here. Oh, it looks like chunky, chunky Nips because of his eyeballs on his chest for some particular reason. So that tiny screwdriver we could not have got earlier because we didn't have enough air in our bubbles apparently. So jump up and now that we do, we are going to grab that. Of course, it makes perfect sense, right? Perfect. So jump up onto the videotapes. Uh, go to the left, jump up, jump up, jump up and get down, jump, jump. And then now this is where we are. So have a look to the right. So we need two full bubble balls, which is what we've got. So we can just jump up, head across and we should just about make it. There it is. So again, you should just about make it. And then you should be able to now just simply throw one of your tiny kins at the screwdriver and it does it by itself, which comes in mega handy again. So you don't have to go across to the top. You can actually just jump straight down if you so wish. Um, I choose to do it this way for some particular reason. Uh, so you can just jump down to where the, the little um, fat nipped ant thing was, throw the screwdriver at it, and it's going to open up this new, again, little area. Again, we're not too far from the end. Uh, just a few more things to do, a couple more things to collect. Now there are no golden pollens or anything up uh, in on this level, so don't worry about that. What we are going to do is climb up the rope. There it is. Very German today for some reason. And now we can just bubble bass our way all the way across. Hopefully you've collected every single one of them. Again, turn the camera around to make sure you've collected them all. If you're all good, move this little cylinder or fuse type thing right there. That's good. We'll turn on the TV, smash open the VHS, and that is going to have our next main area on it. Or main item on it, sorry. Close enough, man. So you know, no, 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 you know. All right, so we're going to jump up onto the rope. And again, be very careful. Quite easy to fall off here, but make sure to grab all the golden pollens on here. It's going to be 1,388. You should be on right now. And then what we're going to do to the left of us, where, well, where we were just standing, is another bunch of golden pollen. And that is pretty much it for this area. No, there's not. There's a bunch of red tiny kin, sorry, on the next opposite side as well. So it should be on... 35 blue and 14 red for the moment. Now what we're looking for is 41 blue and 22 red to finish it off. Uh, so keep that number in mind. Otherwise we are pretty much once again done with this area so we can just jump down. You don't have to turn off the road load. Right, with this one just go across to the other side and as you can see on the VHS there, still on the same level, we can now go ahead and grab this delicious dummy. It's one of those lovely little sweet dummy things. Throw it in, and apparently Chunky Nips goes from chunky to small. He's very happy. And we've got yet another collector's item. So that's all good. Yeah. Yeah, now we're cooking with eggs. I don't know why some CEOs say, yeah, now we're cooking with gas, or something to do with eggs. I'm sure there's a saying to do with eggs. Look, mate, if you ain't eating them, there's no point putting them in a sentence. I don't know. CEOs for you, and they're a bunch of douchebags. Mostly, mostly. Uh, pretty much all, actually, sorry. Right, so we're just heading back up to the way we came. Um, onto the books, which is going to be climbing all the way up. Kind of went the long way for some particular reason. Um, up that way. Now, what we're going to do is jump and grab open this box. That's just a little rope for us to, again, climb up if we need it. Uh, but if we don't, well, that's fine. Climb cross, we are on now to the binoculars. So what we're gonna do now, as you can see, there is a string that we need to go and mash open the other side, because you're not gonna bubble your way all the way through there. So just <laughs> string your way, skateboard your way across, soap-wise. And then what we can do then from here, we're just gonna jump straight in front of us onto the leaf. And there we go, we're gonna grab a whole bunch more. So we're onto the 1400s now. I'm getting through it, slowly, moly, but surely, poorly. So keep jumping across here and we're on to the sort of final new area if you wish. Uh, but we're going to jump 
across first, grab these next set of pollens, and then we're going to jump down to grab another three tiny kins. So that should be 16 red ones. You should be on now. Uh, keep going across, and there is nothing there, so don't keep going across. Uh, but just underneath this open book is another set of golden pollens. Oh man, we're already we're only on the first level. The amount of times I've said pollen and red tinykins and stuff, it's losing it's losing all meaning right now. So keep jumping across. There should be two on the one set and then three on the other. And then what we can do is jump up the rope and onto the next uh, sort of level is another three red ones to grab, plus another set of I'm going to call them gold breeze. Just change it up a bit. So grab a couple of gold gold breeze and then open up the old spunky string boy. And of course, that is where we can now glide our way up and then glide our way back down. So that's what we're going to do. Just to grab the um, gold breeze, that's it. So when you go out, grab all three, jump that, um, or four sets, just... Uh, sorry, again, still losing the will. <laughs> jump your way back down, you hardcore science nerd skateboarding 12-inch dong legend. Right, this is another achievement that we're going to come up to in just a bit, but we're going to head back down, climb up onto the books, and we're going to see you should be on now 14.54 for gold berries. So we're going to speak to this bro. Basically, broski here has lost his no-ski, and we need to find ski that shinski. So to the left is another four red kins, and then open up this rope. And of course, we're going to be doing Yet again, a little bit of climbing. Since we are tiny, I mean, if we're such a big legendary science nerd, we could just make a big, you know, a bigger me potion. But uh, no, not bigger me, sorry. Make me bigger potion. <laughs> wow, isn't that funny? So just keep climbing up. You won't be able to miss any of these golden pollens. There should be two basically on more or less each leaf. Until we get to the next level. There she blahs, like a big blah. So just keep going, nothing here for the time being, except um, the, on the, this sort of main path is a whole bunch of golden berries. Th uh, chuck open this box, I'll get us a comb down, so of course we can head up. Now just keep going straight over this ruler for the time being, drop down and grab the next set of red tinykins. And of course that's what we need to do, so uh, they can actually, the tinykins, if you go across somewhere, they can actually grab the... Um, pollen as, as well for you, which is very handy. So, obviously going across the ruler, you may not have got that, but there would have been four for you anyway, so just keep going across. Another bunch, that should be 1486 now out of 1600, so thankfully we're almost there, goddammit! And I need a drink. So, keep going across, basically back the way we came, we're gonna climb up the rope. Up the rope of life. And keep going, keep going, and you're going to see this next box, another couple of blue tiny kins for us to grab, that should be 37 now. Go in this pipe, and we should now be up to 14.95. Um, golden berries, again, if you want to just double check that, or pollen. Jump down before you climb up the book for another three red tiny kins right there. So that's it, again, very easy to just walk straight past it, but make sure to grab the three red tiny kins under the book. And now we can grab the nose of the statue, so make sure to grab that here. And then we can actually go ahead and just climb up the book. But So remember to grab the three tiny kins from underneath the book and the nose of the Sphinx cat. Sanctus Sphinx, whatever it is. So just keep going across, keep going across. And we're obviously going to be seeing a lot more berries. <gasps> we're under the 1500s. Oh my god, I'm so fit. Right, now be careful with this one. We have to climb, we have to basically bubble our way onto the door next. So, again, just be careful. Once you climb on, that's all good. Be careful not to fall off. Although, if you do fall off, let yourself die and you'll start right back the door. And then climb up onto the lamp. Job's done. Uh, for another uh, set of pollen, we can just jump down now. And then what we're going to do is uh, spin ourselves all the way back. We're basically going to grab the achievement just before coming back here. So, up we go. Creepy looking eyeball looking at me there. Go onto the area that we just were with all the plant pots and stuff like that. We are going to throw the nose onto the Sphinx and <laughs> smell my Sphinx, yeah. <laughs> I got paid 1,000 German dollars for it, which are basically euros then. I don't know what the hell am I going on about the German, G German accents for. Anyway, once you've got that achievement, slide your way back up. <laughs> So that should have got you the How Does It Smell achievement, which should put you now on 11 out of 13 achievements for this level. 
So climb back up the rope here onto the binoculars and go back down. Again, we are literally now almost done. We are going to actually gonna we're gonna get the achievement for collecting all the pollen in just a bit. So we're gonna jump down, grab open this box for another two set of blue tiny kin, and then smash open this drawer right here. So keep opening the file up until it's open. Then we can just drop down, and this is where we're gonna get it. So hopefully, as long as you've been following along this level and this guide so far perfectly, you should now get the Melodic Forager achievement, and that should be job done. Again, if not, sadly, it's going to be a little bit of a walk and one, and just keep checking every rope and everything like that. Right, what we're going to do is just to head down onto the floor now. So head down to the floor. There was a little bit of an edit because I died. Um, but anyway, just jump back down onto the floor. We're going to speak to old nipple head right here, or nipple tits. Um, I mean eyeball chest Go ahead and throw a couple of tiny kins at this blue circly dotty thing and Then all we're doing now is pretty much just waiting so It's basically gonna go straight up the ramp obviously it's got uh, the tiny kins have the weight there So we're just gonna wait up here for literally just a moment But again, hopefully as long as you've been following the guide the pace I hope has been good as well the commentary has been helpful but you should have got all of the pollen in Sancta. There are three red, uh, three more red tinykins, which I forgot to grab earlier, which I do apologize for, which we are going to grab just before we finish the level. Um, here comes, here comes the tinykins with the CD. Now, if you do, the one good thing which I forgot to mention earlier is if you do end up missing a pollen or a couple of pollens or a couple of tinykins or something like that, you can actually just go back into the level to replay it. Well, you don't have to replay it. Everything will stay collected. So you don't actually miss anything. You just go back to the level and get anything that you missed. So again, keep that in mind. Hooray! Party time, dogs! Get out the bags of the stuff. Get out the sticky wicky wee. No, I'm joking. No, j just get out a nice bit of punch. No spiked punch, please. And we'll uh, read. We'll read uh, passages from the Mormon book of Bible stuff, shall we? That sounds fantastic. So, what we're going to do then is just chuck your tiny kins at this place and then it's going to go to the end part. But again, remember what we need for the achievement for collecting basically all the tiny kins. We need 41 of the blue ones and 22 of the red ones now at the moment if you have a look if you've been of course following the guide you will probably only have it'll say 31 and 19 um and that's of course because 10 are just carrying the thing right there so it'll say 31 and 19 when they stop carrying that we will get our 41 but i'm going to show you exactly where we found the last three um it's not too far away it's only a, again it's only a bit of a minor inconvenience but again apologies that i missed that one earlier on So before heading through the vent then, let's just go back on ourselves, go to the left here and you can see this rope. So we're going to climb up this rope. It is high up, that's why we're climbing. We're going to jump across onto the guitar and just head up on these files. We're going to uh, spring our way up right there. And then from here, what we're going to do is actually we're going to climb up on the rope more to get up another couple of levels. I was looking for the rope then, for some reason losing my absolute head. So just jump across onto the next rope. And you can see all the books where the cup is and everything. That is where the last three tiny kins are. So the one hidden pollen that we found a lot earlier on. This is where it is. Uh, quite close to the piano. So drop down here next to the Rubik's Cube. And that is the 22. So now you should be on 41 blue or whatever color that is. And 22 red. You should have got all 1,600 pollens out of this area. Plus, you should have seen the ghost as well and posted every letter in the room. So now what we can do is just head. I'm going to just stay in this area and show you the sort of actual ending right there. Um, but that is what you should be on now. 41 out of 22 and then 1,600 out of 1,600. So just come back to this area. And now this is the original ending because, again, I had to just uh, cheeky edit that one out. So when we get to the Chrysler Workshop here, what will happen 
is you will get the third bubble now as well. So whole stuff's good, bunch bunch of stuff's gonna happen, but we're gonna get a third bubble for extra jumping and chilling. Solo Cholo, say la, say wo. And so it begins again then. Now, if you're wondering how to get to the second level, you can't actually do it in here. What you have to do is go back through the open vent that we came, because the other vents are closed to the public for re uh, renovation. Um, re... Uh, you know, that word where they make it new and stuff. Anyway, when we come back, what's going to happen for you is it's going to be a cutscene where the old dude with the beard is going to give you a um, little coin and he's going to appear right here. Uh, so that's what's going to happen. He's going to give you some kind of coin that will, it's kind of like a pass or something. And this is the exit now to the next level. So, of course, I'd already done it to Foliana Heights. I'd already done it. That's why it didn't happen for me. But you would have got that cutscene, got the pass, and then you can go straight into the Heights of Foliana, which is just, you know, yeah, it's a plant level. Lots of plants and stuff. And I know there'll be certain people who look at green plants and smile with delight, but it is not that kind of level, unfortunately, for you. <laughs> um... But basically, it's a bunch of uh, just pissed off grasshoppers in this level, so... Well, that's something to look forward to, huh? And as we begin then, um, you can talk to Ridme, and you can talk to characters in this game, but... We're not actually going to bother for the most part. So from here, what we're going to do is just turn around, turn the camera around, and see our first three red bros. And we're going to start getting some green bros now. So head past the card, sort of around, and straight ahead. You can see the first four tiny kin. Now what these do is just make a tower. You'll press the right trigger, and they'll make a tower. And it's pretty cool. So we get the first four right here. And then what we're going to do is just head to the left. Go underneath the computer chair to find another three red bros. I think the red bros are flying now. And then from here, we're going to go sort of um, to the left of it again, just inside this slipper. And then we're going to climb up on the books to find another four red broski bros. Or five, sorry. Five red broski bros. So again, I've got to apologize. For some reason, I got a, a little confused with the beginning of the level. Um, but later on, it's fine. So head straight. And then again, what we're doing is pressing the right trigger. And then you'll be able to jump up to New Heights, which is called Foliana Heights for a reason. But if we go all the way around then, we'll be grabbing all of the uh, pollen, of course. Once again, there's 1,100 in this level. I'll make sure to grab the other two green broskies. Jump up here and grab this. A uh, little bit of pollen. And then just head down towards the water. Make sure to grab the two red bros on the bottom right there. M remember not to go in the water because that does mean explosion, chunkiness and death. Head towards the back and grab the next three broskies. Should be on 17 already. 17 red and green four. And then what we can do then is just go straight to the right. And we're going to get our first couple of pink. Um, I thought they were blue for some reason in the first level. But they're actually pink. So, well, you know. Right. Use the right trigger again to uh, build yourself a little tower. And then press and hold the A button, of course, to jump over. Grab another three red broskies. 18 we should be on now. Uh, now, build a tower to get up all of the pollen here, and then do the same once more. So, build, build, build. Now, we can't actually get to that point yet, so don't worry too much about that. But what we're doing is flying over, grabbing these three first pink ones. Sorry, I, I said they were under the table. No, these are the first three ones. Jump back over, and then we can go ahead and grab the letter. So, grab that one. Again, there's only four letters to collect this time. Uh, well, there's only four letters to collect in each level, as well as one ghost, etc., etc. Um, now, of course, if you get stuck under something, you can't actually build anything because you'll smash and trample your head in. So, uh, you know, realism. 
Uh, again, like I said, we can't actually get to this point just yet. We don't have enough green dudes. We don't have, to, we don't have enough green buggery bobs to uh, do that yet. So we're just going to fly off, jump into the middle leaf here. Again, remember not to jump into the water because that means chunkiness, big chungus, and death. Uh, fly over, grab this next four. Should be on 92 now. And then just do the same going underneath the book. 92, 92, 96, or was that 46? I'm really blind today. It's something six anyway, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So what we're going to do then is head onto the computer chair again. We are going to grab the um, next set of pollen all on the legs. So make sure to grab that. Uh, it was 40 somethings, by the way, not 90. I'm going really blind in my young old age. Right, inside the plant pot, grab a couple, and then to the right of the plant pot, there's another three rednesses. That should be 21 done already. And then we can just head underneath back the chair, and we can go back past the slipper. You can speak to this broski if you want. Sorry, we're not going uh, past the slipper, apologies. We're speaking to Gerald, Gerald, the cheap witcher. And then we're going to build a tower, go past the book here, sort of on top of this. We're going to grab another couple of... Dudes, and grab a second letter, and stick your nugget in these nuggets to grab a bunch of pollen nuggets. That's it, and that's all good. Um, again, by the way, you can press the Y button as well, so when you build a tower, and you'll actually leave your um, uh, tiny kin alone, if you press the Y button, they'll all come to your location, which is pretty handy. So now, go back the way we came here. Th this is where we are then, so this time we're going to go be, uh, past the slipper. Jump up, we're basically back in the starting area now, but we're going up the books this time. Oh, now we're going up heightness. Is, 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 is. Grab the four pollen here, go past the book, and go around before climbing up to grab another bunch of pollen. Now we're into our 90s. So, yeah. So, <laughs> there you go, should be on... Uh, that's what you should be on right now. Anyway, if you want to have a double check and uh, pause the video, just have a little look, see if you're on the same as me. Again, like I said, if not, and you're sort of one behind or two behind or something, just backtrack sort of through past the video, you know, backtrack the way you came. Right, go to the right as we come up here then. And if we go around the plant pot, we can see another couple of blue, uh, pink bros. Pink bra. And then what we're going to do is head back around. Again, you can speak to the characters if you want. There's really no need to, though, to be honest. It pretty much makes no difference. No difference, because you can just crack on with the game anyway. And uh, blind grasshoppers won't even know what's going on. So grab this next bit of pollen there um, by this bit, and then head up by the sort of beakers. And then we're going to chuck a couple of red dudes at these raspberries. So grab another bunch of pollen. Of course, because like I said, pollen is going to be in everyone's nightmares after you finish playing this bloody game. Um, right, make a tower then, and head... Well, sort of to this little area right here. On the, is this a chair or something? Whatever this is. Grab the pollen from here. And then simply fly back. Beautiful. Fantastic flying, everyone. Right. What we're going to do, head to the right again. Go into the plant pot. Oh, well, that, that's the attempt anyway. The attempt is the plant pot, and that is where we're going. So make sure to grab all five red dudes from here. And we can't actually get up to the leaves just yet. So again, I do apologise, it is kind of a bit back and forth first. Um, as we just go into the books here, we grab the pollen, but it becomes a smoother run later. But I do apologise if it is kind of back and forth and it gets a bit annoying. Before jumping up onto the mushrooms then, make sure to grab a whole bunch of red dudes here. So there should be 23 that you should be on now for red bras. And that should be it for this bit. So now what we can do is just build a slight little tower. Again, press and hold the right trigger. And make sure to grab all the pollen as you jump on the um, anal mushrooms. Because every mushroom looks like it's got a bit of a, you know, butt in it. Little cat butt. So, jumping up here, uh, we're going to grab the pollen from there and then the pollen from the lamp. Be careful, uh, just turn the camera around, I would. And then walk off and jump off. Uh, we're going to build a tower once again right here because there is a sneaky little hidden one right on top of the jellyfish. There she blows. There she blows, matey. So grab that. Now, if you do turn around, you can actually jump on top of the lamp and grab a couple more. But we're going to come back to that in literally seconds. But turn around, uh, go to the left here, in between these two beakers with the weird lizard thing. 
there is the second ghost, the second Gasper out of seven that we've got to find. So make sure to pick him up as well. And to the right, grab these next five red dudes. And then that's it. Now we can jump on the leaf. Like I said, uh, you could probably see already then on the lamp, uh, on top of the lamp, it's just another three red broskies. So that's um, so just uh, literally just going to go for that for just a quick second. So like I said, again, it's a, but it's one of those games, like I said, uh, in the first level where it's, you know, you think you've got everything smoothly down and then you end up accidentally missing something, which you just got to do a tiny bit of backtracking for. It's one of those collectible games. But anyway, jump over to the leaf, or if you feel safer, jump down and then make your way around to the leaf. Uh, we're going to get this raspberry full of golden deliciousness. Is, is, is. Eventually, if my aim could be better... I'm not just talking about the toilet right there. I'm sorry for whoever has to clean that up. Um, but no. Uh, but that's all good. And what we're going to do is actually start... We're going to jump back off because we missed another raspberry earlier on from the plant pot. So um, if that's the case, that's fine. And, and like I said, it is one of those things. One of those things that you think you've got it all down, all perfect, but it can be easily missed. Uh, now, there is no way you can actually jump back up onto the leaf, so we have to do the old, um, the old-fashioned way. Jump on the anal mushrooms, the cat butthole mushrooms, as it were. Okay, weird cat butthole mushrooms. And just go around. And there we go. Look at that. Near no butter problem, near no problem. Right, so, uh, keep on jumping on the leaves, keep on going up. You should have collected another two pollen. Uh, grab another two pink dudes right here, little pink bras. <clears throat> and then we can have a look to the right of us and grab another three and then go inside this little newspaper tent to grab another couple. But uh, these are the numbers that you should be on right now. I think it's 160 pollens right there before we crack on and then we're on to 163. So, But you should be on again the same amount of uh, pollen and tiny kin that I am. So from here then, what we're going to do, we are going to speak to uh, Marsh. Randy Marsh. Hey, I thought this was America. Isn't this America? So where we spot, stop speaking to Randy, build a tower on this little bit right here, on this little homemade tent or whatever, grab the pollen and keep going up the leaves. Up, up, up. And then take a little jump over, of course, for another uh, four hidden red dudes. That should be 32. Now, don't worry if uh, my green one there says zero. It's only because I got the tower. So if you press the white button to call them all back, they all come back to you. And that is the true number that you should be on. Make sure to hit this book as well for another couple of hidden pollen. And then we can just head up the book again, up the books for another three here. Jump, jump across and onto this little book is another two raspberries to fill. We're also going to get the first bone piece there. That's what we need. We need to find four bone pieces for two museum artifacts. This level is a little bit shorter than the first one. So jump down, smash this open, and there is the first bone piece. So again, just chuck a little pink bra at it. Bra. And there we go. That'll pick that one up, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. Right, so we're all done with this area. This is literally the only time that we visit this little area, which is all bang tidy. Uh, but we're just going to give ourselves the biggest jump possible, of course. So get onto the book, smash yourself onto the tower, and make sure to grab the uh, pollen here from the very top leaf. <clears throat> which, of course, you ca the tiny kin do help you out with that as well, which is just nice, just nice. Right, get as close as you can to the edge of that sort of homemade little tent so you can get up. If you keep uh, failing short and you're just going underneath it, just get as close to the edge and on the right-hand side as possible, and you can get yourself up to grab these little bits of pollen. If you can't do it, just make a note or a mental note of it, where the last couple are, and come back when we get a few more green dudes later on. Um, you can chuck the bone on if you want, and then we're going to grab these next two raspberries just to pass the bone structure. And the next three red bras as well. <laughs> Ew. Right, we're going to make a little tower, jump on this, what looks like a coffin more than anything. Make a big tower, and then what we're going to do is, we can, you should be able to aim for the first little um, spunk string thing. The little Spider-Man stringy thing. And when we do that, we can just press the right bumper there to fly up deliciously. Job done. 
uh, grab a couple of pollen <clears throat> on the way, of course, again. Right. From here, we're just going to head back for the time being. And we're going to start jumping down so we can climb up onto these leaves, which we could get to earlier on, to grab the next bit of pollen. And we should be able to have enough green dudes to jump up here, grab the first three red guys, uh, or red eggs, sorry, and then just go across the little bridge. And again, pissed off grasshopper, um, Raffle Mushner, or whatever your bloody name is, Raffle Asia. Uh, we're just grabbing a couple of pink bras again, and then heading back across the bridge. Now, remember, you can't go through water, so don't do what I do. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm going to get another couple of achievements here. Mis miscella uh, miscellaneous achievements. Um, grab the first couple of pollen there. And then let yourself be dead. Let yourself get munched whole by angry E.T. plant. And that'll get you the green thumb achievement. Um, now, you have literally about a second or two to get out of the plant's mouth, as you could just see, before being swallowed. Like a hollowed. So just jump up anyway. We're going to grab all of the pollen on the way. Of course, it should be on 236 by now. Um, hit the nose right here. And that's going to get us another achievement called Nose Dive. Plus, it <laughs> gives us the way. Plus, it gives the statue a pretty banging little water mustache there. Uh, but we'll, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. So jump, grab the pollen, immediately jump and go. You know, that exactly what I didn't do. Uh, so, um... Yeah, if I could take my own advice, that would have been fantastic. So we'll try, we'll try this again, shall we? Build a tower, jump, collect, jump and go. <laughs> and do the same with this bit, but go all the way around. Very important to go all the way around because there is another bone piece. So jump again, jump to the right and grab the second out of four bone pieces. So I did actually um, miss that one first and I had to sort of uh, re-edit that one. So I had to edit that just in, which is all good, which is why there's a little bit of an edit skip, uh, but that's all good, so just jump down, and now we can go into the waterfall, which of course we couldn't do before, before giving him, before moving his nose and giving him a badass water moustache, but that should be that for now for this area, so that should be two bone pieces and the rest pollen, whatever we've got, plus 10 pink and 20 red, so jump across over to the other table now after building a nice tower, we've got another five green bras we're going to grab, which should uh, put you up to 21 green as well. Uh, grab these two raspberries as well. And then we've got the screwdriver as well to grab. Grab, nab, and stick it up your flab. Oh, wait, no. Not, don't do that with the screwdriver. Probably hurts. But anyway, grab the pollen and then jump onto this leaf. Now, what you need to do, there's t one raspberry here. And there's another raspberry just basically straight in front of us on the lower edge. Uh, which somehow I'm missing until I get to the third leaf here. So make sure to grab this raspberry before moving on, which is all good. Then we can grab th these next two. Ignore the one to the left of us for now. We will be going back through that. We're just going to make our way up for the time being. And then hit open uh, old Spider-Man Spunk Lad. The old cum string of life. I'll stop calling it that. I'll call it just a regular string. Jump down onto the book anyway, <laughs> which is all good. So we can just jump down onto the book. And then we could just jump back on the old string. And we're actually trying to... What we're trying to do is grab the rest going down. There we go. Which is all good. So that's... Remember, so you should have got all that off the book, plus all the pollen then on the string of life, the old spidey string. And then we could just keep heading up. Now, sometimes jump over the gap in the leaves. Sometimes there are gaps in the leaves, which you can easily um, miss. Uh, but as we get to the top, grab these four red dudes. And this is what you should be on. Uh, numbers wise, so 346 for pollen and whatever it was there for the um, tiny kin. So head up. We're going to throw the screwdriver at it to open it up, but we don't have enough green bras to open it up just yet. Uh, so you can try. But as you can see, you ye are nowhere near. Which is fair, just fine. Right, so what we do from here, we're going to jump down now onto this next set of leaves that we missed earlier on. So obviously we went on the green ones, now we're going on the other greenier ones, if you want to call them that. Uh, so make sure to grab the three bits of pollen right here, and then turn directly around to go into this new little area. So just head down. And then we're going to basically go back in our cells now, sort of underneath the bridge, as it were. Uh, we're going to grab another four red bros now, so it should be ten pink. 19, um, 
Uh, 10 pink, 19 red, and then it should be, if uh, I, I'm going to give a little whistle, give a little whistle, it should be, still be 21 green. So onto the left hand side bit there, we're going to grab another couple of pink ones, and then just go over to the other side. We're going to remove the cactus of life, cactus king. Have some cactus in your burger. Well, no, man. It, it, shit hurts, bruh. But all they're going to do is literally just move it aside so we can get through. That's all. But before heading down the hole, what we're going to do is head to the right. Underneath this little log, there's a, another bunch of pollen, another bunch of um, eggs to grab. Um, throw a couple of your tiny kin here to open up the hatch, but don't go through it just yet. We're going to head up. And then build a tower. Go to the other side. Build another tower. Jump to the next rock. Build another tower and jump to the next rock. So you should have got three pollens. I mean, if I could jump to the next rock properly, that would also come in mega handy. Um, so a bunch of pollens there should be on three... Uh, whatever that was. Whatever that number was. It's, sorry, it's on my editing screen. It gets really small. That's why I can't read it. Uh, but it should be on the same number anyway. So um, now we've dropped down into the hole. We're going to grab the next four pollen here before going on the cat butt mushrooms. Jumping over to the other side to grab um, four pink bras. Jump up, grab this next pollen, which would be three, yeah, whatever that is. And now we can go ahead, jump down, grab the key off the plangy and scree. Sorry, I was trying to rhyme and, uh, well, that went about as well as my guide making skills. Uh, terribly. Right, before heading out, make sure to open up this little area right here. Um, you don't lose any tiny kin for doing it, don't worry. In fact, I don't actually think we come back past this way throughout the entire level. So, uh, could be pointless, but it's always worth doing just in case. But anyway, we're going to head back the way we came. We're jumping up out of the hole. You should have uh, 21 green tiny kin, so you should have enough to get out. And we can go back through the hatch that we opened up earlier on. Um, we're basically coming out again to the main area. Um, just having a little little check, just to make sure again that you're on the same numbers that I am from for, uh, through everything. But we're basically at the sort of male part now. So, uh, light that candle for another one or two pollens. And then go to the right as we jump down. Underneath the book here, it's another six red bras. That's 24 red bras it should be on. Light up the next candle there, just above the grasshoppers. And go across. You can pop the two male in if you want, if it's getting in your way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to do a bunch of collecting. So on the right, we're going to open up this candle. Or get rid of this candle. And then directly in front of us in the same area is another couple of green dudes to grab. So we'll be on 24 now. And then what we're going to do before heading in and grabbing a bunch of stuff, we're actually going to jump up. Uh, grab the first three from this little area and then jump up to go on to the next part. Now the snails literally serve no purpose other than to be French and chill. I, I just assume they're French for some reason. Snails? Le snail. Yeah, sounds pretty French. Um, anyway, <laughs> jump up on all three of these leaves to grab all of the pollens. That should be 431, if I'm looking at that correctly. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we're going to jump down to the right there to grab another couple of pollen there, another five, uh, which are very sneakily hidden. And then we can actually start heading inside. So underneath the stair ramp is another four, uh, four red dudes. <clears throat> so now after this, we can just actually head up. Obviously, on the left, we've got a whole bunch right there, so that's 440. And then, in op the opposite side of the room is another bunch of pollen for us to collect. And that is pretty much it for this area. Nothing else doing, so if, again, if you want to have a little check, just to make sure that we're on the same, um, same numbers of everything that I am, then we should be as golden as nuggety ball bags. So, jump down into this sort of main little area that we go in. Grab three eggs. And again, if you want to have a little check, should be on 27 greens now. Um, light up this candle, and you get another pollen. Go underneath, just past the button mushrooms, cat butt mushrooms for another hidden pollen. Now, we're going to do like a kind of sweep, sort of around the area to grab everything. Um, but directly in front of us there was, was another box, and we're going to talk to Siliana in just a minute, or whatever its name is. Uh, get the golden nuggets, though, off the plant. There's another three red dudes that I just missed right there, right on the carpet. But we'll grab them in just a bit anyway. So light up the candle, get the th like the two candles here, and uh, the three red underneath the 
uh, ramp, make a tower and go inside this little area, sort of hidden area. Uh, you will need to smash open the weights in just a little bit. Uh, light up the candle, go to the right again. We're sort of doing a right sweep around, that's all. Um, and then just grab the pollen and the three red ones again. So just having a quick look, just having a quick look. But um, obviously you've got the opposite side sort of gate that we're going on here. So jump up into this little book hidden area, grab the next set of pollen and grab the next set of pollen here. Plus remember to open up the, uh, or light up the candle right there as well. And apart from just the three red dudes on the carpet now, we're all good. So we're gonna open up both gates. So just hit the weights that are just on, oh, oh, there we go. So I end up grabbing the red dudes right there. So make sure to open up both weights right there. And of course it just uh, eh, it just helps us get through to this little area easy, doesn't it? Right, the last one then, the last candle was on the left hand side, just underneath this little area, or going through to the next sort of area, hidden as it were. And now what we can do is actually, you can leave it now or you can just grab it now if you want. We're just gonna grab it now just because. So if we jump up, and it'll follow you so you don't actually have to burn your butt bags off about it. And that is going to give us a delicious amount of pollen. So that only happens when you light up all of the candles. If you haven't, haven't lit up all the candles, just go around go around the sort of main carpet area and have a look. So make sure to grab the three red guys and the raspberry there behind the sort of football. Grab the next bone piece in the middle of the room. And then go to the opposite side of the room, grab another five reds, which should be now 25, and jump up to grab a whole another set of pollen, plus another couple of pinkos. There should be 20 pinks, 23 reds, and well, I think we're on 27 greens, I believe, right now. So from this area, we should be all done. Now, again, if you want to have a pause of the game and just double check, you're more than welcome to do that. Make sure we're on the same numbers, but you should be all good. So we can just head basically out of this area now, up under the books. And around, pass old Cactus Burger Boy, the old Cactus Burger King. Oh, try my new burger. It's plant-based. It'll it'll taste like crap and it'll sting your tongue. Delicious. Ah, oh, yeah, why not? Right, we're going to grab a whole bunch of stuff right here now. So, grab the uh, first four red eggs. Jump onto the left-hand side one and grab another three. Jump down. Remember to grab every bit of pollen. Again, it's very, very easy to miss these ones, especially if you jump in and you just jump straight off. Jump down to the plant pot and go around, plus grab a couple of more pinkos, should be 23 right now. And there is a couple of raspberries as well, just hanging, chilling, a little bit of illing. And there's another couple of raspberries up here. Now, again, this is one of those areas that I, just, I didn't do awfully smoothly for whatever particular reason. So again, I apologize if it does seem a little bit back and forth. Uh, jumping up here, grab the raspberry from below you to the right, and then above you. That should have been three raspberries that we should have grabbed. So again, at the minute, you should be on 638. If you're not on 638, then you've probably just missed one or two, just on the plant pot or something. And there is another raspberry that we're going to grab, so go ahead and jump on the next sort of hanging rope. Or build yourself a tower, which will, of course, make life a lot easier for you. And then you can just jump off, grab the next raspberry... And there's one to the left of us as well, which we're going to grab. And then hit the old uh, string lad of life. The old little... The old little... Uh -huh. And then we're going to build yet another tower. <clears throat> and then we are going to jump... <laughs> well, apparently we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, though, so apologies, is hit this rope. Just in case we fall. And that's going to come in handy again, of course, later on. And then we're just going to jump up to the next hanging rope section. And I can see there's what kind of looks like um, hanging bananas, if you want. We're going to hit them, but we're going to hit them a little bit later on. Now, there's no particular reason for it. Um, I was actually just grabbing everything sort of in plain view for the moment. But we need to come back to this area later on anyway. Um, but again, for now, just make sure as we climb up to the rope, it should be on now six, whatever that is. Another raspberry there. So hit that. And then we can jump up. You can't get to this this area yet again, so don't worry about that. So uh, I do try hitting it and aiming for it. So again, uh, this area I'm not too happy with. So I've got to apologize again. I'm not too happy with this one. Um, it wasn't as 
sort of smooth and in one transition as I liked and it, 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 it was a bit everywhere so I do apologize about this bit again guys and gals a bit crappy of me uh, but anyway head down this little string to grab 664 and then we can start heading up again remember to jump over the gap in the leaf and now we can actually head into this new area which we couldn't before because we didn't have enough but again you should be on 664 if not you've probably just missed one again on that big tree or a raspberry or something anyway Jump up to the left, if you can try not to do what I do, and die a silly, silly death. And again, that comes in handy. Grab another three dudes, and uh, that's it. I was just having a little look, but there is nothing else here, apart from directly in front of us. So jump down, and grab these next two. Should be 668. Head through, and we can find the next bone piece. Remember to go to the right here before moving on. That's another three reds. And up to the ceiling. I'm so high, I'm like a good old cream pear. Um, grab this bo uh, next bone piece anyway, that should be three out of four, and then jump it down. But before heading through, there is a little sneaky golden pollen right there. Uh, to the right, just chilling on its own. Just dying to be collected. Dying darling to be collected. Why do all people, posh English people say that? Oh darling. It's it, yeah, it just got to be collected, you know. Why do posh people talk like that? Anyway, enough about the poshness. Um, once you've got everything in there, then we can now head back. And we are all, like I said, golden as nuggets. So, stringing down, soaping, stringing down. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the rest of the um, uh, pollen and stuff in this little big tree area. So the first thing, hit the banana there on the right-hand side. Remember, we didn't get them earlier on. So make sure to hit the bananas. There's about four there, and when you hit all four, a big uh, flower will appear. So jump down to the left flower and grab these next two, plus hit this next banana. And then from here, we can just jump down. Now, I do go on the old butt mushrooms, which is fine, because on this hanging rope, climb up, grab this next banana, which again is sort of close to the flower part, and the fourth and final one is right over there, sort of hanging, chilling, a little bit of illing on its own. So, slap open banana bags right here, and once you've got all four, like I said, this flower will appear, well, more pollen will appear on the flower. So, just jump straight back across. It's literally just directly on the very top of this tree, uh, which is what we're going to be going for. So, head up onto the rope, jump up, jump up and get down, apparently. Literally jump up and get down, because I messed that one up like an absolute turd bag. Alright, we'll jump up onto the next rope then. So, fine, we'll do it your way. There we go. Right, now, what we did miss, actually, uh, we'll just jump back up to the area that we came, because we missed a couple of pollen right here. So I do apologize about that, again. Um, this is where we just got the third bone piece right there. So make sure to grab those next set of pollen. If you were wondering if you were missing a couple, that's why, for ages, I was trawling for about 10 minutes through this place, because I was like, I'm missing, like, six bloody pieces. And that's why. Anyway, we're going to jump up to the opposite side now. Uh, where the bone pieces are, you should have grabbed another bunch of pollen right there, another couple of three. Uh, put all the bone pieces out, and that will get us our first artifact. So at the minute then, if you, again, if you want to pause, uh, just check that we're on the same amount of pollen, um, you're on the same amount of pollen that I am, then that'll all be good. Because again, I was not very happy there with the, um, with the way I sort of went about this, this whole tree section. It uh, wasn't as smooth as I like, so again, apologies about that. But anyway, we're going back onto the tree. We're going to go ahead and grab the rest of the pollen now. Anyway, so head to the right. And of course, you know, be careful. But you can see a whole bunch of pollen here, which should put us on 746. So hopefully, you guys and gals are on about the set, or literally about the same 746, before we head down the old string bag to get up to 752. So again, like I said, I'll say it one more time. I apologize for this section. If it's a, if it's annoying you a little bit, it annoyed me as well. Uh, but you should be on. As long as you're on 752, I promise you are squared away, buddies. Hit the next string here just as we get onto the opposite leaf. And of course, we're stringing along. We're getting along. We are looking good. Right, head halfway and then jump off to the left and get back onto the leaf. Um, that probably saved like five seconds, but hey, five seconds is five seconds, right? So now we're going to start finally climbing up. So again, if you're not on the same amount of pollen that I am, you probably missed a raspberry or something somewhere. 
But we're going to build a tower. We're going to go around the flower. So don't go on it just yet, or you can if you want. But remember to grab these next two or next four pollens on these top leaves. And then we can jump onto the main flower. And then... No, this is a good indication. As long as we are on 820, like I said, that's it. We should be good to go. So 820 when you're on the flower. Otherwise, if you're all good, we can just jump on these next set of leaves and start heading. Again, we, we, we are heading towards the end of the level now. Obviously, we've still got a, a bit of pollen to collect, but we're at the top. So we come into the end of it, which is good. So when we get to the top, uh, we can just jump off. Simply, simply lovely. Super max, super max. Um, jump off behind you then to grab another four red uh, red guys. And then we, what we're going to do is go over this little bridge right here. Opposite the grasshopper. We're going to open up this box to grab the next letter. So that should now be the uh, third third letter. Yeah, third out of four that we've got. Again, trying not to die. It's a bit of a minor inconvenience. It's especially an inconvenience in this game. Uh, very, very minor as it were. Ah, God. Man, I've big chungus myself to death so far in this level, haven't I? So, onto the pot. Uh, onto the leaf there. We obviously grabbed another couple. And then open up this string. String yourself down. And then we can string ourselves back up. String and along. And then what we're going to do, head underneath here so we can soap our way through, as it were. And then nothing to the left of us. Everything to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Go straight, grab the next four pollen, and that's it for this little area. We are all done. Go across the plank. Go to the left. What we're going to do, build a tower, jump over. Make sure to grab every pollen that you did. Again, very easy to miss one. And just go straight. Ignoring all grasshoppers, because they all look like they just want to beat the crap out of you anyway. Hi, Mr. Grasshopper. What you say to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, nothing. Right, open up the rope anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Please don't eat my ass! Although... Um, go onto the plank. <laughs> Beat my ass, of course, I said. Uh, grab the pollen, jump across. I grab a next set. Now we have to be quick right here, so... Jump down, quickly go across. Jump down, quickly go across. And then, if you're anything like me, you would have messed that up completely. Let yourself die. Uh, even my gut started going then, falling from that tight. So we'll try it again, shall we? Jump across, jump across, and if you're anything like me this time, you would have got it all good, and you would have got all the pollen as well. So that should be 900 that you're on now. Uh, oh, well, thanks for collecting that for me, pal. I was just trying to show the good people what we should be on by now, but uh, you ruined that for me, so thanks very much. Right, anyway, grab the pollen here from the right, um, and obviously the ones by the snail. Then we can open up the string bag, and we're not going the plant death way. We're going to go for a little skateboarding session now. Yeah. Job done. Right. Again, if you're anything like me, you will miss the first bit, which is fine. But you can just uh, go to the left slightly and jump back down. And we can head up the right ramp. Grab this next three. Build a tower and jump yourself over. Lovely jubbly pal. Jump yourself over again to the next part to grab the next three. Should be 974 now out of 1100. And jump to the plant. Remember to go quick. Go quick. Job done. Right, there's four on um, on this little sort of leaf right here. So make sure to grab all four as you go down. Which should be good. And then you can jump down. Grab the next four red dude skis. Um, hit the little string here. We won't bother just yet. I'll grab that in just a bit. But go around. Grab an extra pollen. And there is a, the fourth and final letter to grab. So, well, now we're on to a winner, huh? Ahem. <coughs> So now we can smash open old string bag, uh, G-string of life. Ah, the G-string of life. Yeah, that'll do. So string down. As soon as you collect all the pollen, jump off. We're going onto the carpet. Oh, I just burnt my balls. God damn it. Uh, but make sure you grab all the pollen there before jumping off. We're going to speak to Sikaru now, who's going to give us yet another little bubble bags. Well, thanks very much, Sikaru. You're fantastic, mare. Right, so anyway, heading out um, of the whatever side it is, we're going to jump up the books. Basically, we're going to head back to the area uh, that we basically just were. But we had to get that bubble, otherwise we wouldn't have made it. Our death would have been rained upon us. So just keep heading up and all the way up the strings. 
until we get back to this area that we are. Build a tower, head back onto the leaves of life. Leaves of life. Leaves a tree, greens are brown. Um, whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. So grab the three red bros. Build a tower to grab all four. Then we can actually jump over. There is a little ledge right here, so don't worry about that. With another three pollen on it. Should be on 1006. Jump across. And we're going to... Basically, we're doing a mission for this guy right here. So grab these four. Hit open this little matchstick men's. And we are going to grab the next set of pollen. So it should be on 1012 now. So jump down. And of course, we do need at least three bubbles, which we should have four, or at least three. So jump just across, lovely. Make sure to grab these first two pollens, or these next two pollens, which equates to eight pollens, apparently. And then if we look to the left, we're going to build a tower on this little plank, and then jump over to the plant. Again, remember, as soon as we jump on, jump onto the next one. Yeah, give yourself, always worth giving yourself a little hover. Just have a look at the shadow, make sure that you're above it. Uh, so you don't actually fall to your death, which I did there, actually. Uh, grab the lolly and then the four, or the ring, sorry, and then the four red broskies. Blast your way through again. And then what you need to do is just uh, go over straight to the plant, so build yourself a little tower and head over once again. And then with this bit, you should be good. So build yourself another little tower. Or bigger tower. Bigger tower that you can get. The biggest. Jump over. All the way. There we go. We're all good. Jumping up, and then, of course, smashing. Make sure your ring gets smashed into the box. So there we go. And that is the second out of two artifact museum. The Steel Ring Sting of Life. Lovely stuff. Right, so if you want to have a look, make sure we're on the same set of numbers. That's all good. But turn the camera around. And we're basically just going to head back to the um, mailbox area now. So you can see if you have a look at the camera down... We're going to jump down to the mailbox area to grab the final 50. And that is for hitting the two last letters in. That will give us 50, and that should now give us all of the pollen, and that should get us the Wild Forager achievement. There it is. So as long, again, hopefully... I mean, hopefully, like I said, this second level hasn't been too... Um, I've been annoyed in myself this level, to be honest. I didn't think it was smooth and as good as it could be. Uh, the achievement took a while for me to unlock. So hopefully you followed along anyway and you've got this achievement at this point. If not, feel free to berate me and hate me in the comments because I will join you, especially for this level. But I'll be better from... <laughs> I'm going to be better, okay? I promise. Anyway, we're going to jump down. Now we're back to the artifact at the beginning of the level. Throw the key at it. And that is basically... That's, that's basically going to end the level now. So, what you should be on... What you should be on then is uh, 26 pink. You should all, uh, get the Breaker of Chain achievement as well as we throw a, a 10 pink guys at him as well. Uh, the achievement didn't unlock for me uh, at this point for, for whatever particular reason. Uh, but what you should have in terms of Tinykin is 26 pink, 17 red and 30 green. But I'm not sure if the Tinykin actually um, differentiates in, in each level, sort of what you hit with it and stuff like that in terms of the ropes, etc. Um, if you hit one of the red guys at the ropes, you might not need it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it may differentiate. If you've got more than me, then that's probably even better, <laughs> to be fair. So we're heading back in now. We've, we've basically ended the level, uh, so we're all good with that one. Um... We're going to have a little chat, and then what we're going to do is just head back through the vent, and we're all automatically going to be just in front of the trapdoor to go to the third level. So here we go. Jump your ass in, boy. Ah, oh, yeah. 
But we're not quite there yet. We've got to do some skimming, some skateboarding, some jumping, some platforming, some skimming, some more platforming. And, well, basically, since we're in the crap-filled legendary sewers, luckily without uh, no alligators this time, you pretty much know where we're going to end up. Yes, so oh yes, we're in a toilet level with a bunch of bathrooms and let's just take a little look here Make sure we uh, didn't accidentally come past any uh, turd of the bags. Nope, I think we're all good So we ain't stinking yet right on the toilet seat grab the first bunch of red dudes go up the toilet paper very decorative by the way and open up this box and go down the toilet paper, not all the way down, jump down here to this little hidden area to grab another bunch of pollen. Yes, pollen, I've used the word so much it's actually lost all meaning now. So since we've only got three, of course, little green bros, we're not going to be able to go far. So head around the old toilet rim again. Looks, cl <laughs> looks cleaner than everything. Uh, head up this toilet roll and interact with this candle, so put a, a red bro on the candle. And then to the left is uh, another bunch of dudes in a box. Jump on this comb here on the right. Again, you're going to have to do a little bit of platforming. And then, so basically all the way around, there is nothing that you can't miss on this part. It's just kind of like one path. Uh, we're not going to be jumping down or anything just yet. So uh, head back over onto the toilet paper. I love whoever's placed this here, by the way. Fantastic. Um, get a red bro on the candle. Oh, in fact, no, we can't yet anyway, because we have to collect the first five. <laughs> there we go. So get five and then put one on to get another bit of pollen. And this is another, another new tiny kin. Now, basically, whenever you see an electrical plug socket, you can sort of chain them up um, in order to, well, you know, <laughs> get electric working and stuff. Um, but again, I will come to the, the achievement in terms of how many you've got to collect at the end of the level just a bit later on. For now, we're just going to crack on. So uh, jump up here then. We're going to grab a first couple. So there's three pollen. There's a couple of uh, more pink bros. And then on the left is another candle to light up. Uh, we're just going to go toilet strimming. Oh man, this looks like fun. And then get one of your silk lines, it's called. Not a cum line, it's not a spider line, it's a silk line, of course. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So grab six uh, new red ones right there, and then smash open this rope if you want to. Again, always worth doing it, because we end up falling quite a bit. Luckily, not down the turd bowl. That's all good. Uh, go down the silk line just to grab the uh, couple of pollen before heading back up. There we go. Now we can go up the next toilet roll, or the toilet path. And interact with this candle, get that flame in, flame on, and grab the box as well for another couple of green bras. Right, jump up here then, and we've got um, a couple of things to do. So the first four red bros right there, um, build a tower, and then grab four pollens. Don't worry about the big balls that you can destroy with the red things just yet. So interact with the candle there on the right. And then we can jump across and then interact with this candle, plus grabbing the three pollens. Again, build a tower, jump, build a tower, jump. And that's pretty much it. So jump across to the toilet roll. What we're going to do is actually hit this one now. So it's kind of like the raspberries from the last level, um, but they just take a few more red bros to go down. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to climb up on this toilet roll. We are going to hit one candle, which is just to the opposite, right next to the door there. Uh, just, we could get that later, but hey, you why not get it now? So when we've done here, and you've got the same amount of pollen that I have, etc., let's head into the sink and go down the sink hole. Uh, here's our first letter then, so make sure to grab that one, and then if you turn around, you can see another couple of big balls, <laughs> a couple of red, unused balls to hit, but we can't hit them just yet. So head to the left side of the sink, and that gets us another bunch of red bros. Head over to the right. And you can open up this box to get some more pinko stingos. 
Right, that's it for this little bit. So we'll come back to this in just a bit when we've got more red bro. So head back across. And then what we're going to do is actually just jump across to the toilet paper hanging. The sort of toilet paper path, as it were. So jump across. And then have a look and go down to the platform beneath you. Grab four red bros and uh, light up this candle for another couple of pollens. And then we can just jump up onto this toilet roll and across. Grab some more. You can speak to these bros if you want, but it makes no difference. Uh, grab the next four blue ones. And now we can jump down onto the floor. Ah, oh, lucky us, huh? So go to the right from where you jumped down. And just underneath here is a couple of red, red skis to grab. And then we're obviously going to climb up. Grab another couple of red skis, go through this little sort of pathway, go to the left, and you can see three blue and four red to pick up. My, 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 what a treat. It's like Smarties. Right, grab these next bit of pollen just hidden away in the book. And we're going to grab a couple more pinkos here on the left-hand side. Grab the next five blue ones right next to the electrical socket. Now, all you've got to do then is press the left trigger to aim and then the right trigger to shoot. Now, you can't get too far. So what I highly advise doing is where it goes sort of blue, then ever, ever so slightly just edge your way until it turns yellow. Because you don't want to be using up all of your blue ones. So you want to try and get them sort of as further away as possible. But when you do that, we've lit, lit, lit up the dung beetle's lamp. That gets us the achievement and we can get some uh, pollen in just a bit. So smash open the cupcake as well for some more pollen just there. Uh, but that's how easy it is then to use the electricity bras. And again, the, your your numbers may vary, but I think as long as you've collected them, you'll still get the achievement. So don't worry about that. But anyway, heading up to the bin, we've just grabbed another four red ones. Open up the bin, and then we can actually jump in, grab another two green, and grab a little pol pol. When we've done that, we're gonna carry on uh, going straight. Uh, sorry, I just took a drink, and apparently I can't drink without choking. Um, go up this little toilet path for, for another four pollen. And then we can just jump back down. That's all there was for that area. So we're going all the way to the sort of left-hand side now. Next to the rope, you can see five red. Once we climb up, from whence we came, we can find another three blues. And then, obviously, water, water equals bad, just like the first Assassin's Creed game. Uh, so don't go into water, go across it, jump over it to grab another box. And again, obviously just always keep checking, keep pausing your game whenever, um, you know, just to make sure that we're on the same numbers in terms of Tinykin and Pollen. So we should be on 140, well, 145 right now. So jump back across anyway after you've done that. We're heading up the rope this time. Man, Milo's got some epic, epic arms and core strength. I'd be freaking knackered after climbing up that. So on the book, heading up to the pipes. So we're just going to follow the pipes all the way around. Again, these two right here are very missable, or easily missable. So grab those two, and then jump back onto this sort of toilet roll lamp, hilariously. Jump down to grab another three red bras, and then just build a tower and get back up. So one of the pipes, jump back up again, build a tower, jump up, grab these two. And we are going to explode some bows, some crystal balls, which need look like they need seeing to. Try and flush, try and flush the Randy Marsh turd away. Hey, hey, Sharon. Hey, come look at this. I think it might be the biggest turd in the world. Anyway, in the right-hand corner, there's another three. So you should be on 23 blues. That's what you should be on for tiny kins right about now. And that's what you should be on for pollen. So as long as you're on the same... As long as we're on the same, we're all good. There's no backtracking necessary just yet, or at all. So head up the leaves so we can find another five red skis. Open up this old silk line. It's the silk line of life. Don't you know? So skip it a boo, skip it away all the way down. Job done. And we're going to silk our way back up, but we're going to jump off around here and just go into this little area. So on top of these combs or these little platforms, there should have been another two and another three on this platform as well. So make sure to be grabbing those. And then we can just jump all the way straight across into this little area. You can already see um, a couple of things to grab. So the first one's going to be a light on the floor. We're going to climb up the rope. Again, Milo with his incredible, he must be on steroids. Legend. Jump down, grab these next three red ones, and then we can bash open this box. Now, 
Uh, you think you'd just be able to jump over it, which you can, but we need to get a lot of items later on, so it's always worth just grabbing them out of the way. So, um, we've got a couple of new objectives available now, but obviously we'll be coming to that later on. So jump down on the floor, to the left is another five, or six, whatever that was there, and open up this box for another couple of greens, and smash open the light as well. Once you've smashed open that light, we will get more, I think that's a 50, a delicious 50 pollen bags to collect on top of the Bognus Regis roll. So, from here, what we're going to do, jump up, go up the comb, and you can already see just this little platform here to the right where the dung beetles stand in. Go to the right at the top. That's another two red to grab, and there was actually another bit of pollen right where we're standing right now, but one of my guys just grabbed that, so thanks very much, Mir. Thank you. Right, build a tower, clamber across, so jump and bubble your ass across. Bubble ass. And keep climbing up, and build a tower again, and go on to the toilet paper path, and go to the right this time. So we can already see, we came to this area not so long ago, well, we went past it anyway, but just keep climbing up, grabbing the two on the way, and the one at the very top here, turn around, and just go straight across, you can already see the one that we need, there it is. And then we'll be going straight across again, because now we've got enough red broskies to get rid of our bows. So there's the first one. And now we need to go back into the sink. I'm surprised we haven't seen a whole bunch of clogged hair in there. Beard hair and, you know, piaws and stuff. Because uh, that's what would normally happen in a sink. But anyway, you've got the two balls. You've exploded your balls underneath there. That's all good. <laughs> so go across onto this tissue. Build a tower. Jump. Build a tower. Jump. Let's get the 50. I think it is 50, isn't it? Yeah, so it should be on 326. And then just jump straight across from where we are now over to the lamp. Hello, hello. You little cutie little baggers. Even though we've got to collect a goddamn crap ton of you. Uh, but anyway, jump across and ta-da. We get another 50. 375 or 6, whichever one that one. Again, sorry, the screen is pretty small. So we're going to build another tower. Look at the state of that toilet. That needs to be clooned. Uh, basically, that's where we're heading anyway. So go towards the toilet and then just go up the leaves this time. So uh, anything else in the other area of the leaves we should have already gotten. So we grab another bunch of red skis, jump up off the tower, grab another three, go onto the leaf and grab another two. Um, so this is, ah, oh, well, you know, try not to fall again. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't inconvenience us in the slightest. So jumping up, you just grabbed another two, um, hit this rope to uh, whack that down again, just in case you fall, and you go face first, in, face first into the earth, face first into the old turden ball, is what I was trying to say, uh, grabbing the reds, <laughs> and then it, again, if you want to have a quick double check there, just to make sure we are on the same amount of, again, pollen and tinykin, and then we should be pretty good. Um, so after this then, what we're going to do, we're going to head towards this plant pot, and there's another three reds in here. We got a lot of reds for this level. Go straight across, get, oh well, one ball was smaller than the other, must have had surgery or something. <laughs> uh, so jump up on this leaf, grab another two, jump up on the leaf, grab another two pollen, and onto the next one, grab another two. And then we're going to jump over to this plant pot to grab another four reds. Uh, don't worry, that letter, I just edited it. I didn't get an extra letter or anything yet, just to let you know. Uh, jump down, stick. Stick stuff in the box. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, smash the rope down again if you want to. Um, you don't really have to, but that's all good. Now, what we need to do is, again, just like earlier, we need to get the electric from one side to the other. Now, you may get one more or one less than me. And what I mean by that is, you can potentially um, put an extra one or two in the chain. Um, but again... I pretty sure that does not matter because so at the end of the video if you've got less blue tinykin than me or you've got more i don't think it matters because um i think it's only the ones that we collect so yeah so don't worry if you've got a couple less or a couple more than me just don't panic about that okay just letting you know in case you're like what the hell anyway from here before going through there what we're going to do is go on this pipe it's very easily missed one because it's just one on its own. But at the end, grab that one. Ignore the count in the top right-hand corner for now. I did actually miss that one. 
Um, and I'll let you know when we're back to absolute square one. As we just get into this next area. But yeah, that was, again, apologies. Bit of a pain in the ass, but I had to edit that bit in. Because I missed it the first time. So now we're into the bigger portion of the bathroom. And there's a lot more going on in here. Yeah, you town. So head to the right as soon as you begin to grab another three here and go to the little at the end again of this platform. Uh, like I said, if you want to keep checking now, what if we're on the same tiny kin, uh, that should be good. It's only the blue one, by the way, as we jump down and look behind you to grab another couple of pink ones. It's only the blue ones that may differ. Um, so the rest of it, you should be on the same number as me. So let's uh, jump straight ahead now to the toilet bowl. This is where the second letter is, so make sure to pick that one up. Before heading, oh, sorry, this is the hair, the hair dryer, the air dryer, sorry, or whatever it's called. Jump down onto the towel, just hanging. Let's grab another four before we jump across into this lovely little sink area. Uh, grab in another five red ones. And of course, what we're going to do is grab all the pollen off the soap. Tell you what, whoever's, whoever's living in this house is living luxury, but very wasteful. Don't you know it's a cost of living crisis, bro? Although this is the 1990s, so he wouldn't know just yet. They had it easy in the 90s. Uh, right, destroy the ball, and we're going to grab a couple of uh, these three reds. Now we're going to be back on song in terms of, as we just jumped down to the left on the floor here. Uh, in terms of pollen, we are now back on song. So when we climb up here, you should now be on 443 as well. So again, apologies, don't panic though. We are back in tune, baby. So 449 you should be on right now after collecting it from the shampoo bottle there. So jump down all the way past the rope on tip floor. On tip floor. There should be another five reds to grab here. So we should be on 26 right knee. Uh, up on the carpet. Lovely carpet. And uh, dis destroy these two balls. Anyway, we have to grab the three red ones. I was just going to say, you know when you're old, when you're looking at stuff that's in the game and thinking, oh, I could do that with my bathroom. Oh, the oldness has set in. So hit the box, grab these four very well hidden in between the, the towels and go to the right side here. Grab another four. Go directly in front of you. Do an ollie over these guys and then destroy the box. I destroyed your box. And what we're going to do is build a tower, jump up here. Um, hit this out of the way just uh, so it gives us a clear path for later on. Jump across, grab another five... Uh, reds right here and if you want to just smash in these two letters the other two we're not going to get till pretty much the end of the level so uh, we got it we've got a while yet we've got a while so again little check here make sh making sure we're on the same uh, numbers uh, as long as you are then we are like I said smooth golden balls baby so jump up across build a tower jump up to grab another three pollen and again do the same here for another couple um, go across to the toilet roll lamp looking thing with the cotton buds hold them up or the q-tips uh, Wherever you're from and on the comb there was a couple more to grab as well Just having to double check grab that we've grabbed everything good So we're gonna jump back down in the middle here is the four toilet rolls and some nuggets to stick your nugget into Which should get us up to five two two and then what we're gonna do from here is turn to the left Eventually, there we go, and we're going to destroy another nutsack, another bowel, and that puts us up to 534. Uh, have a look just underneath to the left there for another four red ones. I should put you up to 31, 31 red. Destroy this. Again, you might say or see, it might seem that it's a bit pointless, but it, it does come in handy. Trust me, a lot later on. Uh, but we're destroying all three of these, and then go with four, of course, grab the four pink ones. And you can spin. <laughs> this is very obvious, is what it's referring to, the old titty titty tannic. Uh, but yes, very funny. So from here, jump to the right. And uh, just along the towel here, you're going to grab another five reds. And to the left of this bottle, you can grab another two. And if you go around the corner, we can find another set of surgery balls. One's bigger, one's smaller, um, for some more pollen. From here, we're going to go straight past the ship. Nice ship. And grab another six reds. That should be 18 now that we're on. Uh, clamber up with the tower. And grab another three blue. Clamber up with the tower again. Jump across to grab another set of pollen. 
and jump across <laughs> once again. And we're grabbing another three. Turn slightly right. I'm not doing it the uh, backwards way, but there we go. Slightly right to grab another two. And then... Oh, in fact, actually, what we're doing with the tower, we are going to grab another box. Sorry, sorry, almost forgot about that. We are just hitting another box over there just to get that one out of the way. So we've got an extra two with us. Um, smash open this box as well when we get here and then build a tower and jump up on this basket ledge edge thing. Um, that's another three red done and we can use this silk line. Silky smooth, baby. And what we're going to do... Um, now, I did waste a little bit of time here accidentally. I ended up going all the way up here, uh, jumping onto the second um, level right there and destroying the ball. And what I actually ended up doing was uh, climbing back on the rope, going back to that same area that we just were, so uh, silking down again, and hitting the rope. Now, to be honest, I think it's pretty pointless. We don't need to do that but I could have done that first before going up so apologies that I've just gone a bit backwards on myself there uh, but we're gonna silk all the way up don't jump down that was me being a silly snossage yeah you silly snossage ha chili sausage balls what we're gonna do is jump off here and now we're gonna do some more electroconic Um, so what we need is obviously the electroconic in right here and it's gonna go all the way to the left um, again, you know, just follow the video. It'll be pretty. It'll be pretty obvious where you've got to go, but we can actually put them on the um, items that are actually in the sink. You can't obviously put them in the sink because that would mean instant death, pretty much for everyone. But again, just do the same tactic of, um, you know, to trying to get the electricity sort of as far away as possible with the yellow reticle. Uh, just do what I'm doing, and we'll be golden as, like I said, titty nugget nipple balls. Eh. So that turns on the air dryer then, so that is uh, all squared away. So now we're going to start moving, we're going to start doing a lot of stuff now. So build a tower, and we're going to jump across to the bath. And it's fairly obvious which one it is, so jump, and it's basically straight in front of us. It looks like kind of a midget bath, but uh, you know, a little tiny bath, but that's all good. So jump down to this area, grab another four um, uh, red ones, jump, and just go straight, jump all the way down to grab another five. On to the left to grab another four blues. And then you can see a box straight in front of us. So smash that open, boys. Smash it, girls. Straight in front of you is another four. Jump up, jump up and get down to get another set of surgery balls. And then we're just going to uh, build a tower and just grab these ones as well. We're going to come back for the, for the other ones a bit later on. Jump across to the burger, the burger toy, bouncy burger. And there's going to be three sets of golden pollens here to grab as well. So you should be on 632 right now of Golden Pollens. Um, but now what we're going to do, jump onto the platform basically behind us. And there is a set of blues. There they are, just in between the towels. That's all good. So we're just going to nip off now. And again, little <laughs> again, it's a little check. Check time! Check all the numbers! So again, definitely for Pollen, you should be on 632, and those are the numbers you should be on for the Tiny Kin right now, again, providing you've been following along. Again, if you're one or two numbers short, just do a little bit of backtracking the way you think we've been. Um, or just, you know, watch the video and backwards, and, you know, you'd be good. So anyway, go straight, basically, into the bath area now again. Hit that so we can get the ramp going. And then we're going to build a little tower, jump up and across, past Rig Me Beard Face, Grab another five, and then in between the taps, you can find another two pollens. Again, rather well hidden. Right, jump down, and on this bottle here is another two. And what we're going to do is just go, there's going to be all pollen, the three blues there, and then pollen, 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 pollen. 
God damn, I hate that friggin' word. Pollen can suck on my nips. So climb up the rope after you've got everything into the bath. And then from here, what we're going to do is just clamber up. And there's a little weight that we're going to smash open now. So there it is. So get that open. So the pathway will be open for us. Grande. Right, get the surgery balls busted. So we can get some more pollen. Jump up and smash open box number... <laughs> what feels like a million so far. And before heading straight, we're going to go to the right. Just on the um, bath rim. The old rim job, bath job. To grab another five reds. Um, and then we can head back up, go to the right here, and go straight over to the toilet paper. Jump up, grab number three, and gra make sure to j grab these four pollens on the floor, uh, these four uh, pink bros on the floor, before doing a little bit of towering. We're actually going for the key right now. So, that's all we're doing, doing a bit of climbing leaves. Go into the pot, grab another five or six, I believe, red ones. Should be on about 23 right now. Meep, meep. So we can just jump down, so yeah, just keep having a look. Now obviously what I've been trying to do is keep things in an order, rather than go to a place, get a bunch of pollen, and then miss some, and then come back to it later. I'd rather just try and get everything done all at once to make it a bit easier for you guys. So apologies if sometimes it is a bit back and forth, but there's so many goddamn things to collect. But uh, anyway, uh, going all the way up, you shouldn't have missed any pollen right there. Uh, we can grab the key now. Like I said, you shouldn't have missed any. It's all on the same main path. As we grab these bunch, it should be on 729. You need 15 pink ones, which we should have plenty of right now to smash the weight. Smash the freaking weight. Smash the weight. And when we do that, what we're going to do is just do the biggest jump of your life. And again, try not to die. But we're going for the rim job, bath job. There it is. Made it nicely. So you could have grabbed those red five orbs um, then if you wanted, but yeah, it's done now, isn't it? It's done. Right, what we're actually going to need to do, now I tried seeing if there was a way I could just nip up there. Now we need to go to the right, right on the higher shelves, and as it turns out, it didn't work that way. I thought I could jump, but nah, nah, not nah, nah, ach no, it didn't work. So we need to go uh, up this rope here. Here's the bathroom sinks, but now we can actually start making some progress. So build a tower here, jump yourself across, bubble bias, bubble layers. Build a tower, jump across, bubble bias, and do the same, jump across so we can get on this little bit of makeup right here. And there's uh, three pollen there, and another five red broskies. Jump up on the comb platform, jump across. And then we're going to build a tower right on the three. Make sure to grab all of the three and that you don't miss any. Because finding one can be a pain in the bum. As we are pretty much all aware. Since we've probably done it once or twice by now already. I've done it every single level so far. So 100% record of being a douche. I'm winning. Uh, grab the next five right here and then smash open this rope. <laughs> I mean I'm not being a douche but I'm just being a little silly forgetting things. Silly me. Right, jump up, and we're going to build, of course, yet another tower. Eventually, we're going to build another tower. Sorry, I thought I was having a bit of a moment there. And again, jump across, make sure to grab all the pollen there, and the three here. Don't forget those! Jump across. Now, again, this is all pretty much on a bit of a linear pathway as we climb up, but I'm obviously going to keep telling you, just in case as well. So, jump up on the shower head, and grab another four, so it should be seven... Yeah, something nine as we jump across onto the old blue pills. Why would somebody have blue pills? Anyway, hit the shampoo bottle. Ignore the blue pills. We'll come, we'll uh, have a little look at that later on. Let me take six for myself. Um, anyway, that's the shampoo bit done. So that's one of the main quests uh, complete. So we can smash down this rope, but we're not going down it. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Should be on seven... 62, 762 pollen you should be on right now. So, and as you can see, the main quest done. And again, you should be, should be on the same amount of tiny kin, unless, of course, you've gone off on your own path, etc. Uh, jump across, grab onto this rope, make sure to collect all four off the toilet roll holder, shower curtain holder toilet roll thing. Right, be careful with this bit. You cannot grind your way all the way through because you will fall off, which is why you see me edit it there. Um, there are no golden pollen that you can miss, but I highly advise just walk in and taking your time before getting over here and grabbing a whole bunch more golden pollen. 
like I said, if you do try uh, skating all the way, you are gonna fall off. I done it twice on the way, and I also done it twice on the way back. So that's nice. Son of a beast. So what we are going to do is jump, and we're gonna aim for the. You can see the top uh, top level. We're actually just gonna aim for the second one, which I just about do. So the one here with the uh, three blues, the two reds here on the right. So just uh, try and make sure that you've uh, grabbed, jumped onto the same one that I have. There's four pollen. There is another box to break open, and there is another. Um, there's a laser, which is a part of the main questicle. Ah, questicle. Anyway, jump down the rope. Make sure to grab the top pollen here. That's easily missed again. Jump down. Grab, jump onto the co uh, cone platform. Oh, sorry, I had something in my throat. Grab a bunch of pla um, grab a bunch of pollen, and we found four reds and another two pollen on the towel. Go across this comb into this little sort of wider area. Get those surgery nuts blasting. And it should be up to 883 now. I think that said 883. Ah, my eyes. Jesus. Uh, get the silk line going anyway right here. And we're going to grab another three reds. We're going to open up this box. And we're also going to start... We're gonna, we are going to grab these. Again, we're going to come back to this area a little bit later anyway. But I do just grab these now just to sort of... Uh, again, not so that we're so back and forth all the time. So keep jumping up. You shouldn't be missing any. Um, you shouldn't be missing any. We are now going to hit the magic 900. 900 and oh, that's 899. Well, close enough. Anyway, jump down onto this bottle, and now we've hit the magic 910. This is what we should be on if you've been following along at Lavely. Uh, so we're gonna go silk lining right now. I was gonna go down the rope, but we'll leave that for a little bit later. Uh, so silk line down. And from here, what we're going to do, again, if you want to have a little quick check, just to make sure that you're on the same nuggety butt bags as me, and that we're all golden and squared away. What we're going to do then from here is we're going to build a tower. Well, you don't have to build a tower. We're just going straight, basically. Straight up the ramp by the bath. We're actually going to be doing some more electroconicuting right now. So this one takes... I think it was about 18 or 19, something like that. But we just need to go... It's all the way to the path on the right until we find the radio. So just keep doing what you're doing. Electrocute that boy. And again, like I said, just try and get the yellow reticle as far away as you possibly can. You know we've all done it before. Right, so now what we're going to do is finally use the key on the bathroom door to open up the pathway. Now you think, why the hell are we doing that? We've already got everything in there, which indeed we have. So from here, jump straight across the bath. How is a fully-fledged adult supposed to get in that bath? It looks tiny. It looks tinier than my own nip-nips. And by the way, if you're wondering if that's a euphemism, no, I've generally got uh, what I think are the world's smallest nips. Depressingly. So going up here, we're going to jump off and we're going to land on the comb. Because that is the ultra way that we're going to throw the key in. And there she blows, baby. Sorry, I really shouldn't be talking about my own nips on a video guide. We're talking specifically about video games and where we're supposed to go. You're not supposed to have fun on a video game guide, remember? You're supposed to be boring. Ha! Well, I tried boring once. Didn't last too long. Right from here, we're going to jump up on this toilet roll path and the next toilet paper path straight in front of us. And we're going to jump down, and remember this little depresto chico? Chuck a bunch of pink bros at it. Now, for the next sort of couple of minutes, there is literally nothing else to do, except, I mean, they literally take about a minute or two. All you've got to do then is just uh, move the way over for them. That's pretty much it. You can literally jump on the item in question, and have a Relaxo Rancho day. So that's not exactly what we're going to do. Jump on it, have a Relaxo Rancho day until we get there. Put your feet up, go make a brew. You know, go 
Flick a bow. Go see your family for a minute, man. Come on. Maybe take in some outside air, some nice fresh air in the lungs. Although, as gamers, whew, we don't like that. We don't like that. <laughs> And next up then, we're just, uh, you know, we're being, once again, because as we hit this calendar and we're going to start doing the same thing, we're going to try and jump on that in just a bit to just have a nice relaxo rancho way over. Oh, we're on to, we found some more blue pills. Wow, whoever set this up is, I don't know if they got some problems or what. But anyway, uh, again, nothing else to do here or collect. We are physically just going to jump on it if you can. If not, then, you know, still follow the way anyway, but... Um, now, while this is going, like I said, if you've got, if you are, if you think you are, you haven't got the same numbers that I am, and you are missing uh, either a couple of tiny kins or um, a couple of pollen or one pollen or something, now's the time really to go and backtrack and just take a look just to see if you have missed anything while this is on its way. Otherwise, yeah, put your feet up, have a chill. Right, that actually gets us our first, finally, <laughs> finally, our first museum artifact, which is the Ring of Eternity. Just waiting for Frodo's ass to appear now, to be honest, to try and burn that, and Gollum to bloody try and appear and try and snatch it out of our hands. Anyway, we're going straight, we're going to the right, and we're going to go to the ship now. So, hit 25, like I said, you should have 25 pink ones easy, as long as you've been following along. And once again, this is another minute or two where we're just chilling on the boat. So this now is very uh, Noah's Ark type thing, except we're on our own. Screw the animals. I'm just joking. Animals are great. Please don't cancel me. <laughs> animals are great to love, pet, and eat. Sorry.
Kidoki Chicken Smellyoki. What we're going to do now then is go off the bath, climb up this ramp under the sort of sort of middle basket thing, go up past the washing machine, and what we're going to do is make another electricity line. Now we're going to be doing. Um, we need to basically steal another ring. <laughs> this time, once again, Gollum's not actually after this one. Uh, but anyway, just go from the right to the left here, or left to right, whichever way, and make a nice little electricity line. Oh, aye, that opens up a nice little way for us, doesn't it? So, head in, and now it's going to be like a sort of puzzle, as in, try not to die. And um, that's exactly what I do first time. Just don't walk straight into this bit, because you will die straight away. Uh, so, we need to jump, and uh, just go left to the right. Remember, there should be nine pollen here to collect. You may make it, you may not, just like I did, uh, which is fine. If you need a little bit of a helping hand, just build a little tower and uh, get yourself going, but you should just about make it anyway. So this is just a time bit then, uh, but what we're going to do is go around, turn around, go through the fans here after building a tower, turn to the right, and we're going to grab a whole bunch of pollen in here, which will put us up to 947. Uh, hopefully again, you should be on the same number. So jump back through the fans, and let's do the time section stuff. So as soon as it goes away, job done, grab another three. Now, as soon as the one on the... <laughs> yeah. As soon as the one closest to us here on the left goes up, go inside, wait for the next one and go through, grab three blue ones, and then this is just once, one at a time. So as soon as the first one drops down, like now, go through, next one, go through, next one, go through, and this is just the same, one at a time, just keep going, job done. Right, head to the left and make another little electricity line. It's a very, very short one, but that's basically going to open up the exit for us. So it's a nice, it's a nice little, you know, it's, it's a nice little level. It seemed to last forever, but me recording this right now, it's gone very quickly. So there's the ring anyway in the other opposite side. Now we can grab that and we can head down, pop it in to get the steel buns. I forget which one it is. Yeah, that thing. Like a helmet or something. But anyway, tis, tis, or oh, to steal entrail. Of course, that's exactly what I knew. Uh, but tis, a, uh, another museum artifact. So two out of three now for the level. So we're going to head back up to where we got the um, pollens earlier. Only this time we're going to keep going straight and up. So again, apologies if you're like, oh man, I've already been here, bruh. That's a bit of backtracking. I do apologize. But this time we're going to head up the rope, jump to the next rope, jump to the pipes. Be careful as to, of course, not fall, because that is an inconvenience. Uh, anyway, we're just going up the main path, grabbing all the pollens that we can at the moment. Again, if you've been um, going on, following the guide, not going on, you should have 959. Go around the corner, again, being very careful on the single pipe. There's uh, another five reds for us to grab, which will put us up to 29. Hit this box out of the way. And again, be careful, but right at the very end is another whole bunch of stuff that we're going to grab. Bam, 1009 you should be on. So again, you should be on 1009 as long as you've been following the guide religiously or loosely or, you know, anything E at all. Be careful, of course, not to um, jump off because what we're going to do is jump across to the opposite side now. There it is. Hey, remember to take your blue pills if you need them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, let's grab a whole bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So get a silicone go in, plus the six red broskies. There's the other four. Uh, get the surgery balls out of the way, and another bit of pollen there as well. Should put us up to 1,036 out of 1,200. And then from here, we're obviously going to silk line it, baby. And what we're going to do after we get the last bunch of pollen, we're going to jump off and go onto the carpet. There it is. So directly by the bath, we're just going to jump down onto the carpet because this is where Sakura, Sakura, oh baby, do you like my bubbles? A uh, little, uh, let's have a little check here anyway. Uh, make sure we're on the same tinykins, make sure we're on the same main quest completed and the same pollens. So Sikaru, Sikaru, baby, his hips don't lie. That gets us a fifth bubble. Oof, man, Sonic could have done with these in the underwater levels. Bro, where were you right then? 
Yeah. Anyway, go to slightly to the right and hit open this cabinet. We are coming up now. We're about 10 minutes away now. Well, about 7 or 8 minutes away from finishing the level, something like that. So, we're going to go inside here. A whole bunch of stuff for us to collect. Straight in front of us is another 5 reds, which would be 26. Jump up, and we're going to grab 3 pollens here. 3 pollens on this sponge. And if we go... Well, it would have been directly in front of us, which we are going. I'm just doing it in a very squiffy way. Is another four pink ones. So we're going to leave the teddy bear for now. Nay worries about that because we are actually going to not go where I'm going. Go back up the shampoo bottle. Go on back onto your tower. Uh, well, we're going to have to make a bigger one, actually. So we need to make a bigger tower to go onto this platform. This is where Gasper the Co Ghost is. By the way, you thought I'd forgotten about him, which I actually did forget about him until I bumped into him. Oh, he's gone! Jesus Christ, where have you gone? So anyway, that is Gasper the Ghost. That is the third out of seven. I believe it is seven. And the next letter is here as well. So make sure to pick up the uh, third out of four letters. Jump up. Uh, make a tower. Jump up and grab the next set of pollen. And then just go to the opposite side and do the same thing. Break open this box for another couple of red skis. Or whatever it was. Jump up. Grab the next set of pollen. That again should put us on to 1093. And we're pretty much done now in terms of grabbing things in the area. <clears throat> So what we can do is just jump down and slap open the teddy bear. Bam, 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 15. And, well, it's the same sort of thing again. All you need to do is just go on your pathway just to make sure that um, there's nothing blocking the way. I don't think there should be anything blocking the way, but now I'm going the wrong way, by the way. Um, I'm just putting the one letter in just because I can, but the teddy bear is going to go in the opposite direction that we are. Uh, so, yeah. But again, you'll you'll know anyway because of course when the teddy bear gets uh, teddy bear gets to the place, it's going to be an automatic cutscene. But there it is, past the bath, past everything, and there's the washing machine. So that's where the teddy bear's heading. Then, so we're going to jump up onto these towels. There was three blues that I did miss earlier, which I apologise for again. So make sure to grab these. And now we need to get uh, the electricity going from the left. All the way to the right. So again, that's going to take about seven or eight blueies. Bluey, what? SpongeBob and Bluey, by the way, are the only good um, car, uh, kids shows. The rest of them, yeah, God, they just do your tits in, don't they? So, just before the teddy bear gets in, well, it doesn't make a difference. We're just heading towards where the washing machine is. Man, that takes a lot of tiny kin. That's going to automatically go up. And then what we're going to do is we need to hit that button. So, where the washing machine is, where we are right now, we're going to climb up the rope to the right of us. Jump up, climb onto the rope. Again, you'll have to probably build a little tower. Get yourself going. And then throw one of your tinykins at the on button to get that going. Omga, oh it's like a brand new bear. Right, so jump down, we're going to throw another 15 tiny kin at it to get it going back into the same place. Um, so again, like I said, if there are any is it, if there are any tiny kin that you think you're missing, or any uh, pollen that you might be think you're missing, then, uh, well, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, from here, what we are going to do is just climb up the rope. And we are going to go up the silk. And we're going to grab these last bits of... Um, the, um, uh, uh, pollens and stuff. So jump onto the rope, jump down, uh, grab uh, six red ones right there, go around the corner, very importantly, to grab another couple of blues, and then just jump yourself up, go onto the towel here onto the right to get one. Oh, it's a lonely old testy ball. Uh, so grab that, and then we're going to jump down. So grab two, and then grab three on the pipe, grab two on the sponge, three on the pipe. 
Then what we're going to do is just jump straight across. Again, rather than go back to the teddy bear and come back, we've got plenty of time. Go onto the combs. There should be three combs. There's the fourth and final letter right there as well, so grab that. Four on the tissue light thing. Three on the comb. Another four right there. That should put you at 1140. Now, as long as you've got that, that's 1140. That should be all you need to collect in the level. The rest is the last one in the mailbox. So if you've got less than 11, 1140 right now, chances are you've missed something and you'll just have to backtrack a little bit, unfortunately. So right now you should have 1140. There's a snake eating itself or sucking itself off or something. I don't know. But that's what we're going to grab. So, ah, oh, did you see that skilly McBilly? I paid the bills with that skill. Not the energy bills, though. Nobody can afford that. So, uh, pff, it's unlucky. Anyway, that is the Ring of New Beginnings, so if you want to, I don't know, eat your tail or suck yourself off or whatever that's supposed to entail, then, well, that's what we're going to do. But that's the third artifact. Um, again, like I said, we're coming up literally now to the end of the level, so just jump straight across as we exit, hit the fourth mailbox, kablamo Marge, that is it. We are done. So that should be the Party Forager achievement unlocking for you. That should be all 1,200 out of 1,200. Spanks a bunch. Another rare, god damn, I love the rare collectible achievement. It's beautiful. So, to finish off the level, we're going to head up onto the bathtub. The only thing we've got left to do is get rid of the laser. So, hit the laser in the hair clip. Boosh! Mm. Bubble Negotiator will unlock. Party ensues. Boys. And then all you got to do then, now we finally get the scissors. Even though... So, we have to do all these stuff. For all these little, you know, lazy ass grasshoppers and stuff. And dung beetles and that. Um, when we've I've literally got like a like a hundred tiny kin on me. I literally could have just push, pushed the dung beetle off into the river or into the bath and just grabbed the scissors and finished the level. But no, that's not the nice thing to do, is it? Of course. Hip, hip, hip. So anyway, what he does then, party pooper. <laughs> ah, that's a yeah, that's a good name. Good name. Well done, dev team. Fantastic. So anyway, we get the scissors now. Chuck your, chuck your tiny kin at it, and that will be going. And then just follow the path to the end of the level. But there is one thing that I actually wanted to show you. Now, if you press the start button, what you're going to see, if you've been following along with the guide, what you're going to see is you've got 36 pink ones. Now, what you need for this level is 40 pink, 24 red, 22 green. And again, the blue will vary depending on how many blues you actually put in your um, electrical chains and stuff like that. But I think, like I said, as long as you've collected them, you are squared away. Um, but if you press the start button now, you're going to see, maybe, for me anyway, I saw that there was 36 collected. Now, this may happen to you on one or two levels as well. So, I'm going to show you. It's, it's literally as simple as when we get out, we just need to go back into the level and then it will sort of update itself. But I will show you... If it happens, I'll show you how to get back to the level. So as you can see there, so 36, we're good for red, we're good for green. Again, blue's going to vary, but you should roughly be on about 30, you know, between 35 and 40 anyway. Um, and again, it, it literally doesn't matter if you're not. Like I said, I'm pretty sure as long as you're collecting them, then you're as golden as an absolute nutbag. Um, so yeah, so 36, little... Cutscene, of course, is going to happen with Rid Me for a sec. Oi, mate, get Rid Me herpes. I, I don't know if little people like that have herpes. Anyway, so what we're going to do then, before heading right to where uh, Rid Me herpes is, um, we are going to climb all the way up. Again, I just want to show you this, just so you're not panicking and you're not getting confused and everything like that. Um, here I tried to build a tower to jump to the other side, but I don't have any, of course. Uh, but we have to go all the way to the top, so yeah. Because, honestly, this generally did confuse the crap nuggets off me first. And I did, just like the last level, actually, the, the level, foliage level. I went around everywhere trying to find what I thought was two missing. But all I did was go back into the level and it sort of updated itself. And it should do the same with every level. So pause the game now. And as you can see, you we've now got 40. So 40, 24, 22. And again, I got 39 blues. Yours may vary. But it has now updated itself. So again, 
if that happens, don't panic your beautiful little souls about it. Just go back into the level, it'll update. Job done, we can move on. So, the next level is the shortest one in the game, which is always nice. Always nice to have a little bit of a breather. Um, it's the Transidor Crossing. So, we've already been in the room once, but now we can get up to the upper levels and really begin this stuff. And so here we go then for level four. How exciting! We're back at the Transador Crossing. So we're gonna head up. Head up. We we're gonna talk to the bearded grey. Now, this is the shortest level in the game. There's no main objectives or well, there's objectives, but there's no um, you know, artifact or anything like that to grab, no main story items to grab. Just a lot of pollen, of course, and another bunch of tiny kins. So, first of all, as soon as you get up here, turn to the left to see the five red and go to the opposite side of the room to find four blues. Go back to the opposite side of the room to find five more greens. And then go to the opposite side of the room to find uh, four more reds here on the left, and if you go to the opposite side of the room just before the water, if you turn right here at the uh, case or the cabinet or whatever, find another three blues. Probably could have done that in an easier way, but, uh, well, a bit of zigzagging back and forth is fine, isn't it? So we've got the three pollens going over the videotapes here. Jump over onto the basket. We can't get the ones at the top yet, but grab the red dudes. Uh, jump over to the next set of videotapes to get three pollen and three more blues. Um... Now, very sneakily hidden pollen. Bubble your way underneath the videotapes to get another one of these beautiful 50s. Get stamped. Bam! Wham! Thank you, ma'am. Square in the guts. Jump over, grab another four reds, and then you can see already the three blues. Uh, but we're going to grab these uh, nicely hidden pollens just under the book. That's another four. Grab these three red ones, and then we can jump up this book right here to grab the three. And we're going to jump up as well to grab uh, another couple of bits of pollens. That should be a <laughs> nice number. Uh, right, go up this little ramp and smash open this box. Yeah, how many times have I heard that? Once, twice, only three times in my life. Uh, open up the pathway right here. Makes life easier for us later on. And we're going to go up this little ramp to the left. Open up this box. Jo uh, go down the ramp and grab six reds right Yeah. And jump down again, and right underneath us, which again is very well hidden, there is another three pollens. Uh, nothing else in this little area, so we're just going to get the ones by Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the White. Rid, rid me this, rid me that. So open up the box right there to get another couple of uh, uh, Pikmin, I was going to call them, Tinykins. Jump up, and that should be on 75, I believe that just was. Could be wrong, apologies if I am, but you should be on the same number anyway. You can probably see it on a bigger screen. Uh, jumping up, we're going to grab these next three greens. Tower yourself up to grab three, and then jump uh, jump over to the other side. Tower yourself up. Uh, we are going to grab... It is another three that we are going to grab. Um, I, Like I said, it's worth grabbing it now, because if you think, oh, I'll come back for that one later, you might end up uh, forgetting it. And it'll all go to hell. Hell. So jump on the papers, grab another three. Go down and grab another three red ones. Sticking them in. We're getting them nice and big. Open up the path here by smashing the red bros on the boxes. Jump over the old gaparoni and then just stick your tiny kin where the sun don't shine. Right up the poop snatch. Now get, get them out of the way for another... Very well hidden location of pollens. That should put you up to 125. It is the middle of the night here, and my eyes are... Well, they're going cross-eyed at the minute. As well as the t screen being tiny, so... That's great. Uh, right, what we're going to do now, we're going to head um, back down... Uh, where we could found that box earlier on, so... Uh, on the sort of floor level right there. So go inside, grab the two blue ones. Go to the end. You can speak these things if you want, but we're not going to bother. We're just going to smash this open and grab the 
Number one, a piece of paper. Make sure to grab the three pollens around the corner in between the two bookcases, build a tower, and jump up. And there we go then, that gets us to 146. 146, oh my god. So then, as we get out of here, what we're going to do, uh, where we found these little blue things on here, the uh, blue tinykins, there's a weight that we're going to smash down, so we need 20 pinkos. As long as you got 20, that makes, well, it makes some kind of difference right there. Uh, and then once once we're done with that, we are all good to go. Um, now, again, I do have to say that a couple of times in this level, I am sorry, I ended up... Um, just doing a, a tiny little bit of back and forth, uh, forgetting one bit of pollen here and there and, and things like that. So I do apologize, uh, but obviously I'll let you know um, when we get to it. And now, for example, of course I came up here earlier on, didn't I? And I could have uh, smashed this rope open earlier, so apologies that I didn't do that. Um, we are going to climb up the rope, but we're not actually going to collect everything on the top just yet. What we're going to do is go on bigger shelves, higher shelves at the top, and then we're going to come back around to this part a little bit later on. So for now, we're going to climb the rope. We're going to turn around. Turn your buns around before I punch you in the buns. And we are going to smack bash land straight on the basket and grab the uh, pollen that we could not grab earlier. So that should be another five. That should be, uh, I need about one fifty. And then we're just going to go all the way to the other side, back at the top of the stairs. We are going to grab this number nine piece of paper right here, so very important. There's, that, that is basically the main quest, that's all it is. Jump up, open up this box. Uh, we're going to jump up. We're going to grab the three red guys right here, and we will need one more. So if you've been following along so far, we will need one more, which is fine, just fine. This is for an achievement, um, unmissable. So let's go and grab it, shall we? Have a look at this bin, chuck 12 pinko stinkos at him. 12, 12 in the pink and none in the stink. Well, that's a great idea. Damn, though, 12. Jeez. Uh, so anyway, jump up to the top of the books and then use the rope. We don't have any red guys to smash your nugget through those nuggets on the left there. So climb up the rope, grab another five green bags, and then use those green bags to jump up onto the pot to grab four reds and uh, four more pollens or three more pollens, however many it was just then. So... Let's go back now. Since we've got a couple of reds, we're going to climb up and we are going to get the achievement for fixing the clock. And it is called Fixing the Clock, Fixing the Clock. So smash your one at it and then you'll be able to fix the clock, fix the clock. And with the blue pill, you'll be able to fix my clock as well because my clock's a bit broken. So finally, we're all good. Get the clock ticking. Cl clock. What I said. Uh, so don't worry about that. That's not going to hurt you. So we're just going to climb up, get the three across, and make sure to dive to the right here to grab these next five, six, seven pollens, however many they were, before grabbing the next three. Jump around here to the left as well so we can climb up more and more on the rope. Damn, coming up to three hours. Jesus Christ. And then we're, uh, <laughs> it's been an enjoyable three hours so far, right, guys? No stress whatsoever about missing pollens and everything. So jump down, that's going to get us another 50, that should put us onto 228. So what we're going to do now, um, there's lots of course on the left here, but what we're actually going to do is climb up to the highest point we can here, uh, build a tower, and then we're going to go straight across. We're going to dive for the leaves straight in front of us. And that is not nice wallpaper, I suppose this was the early 90s, according to the game, so well, they can get away with it. So make sure then to grab, it's another 50 right here, so that is going remarkably well for us. And then grab the other six that are strewn about. Again, very easy to just miss one. Uh, climb up. Climb up. Climb up. Uh, there's going to be another two pollen here to grab. Climb up. And there's another two pollen past the plant pot here. So make sure to grab these two pollens first. The old golden nugget balls before moving on. There's nothing actually in the plant pot, so don't worry. So we'll go straight and build the tower, jump up. That puts us onto 300 already now. Now, if you turn directly around from where we just were and have a look on the edge, there is more pollen, which I am going to come back to in just a second. But for now, 
Um, if you're just going to follow me, that's fine. We're going to grab another five reds, jump across the gap here to grab another three pollen, and then across the tapes for two, across the tapes for two. Smash down this rope. Stick your fist straight up there. Whee, right in a cow's butt. Except there was a box. So before heading down, I'll grab these bits of pollen. And this is where I realized that I've missed a few. And it's where we jumped down from earlier on. So at the minute, you should be on the same what I am. Um, and again, I do highly apologize for this. It's one of those, again, because it was behind something, it was very easily missable. So if you're just going the, uh, along the same path as me, we're just going to go back up. Don't worry, it's not too far away. It's only like 10 seconds away. And instead of jumping up here, this is where it is. So just on the edge. Very, again, easy to miss that one as we just seen. Uh, but now we should be all golden nuggets and there's nothing else to grab on this uh, particular shelf. So now we're going to come up to Gasper. So the fourth out of seven goes. So jump on the toolbox, jump down, head to the left. And there he is, Gasper. What a time, moon pie. What a time to be alive. And where's the ghost? Ah, holy shit, he's gone again. Man, his ghost is a trickster. Right, head down onto the lamp. We've got another three to grab. Make sure to grab the three pollens here as we jump down. And then another three pollens as we jump down once again. I go to the left. Again, very, very uh, nicely hidden three reds. And then we can just do a little bit of Tony Hawk skateboarding with soap. Grab the pollens, grab the five reds. And that is looking blamissimo, man. Blamissimo. Right, hit the rope. Again, just in case you need it. I uh, don't suppose you do. Uh, but, you know, just in case. And then we're going to get the silk line going as well. The old spidey silk line. So we're going to drop down. We're going to grab the four off there. It should be 351 right now. I need about 350. Well, but then I realized it was just a goddamn Loch Ness Monster. I said, get out of here, Loch Ness Monster. I got no 350. And if you know, you know. So what we're going to do then, we are going to jump down. Basically into this area that we have been, um, but we haven't been on the floor yet. So now we're able to smash open the two nuggets and then drop down. Grab this box here underneath it. Excuse me, green oats. Get your bugger ass out the way. So smash open the box there. Go to the left corner of the room to grab another five. Should put you on 35 blues. And the other side, just underneath the book, should put you on 13 reds. Now what we're going to be doing is a lot of electroconocution charging. So it's basically just keep heading left and we're going to see the first charge. And then you're just sort of heading left and around the books to where um, Rid Me of Herpes is. So after that, then you should have around six or seven, hopefully around six or seven left. But like I said earlier, it's all about, I'm sure it's all about uh, how much you collect rather than how many you've got left at the end of the level. But if you're looking at that for, um, you, you know, relief and stuff, you should be on about six or seven, five, six or seven, something like that. So anyway, once you've thrown the paper on, you don't have to, you didn't have to do that yet if you didn't want to. But we're going to go back to the area that we just came with the electrocution in. 
And as we head up this ramp, turn to the left to find another four. Go to the right to find another box to snap open. Yeah. That's my snap open box noise. Yeah. Uh, head up the ramp here and build a tower to grab another four, I believe they're pollens. And then we can just head straight up the little calculator ramp and to find yet another 50. God, somebody is... Well, if it's pollen, then somebody's probably got some bad hay fever in this bedroom and that's why they abandoned the place. There's 1,200 bits of pollen in every bloody room. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. So, climb up, the ra uh, climb up the rope as soon as we get outside. There's nothing else in that little house area. Climb up the next rope to get onto the table with the uh, leaf pot. And then do a bit of build-in Tower of Life. The Telling Lear of uh, Leaning of Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is what I was trying to say. And head over to this door. Again, be careful. Make sure your shadow's down before you drop down. There's another four. It should be on 421. Grab another couple of blues here, which will put you up to a nine. Again, if you want to just do a little check, uh, pause the video and make sure they run the same number as I am. So it should be on 30 pink. You'll always be on 30 pink um, and around 25 greens. Um, but we'll come to that at the end. So it's always worth checking. Grab the number eight piece of paper before we head back to the pot. And we're going to start doing some more collection in of pollen. So here's another two then. It's 423. Now, there was a hit, there was a bit of hidden uh, on the level that we just were. If you, you had to... Um, Throw some tiny kins at a book, which I forgot to do now, but um, I will just do in just a little bit. So don't worry about that. Apologies again. Uh, but as we climb up and climb up, we are now going to jump over to the left leaf. And we're going to hit the rope. Now, this is important. I mean, it's not really important, but it just uh, definitely comes in handy. So as you can see on the second level right there, you can just see the blue book sticking out, which I forgot to... Uh, uh, poke in. But again, that's fine because I'll tell you about it. We're going to get it anyway. Um, smash open this Matryoshka doll. Creepy as bloody anything, these Matryoshka dolls. Uh, if you need some more reds, grab it from the right. And this will not only get us 50, it'll get us the Matry Matryoshka put. Very uh, cleverly named achievement right there. But that will get us that achievement. So, once the rope is down and we've got the 50... Uh, pollen from the Matryoshka doll. Jump down, hit the book, and this is where it was like, oh, now I, f now I remember I forgot to hit the other book. But that's fine, like I said. We're going to jump off this one and grab the three blues and open up the silk line. And then before heading down that, we are going to go to the end and hit the hidden book again and get another four uh, reds. So we're going to silk down, all the way down. And now we're going to hit the other hidden book that I accidentally forgot to grab earlier. So you can see it sticking out there on the, on the sort of second level. So jump on the leaf when you get about halfway here. And you should be able to hit it from there. Which should put us golden nuggets straight back up to the 500. We should now be on 500 out of, well now, out of 660. So that is it now for the area. We are pretty much squared away. Like I said, you should be... If you've been following it along and everything again apologies that twice i've had to go back for uh pollen but you should now be on 500 so from here then we've got the number eight of course and we're going to go ahead and grab the number six so build a tower jump across to the other side don't worry about the ones floating in midair we're going to come up to a silk line now so grab these pollen underneath the book and then the five uh bits of reds underneath it and hit the two books so, blammo Marge! Kablammo Marge! That's another two bucks, 524. Uh, turn back around, we've got no reason to go up there yet. Uh, but now we're going to head up the little, little book ramp. We are going to go across, just grab these two, hit the silk line here. <laughs> nice! And well, we are going to actually climb the rope now. To climb the rope, make sure you got all three pollens off that. Nothing to the left, so we're going to grab the number six, which will be the last main objective. Grab the next pollen from the right-hand side. And then what we can do then is pretty much it. Now we can just go onto the silk line. But well, let's go Let's go the other way, shall we? So grab the next four from there. We're going to head back up, and there is nothing else now in this area. So what we can actually do is uh, just drop down to where Rig Me of Gonorrhea is, all the way at the bottom. So as long as you are on the same amount, like I said, keep pausing it, make sure 
as you can see there that we've got the uh, same amount of uh, pollen and uh, tinykin. Otherwise, once you put the code on, the code is 1986, so you just need to throw the tinykin at them. Sorry I didn't get past that quickly. I kept saying my R's and my ums then, because I keep forgetting what the bloody tinykin are called. I keep going to call them Pikmin and Twatmin and everything, but... Um Anyway, 1986 is the code. That is where Zaki is. Zaki to my heart. It is cold like nuclear vessel. Um, so grab the key. There is actually nothing else in here. There is a picture in there if you want to look at it. I'm sure that's potentially some Easter egg or something. No, very well hidden pollens. Go behind this picture frame right here. Very much behind it. Drop down and ha, oh, you sneaky little butt bags. And there's more sneaky little butt bags ones. And we're going to see it just to the left of us. There they are. So they're in between the sort of banisters here, the banister on the stairs here. So make sure there are three lots to grab. So make sure you've grabbed all of those. And like I said, now we are done with the main mission. We are just going to go ahead and finish the rest. We are done now with the upstairs. In fact, yeah, we are completely done with the upstairs. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Sikaru Sikaru. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make... A little ant go mad, because his hat looks like a twat hat. Uh, but anyway, now we've got the extra bubble, we are now good to go. So we're going to head downstairs, get another achievement, and get the rest of the pollens. So let's do this thing, man. So we're going to head on this silk line. You could go on the stairs, but that's going to take you an awfully long time. An awfully long time. Um... Now, I could have made this easier by jumping off higher off the silk line to the right, but, you know, it's all good. We're going to get there eventually. Uh, but what we need to do is build a tower, and you should be able to. There's, like, leaves which you're able to just jump up to, but we're not going to jump all the way up just yet. Once we get here, if you have a look below us, you can see a little hole in the floor on the, on the level down. There it is. So this is where we are going to get the achievement then. What you need to do, it's one of those... Um, angry plants that eat you so we need to quickly jump on the tongue and quickly jump away grab the pollen jump away that will get us the next 50 what that will also get us is the animal vegetator uh, animal vegetable cannibal achievement so a good couple of achievements here in this short level which is what we always like you know doing commentary on our long levels it's it's tiresome for my my beautiful welsh voice <laughs> And again, that's my straining voice when I haven't had a drink for a while. Anyway, so what, what we need to do then is just keep building towers, find the next leaf to little, uh, take a little jump on. Now, if you want to hit that rope over there, you can if you want. I literally don't, only because we've only got one set of um, 50 pollen left to grab, which we're going to grab now. And then we're going to jump down anyway, so... I'm going to finish the level with 10 reds. You may finish with 8, 9, or 10. But again, it doesn't matter because we've actually collected them. Um, so let us jump up onto the leaf. And when we turn to the left slightly, there is the last remaining pollen. So jump, 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 ah! And there we go. So that should be that. 660 out of 660. Forager passing through achievement should now unlock. And I thought I'd be able to just grind my way all the way through. And ended up um, slightly, <laughs> I say only slightly messing up, because it's easy enough to get back up to where rid me of the old hurt bags are. So, so there he is above. So again, try not to do that. Try to land above where I did, if you can. If not, then, you know, that's fine. We can just jump up onto the silk line. And uh, we can get there anyway. But that's it. That is literally the end of the level. So it's pretty much, it's, it's about... It, if you were doing it, as, if you were going along with me, then 23, 24 minutes is all it took then. So that was a nice short one. The next level, the Land of Ambrose, well, it's going to take a little bit longer. Which we all love, of course. Thank you so much, devs, for putting these hour-long levels. We really do appreciate them, of course. But God, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Anyway, this is the land of Ambrose, the lands of Ambrose, which is basically, I mean, it looks like the tackiest kitchen. It's a Hawaiian bloody um, tablecloth, for God's sake. Uh, but anyway, we are in the kitchen now, i.e. the lands of Ambrose. So, well, it's cutscene, and then we begin again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay then, so let's go ahead and do this thing. So, it is a big kitchen table, we're in the kitchen more or less. So immediately we're going to turn to the right, and just by the door we're going to see a whole bunch of reds. And there's a yellow one as we hop over this fence here, break under the box, and uh, these just basically, these yellow ones with the arrow looking heads basically just act as a bridge. So that's their main purpose. So that'll come in handy for when we need a bridge, huh? So keep going straight, jump over, grab another bunch of reds here for up to 10. Jump over on not to the water to grab our first bit of pollen. Jump over again to grab a couple of greens. It'll be four. And then from here, what we could do is just head straight forward. And as you can see, there's a box to break in the middle here. A couple of reds on the left of us, and then to the right of us, underneath this, whatever this is, I think it's the oven actually, is another bunch of reds. And then we can start, we're going to climb up this rope, we're going to start grabbing this pollen here, jump into the old drawer, go underneath and we can see another five. That should be 22 reds, <clears throat> excuse me, already. Now we don't have enough to climb up the next rope to the uh, left of us just yet, so for now we're going to jump straight down onto this lovely little, little farm area. Um, <laughs> we're not going to build a tower, we're going to smash the box open, go to the right, and jump over to this next part, this lovely li li uh, looking river, to find another box, jump over, to find we've got another three here, to the left there's another box, next to roid heads right there, and there's another three red ones, which I apparently just missed. So we went straight, grabbed these three, <laughs> and then what I just realised was, if we turn back around, if you didn't grab them, uh, the the other three that I missed right there. So make sure that you've got 25 reds going on so far. And then we can go straight, smash open this box. There is a lot going on immediately in the level. To the left, by the wine glasses, is another four. And if we just go back on ourselves over this little tiny little bridge. Um, I don't know what that's meant to be. Just uh, whatever it is, pack it or something. Grab the four pollen. Into this main sort of area then. This is underneath the kitchen table. So you grab a box, grab four greens. Go to the left. In fact, what we're doing is just looking for the th uh, another Fort Red, which was just right there next to the sort of uh, cards or whatever they are. Then keep going, and by the wine glasses, you're going to see another Fort Green. Or was that red? I can't actually remember. But grab the four anyway. Right, go straight out of here, basically straight and right. Find another box there to destroy. And then we're going to grab yet another bunch of reds. Up to 36, it should be on right now. And to the left of us, just in this little cubby hole bit, is another little bit of pollen. To the left of the house is another big uh, raspberry old surgery testy to a nip open. Then what we're going to do is build a tower and just go up onto this first little shelf right here to grab another three. And then we're going to climb up onto this book. Make sure you're at sort of highest peak, build another tower so you can jump up to the second shelf to whap open this box. That's going to get us the four first blue ones. So a little quick check there if you want to have a double check, just to make sure that you're on the same number of pollens and the same number of tiny kin that I am. And if you are, then we're all good. Then we can go. Again, if you're ever at a point where you're one or two short, backtrack the video a little bit and go from there. Right. Okay, so going through the main area, turn right as we get out of the main area underneath the kitchen table for three reds and three greens. A little bit of... Viva la resistance happening right there. Uh, go straight and just underneath the ramp here you can already see four reds to grab. That should be 42. And another four as well for 46. 
Uh, to the left of us, or to the right, sorry, there was a couple of pink ones, the first couple of pink ones, and a box to bash open. And then when we go sort of straight here, we can see another three. So that's 47 red should be on now. Right, you can already see the next one. It's just underneath this little wine cabinet thing. That's another bunch of reds. Jump back to the left to find another box and our fifth Gasper. What's up, Gasper? You're looking like a ghost. Let's just see if he stays this time. Ah! God, the ghost has gone again, Jesus. You know, you'd think ghosts would be good at doing that. Right, anyway, from here then, what we're doing is going to the left, back into this main, uh, sort of underneath the kitchen table area. We're going to jump up onto this chopping board, and we are going to grab the purple ones. That's all good. Right, now, what we're going to do is actually bust open some of these candles. So, just go from where we are, and just go around the sort of left-hand side, just so you're not missing any. So, there should be three already on this side. And there's going to be a fourth by this wine bottle. And then if we keep going sort of around uh, to the left, there's going to be a fifth by this wine glass. And the last one on this floor is going to be there, just by the next set of wine glasses. And then from here, what we can do then is just grab these little um, post-it notes. So you need to grab, of course, we could only grab these with pinkos. Get out the way, mustached legend. That was a fantastic looking mustache. And the first post-it note we're going to throw is right there, right in front of us. So, and obviously the rest are strewn about, which we will get to later on. So for now, we're going to climb up, go into the legendary uh, toilet rolls right here. Again, there's no point. I'm trying to keep this all in one sort of concise movement, rather than going back and forth and back and forth. So to the left, on the donut, and we've got, we should have eight pollens there, and then smash open another candle. Should put us on the 60 pollen right near. You should be rich in pollen. Sadly, not money for all of us. Uh, keep going straight on the next two donuts. Uh, light out, open this other candle, and that is going to get us a solid 50. Which we'll come to in just a moment. For now, just glide across to grab another four reds. And then you can see where the wine glass is, just at the bottom left-hand corner. There it is. Ta-da! That puts us on 1119. 1119. That'll be quick. 119. Right, so, uh, at this point, I'm thinking, which bit shall I do first? So, we're going to go, basically, straight back into the farmland area. So, straight, you see the sign for 51? There's the next post-it note. So, go over the ramp, go to the right here. Over the next ramp, and there's the next post-it note here on the left. So, slap that open. Boy! Okay, now, where we are the next post-it note, we're going to just climb back up onto the next tower, onto this pizza box type thing. And then here we are then. So we're basically just underneath the kitchen table again. <clears throat> so go into the pizza box. And then we're going to glide around to the right. Look at that. Look at that gliding. Phenomenal. Well done. Well done. And you're going to grab a whole bunch of reds. I should be on to 49 now. And whack open the rope as well. Always worth doing because we always fall a lot. I know you're falling for me. <laughs> I know your game. I fell for me too. And then I busted my ankle and it hurt. Anyway, um, I'm joking. I all fall for you. So climbing up the rope, we got a whole bunch of eggs to collect. So the first is on the left here, plus another box. And go up this little ramp onto this little main little stage area to grab another four blues. Um, if we go just sort of to the opposite end of the table, you can see rid me of herpes right there. Um, but we're going to climb up the chopping board. There was another five by rid me, by the way, which I forget to grab now, but I do grab in a little bit. So grab the box, and then what I end up doing, so yeah, if you go by her, uh, rid me, you will see the five, uh, or five or six red ones. Otherwise, we're going to drop down off this burger, go into this bread to get the next bit of pollen, glide across to grab another five greens, or yellow, sorry, and then go down onto the shelf to grab another three pollen. And then what we can do, we're going to glide across, there's another five pollen here, which you can see just by the chairs we head down. And then from here, what I do actually end up doing is just um, building a tower and then going straight. You can see in the wine. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, I've missed a couple. On the chair, sorry. So before we head on, um, go back onto the chair. If you can't make it, that's fine. But again, it's probably worth just getting this out the way now. But you should be able to make it. There's the next five red ones. Again, very easily hidden. And then I've gone across and gone into the wine bottles. So there are two little hidden locations here. There's the one uh, with pollen inside. So just jump up, build a tower. And there's the next one then for another two. 
Right then, so what are we going to do now? We're going to drop, drop down into this little um, cafe area or whatever it is. Grab the nugget and the big cupcake. That should put you on 157. And we're going to slide across. Remember to get the box here on the right-hand side by the wine glass. And there is another post-it note here, so we'll slap that on as well. Viva la resistance. And there is a whole bunch of, in these little <laughs> hilarious looking bed areas, there's a whole bunch of pollen that we're going to grab. So there's the first three. And there's another two in the bottom one, one next to it. Build a tower, grab another two here. Turn around and grab another one. That should put you on 172 right now. Now, I do make a bit of a... It's not a boo-boo, but now I'm sort of realising that I've, I'm missing five from earlier. Plus, I just missed a pollen as well. So, this is the only point where we do a little bit of back and forth. But again, I apologise. So, we're going back up to the kitchen. Uh, the big kitchen table now. And then I realise... Oh, there it is. Look. So, the six that I missed from Rid Me earlier. And now, I'm thinking... I'm sure I had more pollen than this the last time than I, uh, <laughs> than I played through it. Because I do um, end up playing through a level once or at the very most at the very most twice uh, to get to get everything sorted. So we're going to drop back down basically to where we were then to the little sort of dining area, and then here is the one that I actually missed. So again, apologies about that, but just make you should be on the same as me anyway. So you should be on one seventy eight pollen right now. Right. So head up the ramp. It's all go right. All go. Um, I do only end up grabbing the three reds here and three pollen here, and the rest we're going to come back for in just a little bit. So for now, we're going to glide all the way across, back into the lovely farmland area. It's just a shame that the sink is wasting so much water. Bro, it's the cost of energy living crisis. Although I suppose in the 90s, it was a hell of a lot easier. So in the uh, back right-hand corner of this room, we're going to be grabbing an immiscible achievement here. Uh, you can stand on this guy's head as many times as you want, and he just takes it. You take it, boy. Yeah, you take it, baby. Uh, but anyway, so we're just going to keep on climbing up. So grab another uh, set of pollen here. And just above, as you can see, is a lovely explosive door. So, a whole bunch to grab here. An old raspberry surgery testy. And, well, there's three, actually, in this room. So be smashing down and open. A whole bunch of pollen. So for this room, you should be on 224. Then we can drop down. And the guy's going to be like, Hey, what the hell? He won't actually chuck us out, but he'll just want to, you know, you know what everyone in the council and everything does? They just love paperwork, don't they? Everyone's a sucker for paperwork when they got a business suit on. So anyway, that should be all the pollen from this area. Once we drop down, this is where we're going to get the achievement called Tax Fraud. And this is where we get the 50 as well. So that should put you on 318 right now. Plus, like I said, the Tax Fraud achievement. So, well, you're as golden and smooth as nuggets apparently. So there's a little quick numbers check if you want to just double check that you're on the same tinykin as I am. Well, 20. You should be on 20 of the green ones, by the way. Sorry, I just forgot about that. But as long as you're on the same, we can now go to the left here, climb up the rope. And now we've got enough green tinykin to climb all the way up, which of course is what we couldn't do earlier on. So open up this box, jump on El Burger, uh, grab the four pollen on the way. And now we're on the kitchen side. Grab the box directly in front of us. And again, there's a whole lot of stuff to be grabbing. You can go to the right or go to the left for now. Um, I'm just going to grab the three reds and the three pollen here off the chopping board. Uh, pop, pop the rope down as well. That's important. We're going to need that quite a bit later on. And then basically what we're going to do is head to the left. <clears throat> so underneath here, uh, grab the next four. And then, again, try not to burn your piaubes, uh, but there is another four here and four blue ones underneath. Straight on, four red, four green, or five green. Man, my eyes. <laughs> and then there's another three by the kitchen roll. By the way, you know when you're old, when you're looking at tiles going, Ugh, I wouldn't have these tiles in my kitchen. Disgusting. Oh, look at that goddamn tacky tablecloth. I'd wear it as a shirt. I, w I would wear it as a shirt on holiday, but I wouldn't bother uh, as a kitchen... Um, accessory. So anyway, going down the silk line there, we're just picking up all of the pollen. And then what we're going to do is go to the right here on the kitchen sink. Who's left the bloody water on? What is this? Blackpool Illuminations? For water? Um, jump across the other side to grab another four red, another four blue, or pink, or whatever that is, and plus a one pollen. Um, now, it's worth just smashing open these bridges. We should have enough yellow ones by now to open up this box here. And that is what I mean by as soon as you see those little 
I don't know, they look like little water rafts or something, you know, something to help you stop drowning. That's basically the bridge, um, which of course helps because we got a lot of ingredients to make. So open up this box here on the left, and to the left of us again is another bunch of reds, and then underneath the microwave, very, uh, very well hidden, is a whole bunch of pollen. Kind of hard to see, so when you pop back out, you should be on 372, but just have a little look if you can, make sure you got every single one. And if that's the case, then we are, again, golden as. So smash open this box here to get the electricity. We'll pop back with this later on. So for now, we're just going to smash all the pinkos at the air goes. And, uh, yeah. Ah, cup of tea. Every British person's epic diet. Like every Russian person's is pretty much um, smoking and vodka, right? According to all the memes ever. Every British person's diet is... Um, Basically, just tea. Tea, um, crumpets, scones, and apparently extremely bad teeth. We're, we're not all that bad, okay? We don't all have bad teeth. So while the eggs are off to the frying pan, um, which is just above the chopping board, um, we need to open up the way as well. So this is where they're going to be going. They're going to be heading up this chopping board and into the bowl. So while we're waiting, because there's a lot of ingredients and they're going to take their time. So while we wait... We are going to go up this piece of bread onto the burger. We're going to just start grabbing just a couple of pollens. It doesn't matter if you don't grab them yet. Here's another post-it note, by the way. So that should be the last one for one of the museum artifacts. But we'll grab that a lot later on. Uh, grab three, uh, three reds off the end of the chopping board and just make your way up. Again, we're going to be coming up here a little bit later on anyway. So if you don't end up grabbing this just yet, grabbing these pollens just yet, don't panic about it. Um, but like I said, the eggs are only now just getting to the bowl, so well, might as well while we wait just start climbing our way up. This should only be one path, you shouldn't be able to miss anything right now. So now I'm thinking, shall I? Yeah, I might as well just keep going. So just keep slamming your way up for now. Go to the right here so you can grab everything, just so you're not worrying about it later on. There should be another bunch of yellows. Uh, more pollen, another five yellows to grab. That should be 61 yellows already, by the way. And 418, uh, or well, 421, and then we just keep going. And this is where I'm actually going to stop it now. So now, as long as you've been following along, you should be on 427. Smash open this rope as well. That's going to come in handy a lot later on as well. Oh, they didn't even break the eggs, the dirty gits. Right, so jump down, back onto the kitchen unit. And what we're going to do from here is start going to the right now. So start heading to the right, and uh, we're going to open up this way. That's just another electricity socket. Man, we are better than bugs. So jump up, grab another three blues. And we're going to grab a bunch of pollen as soon as we open up the way here. Oh, excuse me. I have COVID in my chest. Uh, grab a bunch of pollen. That should be 437. And you want some toast? Eh, me, eh, eh, eh. Uh, uh. Okay, that's the, um, as we jump down, we're just going to grab another five. That's the noise that I make every time I turn the toaster on. Eee! So, every time you turn the toaster on, think of me when I go, eee! Uh, no, I don't actually make that noise. Nobody makes that noise, surely. Surely not. Unless that's somebody's hilarious orgasm noise. Eee! Uh, right, anyway, we're getting a bit off track here. So, just um, all around the area there. Don't worry about that. That's a rope that's going to pop back down later. So, we'll just grab those later on. Um... But again, if you want to do a little double uh, double check on the numbers here, that's what we're going to be doing uh, for the Tinykins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll just uh, grab them all back. So let's do a little bit of a numbers check. Make sure you're on the same one. So 446 pollens you should be on. 66 yellow, 20 greens, etc., etc. So again, um, it, there's nothing that's too missable in this area, by the way, just while I was talking about orgasm noises. Sorry, sorry. Just got off topic. So we are going to do the electricity thing, so you know where the other plug is, so we're going all the way around. Now, for some reason, when I was trying to do it forward like this, it just was not working. It wasn't just... It was probably me just sucking at throwing, to be honest, but I preferred a nice side view, but it's up to you, whatever you prefer. Ah, 
Ah, no wonder I thought I was being weak. There's just no electricity. That makes sense. The cost of living crisis has screwed us all. Huh. We've uh, so much we've decided to get rid of the cables. We have to use tiny kins to open everything up and make everything work. So anyway, that should be the five that you've gone. That's opened up the way for us, which again we'll come back to in just a little bit. Uh, so for now, we're going to head obviously back to the left here. And we're actually going back up the way that we came, uh, went a little earlier on with the pollens and everything. So again, like I said, if you didn't grab everything earlier, that's fine. We can just grab everything now. Don't forget the three reds off the end of the chopping board. Uh, by the knife to the right of us there. Otherwise, we're just going to keep on going. We're not going to go exactly the same way just this time. We're actually going to go to the left when we get up here and grab our first letter. So, make your way up. Now we can just jump up to the left. And again, go to the left. So, don't jump up yet. So, not that way. <laughs> uh, but you keep going here and we're going to see another six reds for us to grab the first out of four letters. And another whole bunch of pollen. Again, try to be careful. Try not to fall. It is a bit of a minor inconvenience. It isn't a tit. Uh, by the way, the weight on the end of the window that I was trying to grab earlier is just for emptying the kitchen sink and getting another achievement. But again, we need 30. And boy, we don't have 30 yet. So for now, let's just jump on. Oh man, who's leaving burgers there like that? This game makes me hungry. And also kind of wish that I was um, very small. Anyway, what we're going to do, but since I'm not very small, and since I am still hungry, we'll just crack on. So, jump into the flower pot here. You should be on 470 right now, plus another four reds, which should put you up to 51 reds. Uh, we've already got the rope, of course, so we do need to worry about that. Uh, so, go straight ahead. There is a silk line to the right of us on this area, which I missed now, but we'll get later on anyway. So, grab the next four red, chuck this rope open... And now we can finally grab the rest of the pollen that, of course, we uh, went to grab earlier, but we couldn't because, again, we were just too short. So, climbing all the way down until you get every single pollen there. And then what we're going to do is g uh, grab another achievement here. So, on top of the fridge, grab four reds and just jump yourself up to grab another one. Open the way here to open up the freezer door. Nah, nah. Man, that is the emptiest looking freezer I've ever seen. What do, would you like for food, dear? Oh, I'll love some ice cubes, please, and some extra ice. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite dinner. Anyway, jump down. We've got another five reds to collect. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd love some, you know, poison-looking endangered species eggs, plus some ice cubes on the side, yeah. Ice cubes for dipping. Anyway, we've grabbed 50. We've also grabbed the Breaking the Ice achievement. Again, if you've been following the guide, you should have enough red bros in order to do that. Uh, so we are all good. We're going to leave the sad, empty-looking freezer and just glide straight across back onto the kitchen table. Alright, you don't actually have to speak to Stavia or Stavia or Candy. My little girl watches a lot of American YouTube and she starts saying, Mommy, I want some candy. And I don't know how to take that, hilariously. But anyway, we're going to open up the sugar box <laughs> to get some candy. Why do they talk? What, what, why do they talk like that on YouTube? Do they just add the extra emphasis on candy just to get, you know, British people to start talking American? Because it seems to be working. So we're going to use the silk line anyway up. Uh, basically, we're, gonna, we're heading back to the bowl. Try not to burn your, 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 <laughs> try not to burn your ass on the cooker. Who's left the damn cooker on? Who's left the bloody oven on? Jeez. Anyway, throw all the sugar in there and look... Tinykins didn't even break the eggs for us, lazy gits. And after that's done, we can start climbing up the rope. We're going to go inside this cupboard right here, though. Uh, only for a few things. So on the right, um, on the leaf right there is another two pollens. Plus on the right here is three reds. And in this little room is another bunch of pollens. And that's it for this. Well, actually, smash this open as well. And that is actually the third ingredient. So again... Um, None of our tiny kids are helping sort of open up the packet. It's just going to be left in. So you're going to have like, you're going to be chewing um, eggshells and bits of wrapper as well, which is, I mean, the things you do when you're hungry, eh? So climb up the rope just a little bit. You can see in this next little cupboard, there's another five or six reds. And that's it for that. Um, but make sure to grab the next two pollen on the leaf. Uh, just to the left of us, as you can see. So it's just seeing if I could actually glide round, which, as it turns out, pretty much can't. Um, unless we build a tower. 
that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I thought I was going to, but no, I'm going to grab the three here. We're not going to glide across to the fan yet, only because um, we're going to be grabbing that basically at the very last, even after we complete the main objective. So there's no reason for us to fly that way yet. Um, so we're going to grab the silk line now, just to pop that down. And then, of course, we're going to fly down. Sorry, just taking a... a, 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 a a sip of tea and a sip of crumpet while my bad teeth never gets brushed. Oh, I must visit the dentist. So anyway, as we go back up, we're going to jump down into the second level here just before we get back up to grab another bunch of pollen. That should be 575 now. Uh, drop down another bunch of red eggs to grab. So that should put us up to 32 red. And open up this box as well for another couple and go inside here for another five pollens. Oh, just, just, just a marvellous. Right, so what we can do now is we're going to build a tower. We're just going to keep building the tower. We're going to head all the way back up to the top. To the top of... To the top of the world! Then we're on what looks like the top of the world. We're going to go across into this area. And then we're going to drop down into the next ca uh, cabinet. So another four reds to grab. Open up the box. This is where the key is. So that's one key happy for us. Yay! So grab the two, four, six, and a couple, uh, a couple more pollen. This is what we grab, but I don't actually end up using that. But it's always worth doing if you fancy just pop it down here for some reason. Climb down the rope. I should put us on 598. And there's just a couple of nuggets there on the table. So stick your nug straight in the nug. Um, while apparently this is where all the, you know, politicians were from the very beginning of the level, weren't they? Nobody said anything to us. So, well, shove it. Tory scum, or if you're in America, pretty much the Republican Party, uh, but I'm not getting into politics, hey, we've all got our own views, um, but anyway, we're jumping back onto the <laughs> middle table, <laughs> let's not get into politics, I've been shouted at before for, you know, making jokes, even though that's all I seem to do on each videos, yeah, anyway, um, onto the chopping board here, we are going to start collecting now a lot of the pollen. Uh, so we're about, yeah, we're about just under, uh, just under 25 minutes or so now from finishing the level. Um, so it's gone quite quick, isn't it? Very enjoyable, this one. So to the left to grab a five pollen, um, another four yellows, and we're going to chuck a bunch of pinkos at this corn. Corn right nor. Uh, open up the way, of course, and then we're going to grab a few more. So there's a few more greens right there, and then jump to the opposite side to grab another two reds. And then, ah, oh, damn it, I, so I tried jumping, failed at jumping, tried to build a tower and jump, failed at that as well, so make sure to grab the pole in the, in the corner as well, so we put you on 621 now, and then what we're going to do is just head up onto the leaf, onto the plant pot now, and we're also going to use the silk line to, well, you know, glide down it, it's what we've been doing throughout the entirely, the entire game so far. So jump down and then jump up. I don't know what the hell's happening. Uh, I'm having a, <laughs> having a seizure or something, trying to get up. <laughs> not, no, not get it up. Um, so anyway, the five reds here on the plant pot. And then we're just going to keep going up the leaves, up the leaves. So there's not, there's not pollen on every single one. The one underneath, again, leaf for now. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. And again, we're doing this while the corn gets transported. So there's no point waiting for two or three minutes. You might as well get some collecting done. So jumping up all the way to the very top, smash open the, ro um, the rope. That should put you on 654. And now, you can either get it now or in a bit, or you could have got it a bit earlier. The When My Heart Goes Boom achievement for destroying 100 things with explosive tinykins. So jump down, box on the left. Keep going to the left, and you can see another six reds right there. Should put you on 34 reds. And then climb up. That should get us a couple of pinks. Climb up again. That should get us three pollens. And then climb up again to get the second out of four letters. So we're taking our time with these letters in this one, but we do grab them. So glide across to grab another three pollen there before we leave. Before we leave, take our Brexit exit. Oh, let's get Brexit. <laughs> My name's Boris Johnson. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, I mean, just look, look at that, man. Ah, oh, imagine coming home to this and you'd have to clean that. It's a lovely looking river. But, mate, you wasted my water. Now i got to pay like a billion pound, you son of a... Anyway, gliding back down here. 
Uh, we need to build a bridge for the corn. So that's why the corn is taking its time to get transported. Because we were not very good. So uh, build another bridge here on the kitchen table. And then as soon as the corn gets there, um, it, it's, well, it's pretty much go time. Uh, there's no other bridges you can, you have to grab. Since we took our time with it, though, well, we might as well go ahead and go onto the second level straight opposite us now, huh? Good idea. Right, so from here, then, we're going to grab a box on the right. Uh, open up this way. We, can't, we haven't got enough at the minute to grab the flower bag, so we'll grab that flower bag a little later on. Um, here, we're going to grab another four reds, and in this first little bedding area, it's so cute. There's another four. Four pollen. Uh, we're going to climb up on this rope to grab another three. So make sure to grab them. Very easily missed the ones on the ropes, I found. Um, go around, build a tower, grab the one here, and then around to grab another two from this top. And another two from the bottom. That should put you on 673 pollen. And then from here, I pretty much think we're done. If you want to have a little uh, numbers check right there, just to make sure once again that we are on the same one. Uh, all on the same numbers. And if we're looking good... We can, we can just crack on. So from here then, we're going to go across. What we're going to do is actually jump across onto the kitchen table. And we are going to uh, climb up. You can see the corn, it's on its way. Ah, oh, man, we almost forgot to make a bridge. In fact, we did forget to make a bridge. So we need to make a bridge for the other side as well. Now again, of course, when you make a bridge, the only way that it'll get broken is if you press the Y button to recall them. So... So just keep that one in mind there. Um, we will, as soon as the corn's in the microwave, we need to do some electrical in. It's just from the right side here to the left. And that will get the microwave going. But we will also get the achievement now for emptying the, uh, the kitchen sink in just a mo, mo, mo. Right, so from here, we're going to go to the left. We're going to bash open this rope. There was one little thing that I didn't grab earlier. Once we bash the rope open... On the, you can already see on the shelf below us, there is another five um, reds to grab. So that should put you onto 30 reds. And then we're just going to climb back up again. Now again, because we are small and weak, we need to use our tiny kins, who are apparently bigger and stronger than we are, even though they are literally just like little boughs. So open up the microwave. The, the corn's automatically going to go in. And everyone's going to love it, which means we've got all our tiny kin back. Hooray. Jesus Christ. What kind of mic... Mate, your microwave's going a bit. Now, if you put something in the microwave, it has started steaming up like that. And, uh, well, it ends up looking like a carrot or something. Or a partially tanned wiener. Then, yeah, you'd be worried. Jesus Christ. Get a new microwave, bro. God damn. Anyway, pick up all five pieces of the popcorn. The rest of the corn we can leave in. And we're going to head up now to the kitchen sink. Look up. We might have to build a tower, which we are going to do. Use the weight. You should have just about 30. Again, as long as you've been following the guide, you should have more than 30. If not, again, don't worry. Because um, we'll be coming back to this point later on anyway. So that will get us... Ooh, a lovely rare achievement. The Super Milo Bros. Very good name. And we're going to grab all the pollen in here. The ones off the spoons. Um, there is... The 50, of course, as well. So that's going to put you up to 726 now out of a whole 1k. Right, so tower yourself back up. Uh, you know, if you could do it better than I could, you probably will do it better than I did. Right, <laughs> just right there. And then go to the edge next to the microwave, build a tower, and then glide, glide, glide your way across to a Burgerville. Delicious. Right, jump down, and we're going into the sort of dining area now, where we're going to pop the corn into the cup. And he's going to be like, Ah, you son of a bitch, I don't want... Or, Micheline. Ah, hey, you son of a bitch, I did not want that. But then he actually likes it, and gives us a sibylline, sibylline uh, sketch. So pick up the sketch, go into the main area underneath the kitchen table. Um, because, of course, we're now going to pick up the other, the, the funeral petal. Yeah, the funeral petal that we didn't grab earlier on. Um, but remember, that was for getting rid of the post-it notes. So that should be two out of three already. Uh, now what we can do is head... Well, we're going back into the left-hand side. Ah, damn it. I did, I'm actually trying to get back onto the table. Um, but as it turns out, <laughs> I'm too short. We don't have enough greens. But we are trying to get back onto the kitchen table. So just go around and climb up a couple of ropes. Yeah. 
So, we're going to go to the right of us. Basically, we're heading back over to the right-hand side of the kitchen cabinet, or the kitchen unit, or the kitchen side. Cactus Crunch! Well, that sounds awfully familiar. Uh, but now we've got the key, we're going to the right, we're going to open up the fridge now. Ah, yeah. Let's see what delicious meals we've got in here, have we? Uh, uh, oh. Jesus Christ, somebody's, somebody's on a mega diet. Or somebody just couldn't afford the cost of living crisis or something like that. We can't afford food now. We wanted to stay warm for a night. Anyway, grab the yogurt and the four reds. Uh, there is nothing else in this area. So we need to start making some paths um, so the yogurt can get down. So smash open a bridge. Uh, we've got to choose between eating or heating. Thank you, Boris Johnson. Legend. Thank you, energy companies with your billion pound profits. Y'all can suck a ball sack. Right, get the butter and then you um, smash open all the nuggets. And that's the butter and the yogurt going. There is nothing else to collect in this little area, so we just need to make another little bridge. And there it is. And underneath here then is a couple of cupcakes to grab and another four reds. A uh, little four red bro, so grab that and another box here as well, so make sure that we've got that one. And that is it for collecting it. Now, if you wanted to, as we open up this little drawer against the cheese grater to grab another very, very well hidden bit of pollen. That should put you on 796, is that looking like? Yeah. By the way, at the very, very top of the fridge is the third letter. Um, we don't actually grab that until the basically the very end of the level. So, if you want to grab it now, it's on the very, very top of the fridge. But for now, if you don't want to grab it, that's fine. We're just going to go on the floor here. And... Basically, what we are going to be doing now is just waiting a bit. So onto the chopping board, we're going to build another bridge. But now as we start to get the rest of the main ingredients and there's not a lot left to collect, we're going to be waiting. The people's favourite thing to do. Wait, wait, and master. Hello, is that some bait from the fish shop? I want to go fishing. So, when these lazy bones are finally here, press the Y button to destroy the first two bridges and smash the next one up, and then get your buns up there yourself. <laughs> right, so while we are waiting, we are now going to grab the rest of the uh, pollen. As you can see, if we're on the kitchen table, we're going to climb our way up. The rest of the pollen on the shelves which are right in front of us, so glide up and then jump down. So we're onto the third shelf now. The third, uh, we've already done three of the four shelves. We're onto the third one. So go across on the leaves here on the right just to grab a whole bunch. I'll put you on 798. And then we're going to drop down, grab a couple there. There's another three on this leaf here. So make sure to grab these as well. And then directly behind you is another five reds, uh, five red broskies. Um, again, we're going to have a little double check if you want, a little numbers check. Make sure again that we're on the same ones. And if you're happy with that, then let's go. Of course, the greens, we're on more than nine greens, by the way. Um, the blues, you should be on roughly about eight, nine, or ten. Doesn't matter which you are, should be roughly about that. The 44 yellows. Um, and the other two, the, the pinks and the reds, you should be on the, you should be on the same as well. And remember, we've got less pinks at the minute because, I didn't realize I paused so long, by the way. Um, <laughs> there it is. Um... Because obviously the pinks are carrying the corn right now, or whatever they're carrying. So jump up here and grab another bunch of pollens. And then, oh, there you go. So in fact, they've just, they're just back now. They've just made it. There it is. Yum yums. You better have cracked open my eggs for me, you lazy bar stools. Right, anyway, go here and uh, into this little area. Grab a box, or smash open the box even. Go to the left. We're going to see another couple of pinkos. There they are. And then... Oh, didn't mean to talk to these. I was just trying to try. <laughs> I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Okay, Eric Cartman. No problem. Um, but the only thing left to grab here is right in the corner, tucked away. A couple of pollens there as well. Should put you onto 833 for the level so far. So in terms of collecting, we're all done. But we're going to drop down one shelf and just grab this flower bag. Now remember, of course, we couldn't grab these earlier because oh the lazy bones were getting rid of the rest of our ingredients <sighs> getting the rest of our ingredients 
So finally we've got that then. All the pollen and collectibles are done for, for these particular shelves anyway. So what we're going to do now is build a bridge and get over it. Which of course, oh my goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? I don't know why people tell you to do that. Oh, I lost my dog and my, my house is burnt down. It's okay, just get over it. Oh no, my missus pegged me. No, oh, it's okay, just get over it. No, it's traumatic, damn it. Anyway, we're going to drop down. We are going to talk to Sikaru Sikaru. His hips don't lie. There there is, and we're going to get ourselves another little Gilda bubble. Oh, Gli not Gilda. Glider bubble. <laughs> Close enough. So we're going to grab one of them, and again, if you want to, we can just get rid of the two letters as well for the time being, because like I said, now what we're doing is just waiting. So if you want to grab two of the, or get rid of the two of the letters, that should get us another 20 pollen. And then what we're just going to do for now is simply wait. Oh, damn it, come on, you've only just got here, bloody hell. So, yeah, so while we wait, I actually want to tell you a little story, because this is... Social media, right, can do so much good. It can do so much good for so many people. But it can also be super, super bad. Basically, there was this 10-year-old um, cart, cart driver the other day. Super good. Absolutely talented. And he get, kept getting bullied. Absolutely bullied. Um, because he was so good. Completely owning everyone on the track. His family got accused of cheating. Um, oh, oh, you son of a... Right, I'm trying to make a bridge, by the way. That's what we're doing. So when they're all up, uh, make a bridge. But yeah, he got bullied. Completely bullied. It's making him want to quit racing on it. And some guy put, oh, he needs to grow some balls and get over it. Bro, the kid's 10. Jesus Christ. What an idea. Why didn't I think of that, huh? Jeez, so yeah, social media. Very toxic, it can be. Anyway, um, we are basically coming up close now. I'm just having a quick look. Again, we're just waiting. Uh, we're not doing anything for the time being. We're just waiting for the flower to get in my bowl. And as you can see, in the top, top right-hand corner of this level... Um, oh, let's, uh, let's just go bouncing. Mine. But they're the only sort of last bits of collectibles that we need. And there's a little hidden area as well that we need to grab the ring from. Um, but yes, I mean... You know, build a bridge, get over it. If you can... Try to give out some good advice. If you can't, then just be someone's shoulder to cry on, isn't it? But we've finally done the main ingredients. Because um, I'm not very good at the advice, to be honest. I'm just a shoulder to cry on and the, the punch bag if somebody needs it. And again, to, but to be honest, if, if you ever feel... Now, honestly, this is serious for me for a change. Because again, nothing else is happening. All we're going to do is throw some tiny in here at the bowl. And then they're just going to go and chuck it in the oven and it's going to bake a birthday cake. Banging! In fact, we're only a couple of minutes now from the end of the level. But on a serious note, if you ever feel like struggling, or if you are struggling or whatever, for whatever particular reason, literally even if you're just having a crappy day, honestly, my DMs are always open on Twitter, Instagram, you know, absolutely anything like that. So if you ever feel like you're struggling, mental health is a massive stigma these days, isn't it? So again, like I said, if you're ever, ever struggling, don't struggle alone. We've all been there. I've been there a lot as well. So it's always helps to talk. So again, my DMs are always open for you. Um, so should we get back now to the jokes and stuff? Yes. Let's do that, shall we? Yeah, come on. Right, so we've basically done the main part of it now. So that is the main... So after all that, even though they're now eating eggshells and um, packets, and that's a damn big cake for a bunch of tiny-ass bugs. I'll take that home with me, thank you. So that is the main, um, basically the main objective that we can now grab, even though, again, we can pr we've can we got all the tiny kins. We could have just overpowered these bugs, since not. we got a few more things to do. And we've just got a couple of minutes now. We're about six minutes away from the end, I believe, of the level. So if you want to do a quick um, numbers check here, you should be on exactly the same as me. Again, providing that you have been following the guide precisely and concisely, etc. As long as you've been doing that. Well, let's go. Right, what we're going to do then is, um, you can uh, you can smash that rope open if you want. I never bothered. But we're going over to the right-hand side on the kitchen unit. Made it with bubbles to spare. We're going to climb all the way up. So basically, the only thing that's le that we need left to grab now is in that hidden tunnel and over the opposite side and on the fan that we didn't do earlier on. So that's what we're going to do now. So jump up to the pot. As you can see, on the right-hand side sort of cabinet, that's the uh, last, pretty much, location that we need. So, glide across, make sure that you get yourself lovely on this slow-moving fan. Who's wasting my electricity as well? Jesus Christ. I hope you're going to pay for this, you tiny little cute little bar stools, you. Right, go across as well, jump across. I 
almost messed that one up. Uh, but make sure to land on the door so we can grab this bunch of pollen. And another bunch of reds. I should put us up to 27. And smash open this cupcake. Lovely job. Break open the rope as well. Okay, that, that's well, that's going well for us, isn't it? Yes. Right, we're going to uh, open up the silk line as well. And then, of course, we are going to just gloriously glide our way down. Doing, 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 doing. Don't pretend you don't love my singing. So anyway, uh, glide back up, but then jump into the open cabinet here on the left now. And again, I almost made that, so got lucky with that one. But that is another four red and the third letter that we are going to grab as well. Remember the fourth one, or the other one, is in the, as we just, we're going to glide back up. The fourth one is in the top shelf of the fridge. Which, um, we need to go that way past on the main path anyway, so don't worry, we're not going off the beaten path. This is where the hidden tunnel is then. So you don't actually have to make a tower. Um, I do for paranoia's sake. It looks like I'm going to start gliding down, but no, we're all good. So straight in front of us here, there it is. Um, now this kind of acts as, you know, it's just like a little skateboarding level. It's pretty cool, but go straight first to grab another four um, red ones. That one can be very easily missed because uh, you think this will just be the easiest way to go or the way to go. Uh, so, <laughs> well, I mean, if you can do a lot better than I can, I'll give you $5. So jump up, jump up. There's nothing that we can really miss here. If you do miss something, uh, just go ahead and glide back the opposite way. But pretty much everything is on the path. So that's all good. So you should grab another three reds here. Just drop down. There's two here, two the other side, and two the other side. Should put us onto 924 pollen. And we're going to grab these two. Go to the right. And grab those two. Jump. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. And that should be it. That's it. That's a nice easy one there for us, to be honest. Now grab the ring, jump yourself back out. And that is that. So we're all good. This is what now gets us the third and final museum artifact as well. You didn't drown, unlike, uh, what was that? What was that? Our last crew professor? So that is Restrained Chaos. Looks, yeah, looks good. Right. Two more things left to do, and this is the level complete. So we're going to glide our way all the way over to the kitchen table. Now, we don't have anything else to collect now. So all we got to do, the, the two things involve, is just grabbing the tinykin, popping this over. We're going to be building a bridge, and we're going to be getting the, the last and final letter. So in terms of collecting any more tinykin and um, pollen, we don't actually have to do that anymore. We've got everything in the level. Uh, as long as you're on, if you're on 1,140, by the way, that means you, we are now good to go. We are absolutely complete and good. Um, so I'm just waiting here because what, what they're going to do, they're going to need a bridge to go down. But we're going to go ahead and grab this little letter. So go to, towards the fridge. You need to go all the way onto the top shelf. If you don't make it, that's fine. Just build another tower and there it is. Very well hidden. And there it is. So that's that one. So we just need to... Oh, trying to toast myself. <laughs> no, let's not toast ourselves just yet. So we need to build a bridge. It's just heading basically all the way down onto the floor now. So that is what we're going to do. Build a bridge. We're going to drop down. Drop down the one because we need to uh, just build another bridge right here. Oh, well, if you need some more, make sure they're behind you <laughs> before collapsing it, of course. I don't actually think you can collapse it, otherwise, oh, I don't know, it would have made things easier. So now we can drop down, smash open the last two letters, and again, this is where you should now get... Baba! That's where you should get the final one, and you should get the Hungry Forager achievement as well. So hopefully you've got that at the exact same time that I have. Um, if not, then... Yeah, if you got this far, I'm not sure what to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. But now the ones that I found, by the way, um, if if you were struggling, the ones I tend to find were, or I, I ended up missing, were the ones in plain sight. Like I was just running past them tons of times before going. It was literally in front of me the whole time. But again, hopefully this guide so far has been quite clear, quite uh, concise, precise, and that we haven't missed anything so far. Again, apologies if you have. 
But now, what you should be on, we should now be on, in terms of Tiny Kin, we should be on 42 pink, 22 or 23, I'm on 24 red, but 22 is fine, 20 green, 8, 9 or 10 blues, and 86 yellows. As long as you're on that, then you should pre pretty much, that tells me that you've collected all Tiny Kins, and we are good to go. So that is the end of the level. We've got one more level left to do in terms of grabbing everything, which is Celerion or Celerion Park, wherever, however the hell you want to pronounce that. But we got to go through Transidor to get there. Mm, I feel like the cinema guy right now. Let's go through Transidor to get to the other side. So then, happy people, shall we go to Transidor? Yes, we shall. Scoot up, scoot to the right. Let's scoot on. So, welcome then to Celerion Park, Celerion, Celery Park, whatever, whatever you call it. It is just basically a huge bedroom with a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, now, this is the longest level in the game. I say longest. It's about, it's going to take about an hour and five minutes, this level in particular. And then Chapter 7 is only literally about five minutes long. So, this is the final real big level that we have to do and smash through and it is just another glorious one with a whole bunch of crap to collect <sighs> which is fine we've been doing well so far haven't we hopefully i've been steering you in the right direction uh if i haven't then well feel free to hate me but please don't hate me enough to unsubscribe of course <laughs> please i need this the cost of living crisis i need all the subscribers in the world so, there is, as you would imagine, for being the last proper level, there's going to be a lot going on, a lot to collect. So, I'm going to try and keep it nice and straightforward, nice and simple. Uh, but basically, what we have to do is get things in order to start a race, plus other stuff as well. So, immediately on the right, grab three, turn directly around. And then we're going to open up this little silk string as well. So, the first three red ones... And this silk string. So uh, just mosey on up. Grab another five red ones. And just uh, have a look here on the box. We're on top of the dragon right now. So we can grab another three on his other wing. And then get a couple bits of pollen as well. Now, um, hopefully you'll be going along with, uh, again, the video. Because it's quite scarce. The um, red tinykins can be a little... Uh, they're a little bit spare in this level. So... I've tried doing it in such a way that we don't run out of things and have to remember to go back places, etc. So, there we go. But we're going to jump off now. Go into the plant pot here on the left to grab another five. And we're going to drop down and open up this little candle as well. We'll be getting quite a few uh, finishing achievements in this level as well. So, behind the plant pot's another five plus a whole bunch of pollen here, which would be 27. And into the next area. Make sure to open up this light or this candle. Have a look at the three blue ones here. You can go into that little shed right there. That'll be another bunch of red tiny kin. I missed it the first time round, but we'll just go back to it. That's fine when we do a big loop. So just keep going up on the leaves for now. And then from here, we're going to go to the right. So make a jump to the right leaf. There she blows. And uh, get this very sneakily hidden one candle as well. So uh, mosey on forward. And just keep going up for the time being. So, uh, again, I've tried, obviously, like I've been doing all the levels, tried to do it in such a way that it's not confusing and that we're not going back and forth consistently and constantly. Uh, but if that does happen, I do apologize. So, jump on the tambourine, or whatever the hell that is, I forget for some reason. Jump across another three leaves, uh, three pollen right here. Go to the right so you can see a big chunky one and mash down your face. 
<coughs> excuse me, <laughs> and then just carry on. Make sure to interact with and shoot the light to the right of us there before moving on. So that's another three. So just keep on going, keep on going, and blast it over. There we go. Right, hit the box straight in front of you then. So that's for another couple. And then there is another light candle to hit up here. So we're going to do that one. And then, very happily from here, what we're going to do is just smash a rope down. Now, if you're looking at the... Uh, by the way, if you are looking at the pollen counter right now, and you've got one less than me, don't worry about that. Um, I accidentally touched one on my way past. So um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly where it is and when it is anyway. So dropping down, we've got another bunch of red ones here. Uh, interact with the light candle, drop down. Interact with the box to shoot that open. And then, uh, well... Here we go, Let's. we're going to drop down again, actually. We're going to drop down because the five that I missed in the sort of shed little area earlier on, we're going to grab those now. So it should be on uh, whether that was 16 or 18. Sorry, I forget which one. Um, <laughs> so, yes, me saying I'm not going to do much back and forth. Yeah, apologies. I missed those the first... <laughs> I did miss those the first time round. Uh, so we're just going to head up the leaf, keep heading up the leaves... And we're going to make a jump for it. Always jump over the leaves because you can easily fall through a gap. And then we're going to climb up this rope. Climb, forest. Climb. And then what we're going to do then from here, we are going to jump across to the next leaf there. And we can ca and we can carry on heading up. Uh, grab the two pollen here. Interact with the light candle thing to get another one. And this should be the end of this sort of leafy plant pot section, if you will. Job done. Job done. Right, so you should be on 85 pollen right now. This is where the uh, pollen that's just on the tracks there. That is the one that I accidentally picked up earlier. Uh, so you can smash the rope down if you want. <coughs> Again, uh, it's probably worth doing just in case. And then what we're going to do then from here, we're going to go down. Now this, like I said, this is the one where I grabbed it accidentally earlier. So now we should be back all good and we should be on 96 as we drop down off the track. And have a look underneath, a lovely bit of dust. Hmm, that's, that's nice. So now we should be on the same amount of pollen. So grab these four blue ones. And then, again, we're just going to be going nuts because there's loads on the floor. So go to the left, grab another five directly in front of us there. Sort of to the right of where we were is another five yellow. And then we're going to head up. Get the silk, silk string, the silk line going. It's the silkiest, smoothiest, smilkiest chocolate. As we head up towards the silkiest chocolate. I never chocolate, never seen it before. Right, jump up onto the dragon's head to grab another couple. And then we can just uh, galaxy bar our way over to the other side. Just on top of the tracks. Just to grab another two. And then we can finally jump down. Onto the lamp. So jump down onto the lamp there to grab another three blue ones. And just to the right, as you can see, of this Lego piece is another four yellow. Underneath this little block thing is another three blues on the lamp just directly in front of us is another couple and go on the tracks to grab another couple of pollen as well and jump down grab another four reds get a box right in front of the way now this is my favorite 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 level you want to know what barry keller is this is a this is a formula one easter egg and i am in love with it this is supposed to be Rubens Barrichello, who is Michael Schumacher's teammate. He's even got the number two on the car when he was driving for Ferrari. Barrichello was the number two driver. And I am, literally, I'm in love. This just elevates this to my favorite game. This is Raikkonen. Now, if you know F1, you'll know exactly who that's supposed to be. Kimi Raikkonen. It's just, I'm so happy. Ah, and there's a couple more as well. But anyway, jump on the lamp here to grab another three. To the right of us is some more pollen. So grab them. I, again, if you know me, I love my F1, so that was a very welcome surprise. In the middle is three. Jump to the left to grab another three blue. And then go to the other side just to grab this nugget. Stick your nugget in there. Uh, go opposite and go into the lamp. To the right of the tree is another four red ones. And then to the right of this building is another five red ones. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all happening pretty quickly. So interact with this box. Grab two pollens off this table, two pollens off the middle table, and there's nothing else to grab. But there is another two pollens, another two pollen, or pollens, whatever you want to call it, in the window. Go towards the back to grab another set of pollen and interact with this light candle. 
Go to the left and open that up. That's just going to open the way and smash this ramp down, which of course is going to come in mega handy a little later on. Right, so <clears throat> from here, what we're going to do is just keep going to the left. Oh, well, we'll have a little numbers check if you want. So again, if you've been following along well, this is what you should be on right now. I do apologize if it has gone a little bit quick in terms of collecting all of the eggs and stuff, but straight in front of us then in this little house area is another five yellow. Grab three nuggets from the right. And then if we, um, of course, press the right trigger to get our tower going, build the tower and smash open the box. Bomb-tastic. And that's it for this little area. The letters, there's the mailbox if you want to know where that is. Here on the right is the next light candle, right by the uh, little mailbox, letter Tingo Scratto. And then what we're going to do is just head up, just to smash this box open. And there's nothing else up there for now, so we'll be fine, just fine. So there's Kimi Raikkonen. Ah, <laughs> Formula One stuffs. I like it. Right, go to the right here for some more very, very much hidden pollen. So it's literally just by the track as it bends down. Go to the right, stick to the wall to get another five reds. And if we, well, look to the left, you can just see a cupcake we can stick your face straight onto. That looks nice. And then directly in front of us, oh, a Lanza. Now, if again, you'll realize who that might be, that is supposed to be Fernando Alonso. I'm so... And... I don't know who that is because nobody cares about Ethan, but this happy little fellow is Hamilton. Now, who's that supposed to be? Don't bother Raikkonen. He's pissed Jeff. Or she's pissed Jeff, Siri. So, I'm, um, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm getting a bit of, getting a bit all tingly and excited. Formula One stuff in games is rare. Right, anyway, jump up here onto this little desk drawer thing. Open up the box. Grab five reds from underneath the box. Oh, or the box, sorry. Smash open the old cup and cake and and then just head up. Now, you can leave this here if you want, but since we're already here, what we're gonna do is just smash it. You should have enough Tinykin just to smash the sword down. And then what we're gonna do is throw the Tinykin at it, but they can't actually move anywhere because we don't have enough yellows to make a bridge yet. So if you want to, you can leave it there. Um, but again, later on, don't get confused if um, you think you've got more Tinykin. Remember those pink ones right there. So halfway up the, um, I was gonna say gimp line then, but it's not that. Jump onto this block to get another nugget. I was going to jump over to that desk drawer, but I'm not going to bother. We'll come to that uh, later on, just in front of us. So, uh, jump down. Go behind this bench here and grab another five reds and another nugget with a bunch of pollen in it. Straight in front of us is another three blues. T turn directly uh, behind you. Go to the left to grab another six blues. And then straight in front is another five yellows. And then keep going, and what we're going to do is just grab everything from here. So it's three reds, turn right to grab another three pink. And then turn right into this little cubby hole after you destroy this bit. And then what we're going to find is uh, another five reds, and then plus Gasper the Coast. Uh, the Coast. Casper the Coast. Gasper the Ghost, who will be number six out of seven. So we do have one more ghost to grab. He's sticking around this time. Uh, to the right then, for another bunch of pollen, open up the way as well. Again, this will all come in handy later on. But we don't have enough tiny kin yet to move the crocodile. So we basically need to find five animals and put them all back in the zoo. Again, very, very easy, but we just need the tiny kin. So, we're going to go onto the track here. Make sure to grab this box on the left, just by the bench or whatever that is as well. And then keep going past this little makeup brush thing. Open up the next box in front of us. And then, by this dinosaur is another... Four yellow, so make sure to pick that one up. And then what we can do is just head to the left. You can talk to this guy if you want, Mr. Chicane. That's a hell of a name, Mr. Chicane. But you don't actually have to. Uh, like, we haven't bothered talking to most people in this game, apart from the uh, Eric Cartman and Big Bernwin. So, right in between the loop-de-loops, grab another four red ones. <clears throat> and if you didn't grab the pollen, they're down that little alleyway right there. But since we did, we're going to go to the right, past this house on our left. And go straight in front of us just to open up this box. And then we're going to go right. Just jump over these Lego bricks. And straight in front of us is another three blues. Turn around. There's going to be another four reds. <gasps> Need a drink, damn it. Oh, let's just have a little numbers check. Is there while I have a little break? Ah. There we go. So you should be on roughly pretty much the exact same numbers that I am. Uh, providing you be following the guide okay. And I hope again that it is going okay for you so far. So... 
Uh, we're not going to go up this ramp just yet as we go around the corner. Turn to the left, go down this little alley with all the dust and schniz in it, and we're going to grab our first out of four letters. So we're going to turn to the right, we're going to head up the track. If you want to go faster, just um, press the right bumper and press the A button, so basically doing like a jump slide. Jump down anyway before you go around, go through this little gap, interact with this and open up this uh, gateway, and then what that'll do is it'll open up a little... A little walkway, so just go straight in front of us, jump through the window, and then this is where we're going to get the pyromaniac achievement, so smash this candle open, and then the most beautiful sound on the Xbox, the rare achievement unlocking, unlocks, and that is the pyromaniac done. So we don't have any more candles to grab now. So jump up to the right just to grab these uh, couple, very easily, sort of very easily missed and forgotten about. And then, uh, when we're done, let's drop down. It gets easier when you grab everything off the floor, it does get a lot easier. So we're just going to go uh, towards the loop-de-loop -loop, and we're going to the sort of back end of the thing now, of the level. So into this little shed, there's another five, plus this is where the first animal is, which is a fox. Grab two nuggets as we head outside as well. And then we're going to um, actually build a tower. So we're going to build a tower, get up onto the roof. Eventually we're going to build a tower, there we go. And then we can grab all the pollen off the roof. That's a rope. Grab two, the two blues on the roof and then jump down to grab two blues off the roof. There she blars. And then we can smash this open. It's a bit of electriconicusity. <laughs> electriconicusity. That's a new word I made up and you're welcome to have it. Uh, but anyway, we'll smash that open. We can chuck the fox on anyway if you want. Uh, just to get him out the way so we're all good. But have a look at the right corner here. There is another couple of pollen just a grab open right in this sort of animal zoo bit. Uh, turn around directly in front of us is another box and then what we're going to do is uh, go to the right underneath this book, go straight in front for another five reds, jump up the box here and interact with the box to get another couple of teeny teeny weeny. Right, go straight in front of us as we drop down, grab this cake and then to the left, or to the right sorry, it, just in this little hidden walkway is another set of pollen. Go to the left, go into the back sort of hallway again, another little hidden area, for some more hidden pollen. Uh, man, what's going on? Right, so, go all the way, what we're going to do then is, we're actually going to just go back underneath the book, turn to the right, and make sure to grab these first four. Again, that's a very, they are ones that are very easily missed. And then we can just go straight ahead, <clears throat> back into the book section, jump up onto the books, now we've got everything in this area, we should be all good, so jump onto the next book in front of us. Um, you should have enough tiny Pikmin, or tiny kid to smash open the weight. To the right, grab the three before, grab three red ones before heading up now, and there's of course another three pollen. Smash open the old gate of life. And then to the left, you can just see a little golden nugget, slap that boy. And then slap this one open as well. Now you can see the reds. You can gather like 20 to 30 at a time, but they soon come crashing down, and it always makes you think like you can never have enough. So anyway, to get this electronic unicunicution done, um, we need to go all the way down and around, down the track, and remember the gate that we just opened up with the weights? We just need to go out there. So, it'll take another minute or two though, but I believe in you. So after this is done then, we're obviously going to chuck one of our little tiny blue balls at him. Oh sorry, it'll be a pink ball, won't it? So smash that, and that's going to get the train going. Everybody going to be happy, eh? So 
Yo, did you like that free train ride? Well, you ain't getting free no more. So head to the left underneath the tracks, smash open the way, which again, of course, will come in handy later. I'm not just doing it for a laugh anymore. Um, here is the circus attraction, the zoo attraction, we don't care. So we're going to go to the left, just by these trees, there's another four reds. And we're going to go in through this little area now. So the little makeup crayon box ramp, good stuff. So to the left is another three blues. Uh, another cupcake here on the opposite side. Look at me running out of reds. Ah! Isn't it good? Uh, open up the way again. So smash that up to the way. There should be three blues. Um, you don't have to climb the rope. I only have a little climb of the rope. And apparently I go completely over it as well. Okie dokie. Uh, but I only have a quick look because I thought there was some pollen on top of the Legos and stuff. But there's actually not. So good looking out. Right, as we walk around you see another three greens. Uh, smash open the way again. Yeah, good job. And then we can go down. Then we're going to be doing a little bit more electrocuting. So all we're doing is just going from here all the way back through the little maze. And pretty much out. So as we come down the ramp here, it's literally, as you can see, directly in front of us. Now this is for another achievement. This is for getting these sort of carnival wheels spinning, going, and showing and growing, choking. But there it is, that's gonna start going. We'll get the achievement straight away. Big wheel keeps on turning. Get the big wheel spinning. In celery, celery, get the big wheel spinning. Yeah. So what we're going to do then, we are actually going to go for a little ride, but what we're going to do, there's one that has one golden pollen on it. So that is the one that we're going to be waiting for, and of course, it's always the last one, isn't it? Because that's always the way. Anything you ever look for, try to look for, or look at, or wait for, it's always the last thing that's the good one. So uh, just think, look, if you, um, you know, if you uh, say if you're a male, aged between 60 and 70, and your blue pills are not working... The, just try the last one, it'll always work. But anyway, jump into this little... It kind of looks like a little secret area, but we've got three pink and a couple of pollen to grab anyway. And then what we can do is grab the four yellow, grab the two pollen, before sticking the tiny king... Tiny kin on the... What's supposed to look like an F1 car, which is supposed to... Kind of resemble the Renault. Um, which I believe is from the 2005-2006 season. Because basically the whole rumour, the whole thing of it is Schumacher versus Alonso, which was 0506. Right, jumping up, grabbing the pollen after we've made the bridge for the car to go down. Um, and we're going to make another bridge. Now, for whatever particular reason, I start following, st rather than just cracking on with the pollens and collectings, I actually start following the car because I thought it was going to go straight there. But it actually gets stuck behind this lizard, big lizard book, whatever that is. Um, so, <laughs> my advice would just... Be to just skip the video about 10 or 20 seconds because I stand here for about that amount of approximate time again I don't know why <laughs> Right, we done waiting? Okay, Q, Q. Right, so once we're back we're gonna go back up the way we came which is by just uh, building a couple of bridges and we're going to head up. Yeah, for some reason I thought I could get the Formula 1 car straight there. But as it turns out, no, I couldn't. So, jumping up then. And what we're going to do is actually fall onto one of these. Uh, you could have literally just jumped on any one. I really didn't need to build the bridge there. But it's all good. So, we're going to jump off the sort of castle level now. Just go around the edge. Now, there are some golden pollen on ropes to the left. But I'll be grabbing them just a little bit later. And then what we're going to do then from here... 
We're going to jump up to the Lego and you can see directly in front of us then is the 50 boys. Get that 50 down your neck. Hey, get your 50. Get your 50 down your neck. Right, go directly in front of us then, sort of slightly to the right on top of the loop-de-loop -loop ramps. And then we're just obviously going to go straight across, grab the three pole on there, grab the three pole for the next one. That should be 422 that you should be on. Jump across, go onto the stereo thing, whatever that is, for another four. And drop down and grab another five yellows as well. So it'll be 41 fives, 15 greens so far. And then from here, we're going to jump down, sort of to, to where the uh, dinosaur is and things like that, to where the zoo is. Jump up, grab another four here. And then if we turn around, so jump onto the track behind you and then turn around. Build another tower, and then we can start making our way and climbing up. Making our way uptown. And then that's it then. So we're just going to keep on climbing. Again, tr try to make sure not to miss any of the pollen. But turn to the right, to the right. On top of this book is another three. Uh, there is an elephant, which needs 20. So we're not going to bother with that just yet. Um, hey, whoopee cushion. What a bouncer. So we're actually going to head down the ramp anyway this time. Grab everything, but you don't need to go any further than that. We're going to go to the left as soon as we get here. Smash open this box. Kablemo Marge. That opens up this makeup ramp. Go around to grab another five red reds. Eee, <laughs> time to whoopee cushion our way up. Ready, steady. Turn around. Pretty steady. <laughs> Those are the simplest jokes, which were always so funny. Right, anyway, jump up here, and we're going to go for a little uh, little bit of a walk now. So we need three items to shoot balloons down. So climb up the rope. Uh, grab the box here on the left before turning around and jumping up onto the Lego pieces. Grab some more blocks. Should be on 469 now. Grab some more reds. Turn around, this is where the first item is, then it's a cannonball, so get your t pink little tiny thing on that. Right, jump across to the uh, through the gap to the other side, and on this book here is another set of pollen, 490 we should be on. Jump down, grab another two pink, and on the edge is some more pollen, and we are going to climb down the rope as well to get some more. Grab the box off onto the uh, next shelf. And directly in front of us is some more, and open up the silk line. Silk line, it's as smooth as ice. Even though it's not smooth, it's kind of rough. So, climbing up there, here we go, that's 495, if I was reading that correctly, which, sorry if I wasn't, but I'm blind, you know. I'm an old man now. And there we go, so we've just cleared the two shells, so jump down, make sure to grab the four in front of you. And this is an arrow, which we'll get later on, jump on the book to get another four pink. Drop down, and just across these little bits right here is another four pollen. And this in front of us is where the cannonball is going to be going. Uh, but if we turn around now, you can see on the left-hand side, just underneath the block, or the sort of book just on the left-hand side, in this little cubby hole section away, is another four pollen. It should be 503 now, so getting through it. Slowly, slowly getting through it. So now we can interact the cannonball here with the... Uh, contrapment, the machine, but you always need to make sure you've got at least 10 tiny kin going on you um, to let it to let it go, to throw some more, but you should have literally about 11 or 12, so you should be okay, but what that's going to do is just get rid of the first balloon, we now need to find another cannonball and an arrow, which is very, uh, very easy to locate, so drop down, drop down again, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to head to the right, There'll be a little hole. There it is. So we're going to head to the right. So head, uh, grab this box first and then break this one for the rope. Now we could have come here earlier, but we didn't have enough reds or pinks to uh, destroy a couple of boxes and stuff. So I've waited just until we've got enough to come in here. So climb up the rope and that'll get us onto 509. Jump down, smash this box open for another couple. And then we're going to, of course, build a tower, climb up to this next. Ropen Dangan Rompen. So, before heading up there, make sure to grab these three pingos, and now we can head up the rope. So make sure to grab all four, so it should be on the same amount of pollen that I am. Then we can hit the weights. Again, you should have more than ten. And that moves up in the way for the Renault Formula 1 car, or what I think is the Renault F1 car. So climb up, and you can see a nugget and two cupcakes. We should have just about enough right now. So still, look at that, we've only got three reds left. And here is where the arrow is then on the left. 
So make sure to grab that. But we're not actually going to go and put it in the contrapment machine just yet. No. We're going to head to the right as we jump out of the window. And you can see where we're going. Directly below us now is the house. So we need to jump on the roof to grab some... The roof is on fire. To grab some pollen. And then make our way over to the next roof. There we go. And we're going to smash open this rope. And we're going to smash open this bit of silky smooth galaxy chocolate land. That's okay with you. Is that okay? Oh, fantastic. Right, so that'll smash that one up. So again, we're going to silk it up and we're going to silk it back down just to grab the uh, pollen. Right, and then what we're going to do, we head to the left, grab three pollen here. We're basically on a set of drawers now. Grab another five reds before heading up this little ramp. We'll have a little numbers check here. So 547 pollen you should be on, and they should be the amount of tiny kin that you should be on right now. 41 yellows, 23 greens, 6 reds. Definitely really not much reds. Anyway, eventually the F1 car should be repaired by Hudson, who I don't know I, uh, who's Hudson supposed to be. Probably just uh, one of uh, a nice famous mechanic called Hudson. Yeah, that'll do. Anyway, he's fixed the car, but we're not gonna. We'll go and grab that just later on. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to build a tower, jump our way across, grab the next three pollen and smash open this nut, this next box. From here, we are going to make, uh, we're going to build, in fact, we're going to smash open the box, sorry, first. This is just so we can get something down and then we're going to build a bridge. So build a bridge, stop crying, get over it. Wow, top advice. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. Uh, anyway, climb up the B, uh, the B ridge when we're all done. Have a look, we can find another three pink pollen to our left, and then we need to get another 15 tiny kin. Now that we've gotten rid of the F1 car, we should have enough, more than enough there, for them to pick up the track piece. That should start heading down the ramp. So what we're going to do, jump on this little uh, felt pen box, climb up, build a tower, and jump over to the next area right in front of us. Grab another four pollen. Yeah, the, there's nothing over the left side, you've just been there. Keep yourself climbing up. Grab the two pollen from here. Now, uh, I just smashed up in the cupcake. We don't have enough, but there are a bunch of red um, guys around the corner. So just jump up. You should have grabbed six right there. Build a tower and jump across and drop down. And there you go. We've got three red ones there. So we can grab the nugget on the way down. And we can see the next letter as well. So that'll be letter two out of four. So make sure to be sticking that where the sun don't shine, which on Milo, mini midget Milo, is I don't know. Where does the sun not shine? Don't know. Anyway, make sure to grab the the nugget here. Again, if it's just one thing, I find if it's just one thing on its own, it's very easily forgotten about unless you write it down or something. Or make a good mental note of it. So drop down, and as you can see, we need to build another bridge for the race track to get down. Again, I'm I literally I love the developers for putting this this sort of F1 reference in here. I am loving it. So what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna build a tower and we're gonna go basically directly in front of us as soon as we build this tower for the racetrack to jump down we're going to jump back on the roof to the left hand side and we're going to bubble our way right across as you can see you can just see the one pollen sticking out so let's smash that drop down yeah there we go there we go right so from here we can we'll drop down again go onto the track in front of us we're basically heading straight for the rope because as you can see on the loop de loop on the right hand side we're going to jump across and grab the uh, the last two pollens off the loop-de-loop -loop tracks. Lovely. So that should be five, whatever that is right there. My eyes are going a bit blurry again. So as we drop down then, um, the track should now basically be more or less on its way. There it is. So you can just have a little chill out if you want. Have a little look around. See what we're missing. See what we're glistening. See what we are missing. But as it turns out, it's all good for now. So you can just have a chill here for just a moment. We're almost at the track. So there's a bit of an edit here, but from where we are, just turn the camera around to the left until we're looking at this rope, the one with the lizard book, just to the left of us there. So apologies about that sort of edit skip, but you just turn the camera around slightly. And we're just going to head back up to the sort of um, carnival attraction. We should now have enough tiny kins to grab the elephant, 
So, go ahead and grab that boy. And again, of course, this is going to be a while, but that's fine. We're all good with that. We're going to jump up and we're going to go ahead and grab the pollen from earlier on that was just underneath the rope. So just where that elephant's going. So stand on the makeup, drop down, but of course, bubble yourself. And then quickly move your camera just to see where the rope is. So there's the there's the uh, one with three on it. Jump across, climb up, jump across to grab another three. Now look to the right of you and you're going to see another little little nicely hidden one which you can easily miss uh again just make sure that you're just grabbing the third one i just made a, a kind of a meal out of that the easiest way is to just jump on this rope from earlier where, remember where we got it from the castle earlier the pollen along the edge yeah you could have just jumped on the rope and gone that way but uh you know gotta make things a uh, little bit challenging for yourself sometimes don't you <laughs> so we're jumping down dropping down going straight ahead the elephant needs a bridge um, and the bridge is directly the opposite side of the house where we are right now. So it's... Uh, but again, like I said, if you're ever stuck and you don't know what to do and where to go, it'll always tell you where to go by pointing the um, Formula 1 racing assist line on all of the games. Uh, so that'll tell you where to go and where it's going. So while that is being lifted, um, I've basically just gone the long way here. But what you need to do is just go across the room to a new area. So you can see where the loop-de-loop -loop tracks are. Uh, sort of to the right of us now, right in the... There they are. So go past the loop-de-loop -loop tracks. For some reason, again, I went the long way. Past the area on the left with the carnival wheel and into this new area with a zigzaggy sort of ramp-looking Tingo Scrap McGrat. You can see a couple of reds already to grab. And then onto the left... Oh, there we go. So the elephant's already on. So... Booyaka! Booyaka sha! I haven't said that for a good decade or three. Uh, so interact then, get out my way security douches, interact here with the cash register, what's supposed to look like a cash register with the till at the top, <laughs> a till of the ton, <laughs> a till of the ton, <laughs> um, just grab all of the pollen in here anyway, and go straight, uh, remaining on this first floor, so go straight, the, on the left is another four red, and then we need to chuck just one tiny kin here at this poster, and this is going to get us um, an, an achievement that... Again, can be easily missed. If you're going for all the pollen, you won't miss it. But it can be very easily missed, especially if you don't know what you're doing, where you're going. So jump up the ramp here to the right. And then just turn sort of around on yourself. Uh, we're going to grab another box. We're also going to get the third animal, which is a snake on the right-hand side. So chuck a tiny kin at that. And then just keep going, keep going. And then what you're going to see is this little secret compartment. And now this is the Milo Show. That is the achievement that's going to unlock for you. And it's basically going behind the scenes, but we got a whole bunch of stuff to collect. So, let's jump up onto the videotapes, grab another two, and we're going to grab another couple here as well. Uh, nothing else there, so we can drop down just to grab these five uh, red ones again. And then tower yourself up, grab another two, go across the old uh, cat, cat butthole mushrooms, as it were. The old Super Mario delicious yum yum catnip, for some reason. And then, of course, just glide onto this uh, part of the window. Now, here is a shocker. Ready, steady. Oh, no! What the flip is going on? This is all kind of Jim Carrey Truman Show stuff. Are we being watched? Oh, my God, I'm famous! Yes! I've always wanted to be goddamn famous. So, anyway, we're climbing up the rope after the sudden realization that we are very famous now. Uh, jump across to grab another two pollen. And then smash open the way, of course. It's the only way we're getting through, and that's why. Go across the makeup and grab another three red. Of course, we need as many red as we can get, plus for the achievement. Jump up on the towel and then jump across the gap, so you should get four right there. And then we're going to climb up, climb up, so you should now be on 660 out of 1,000 at this point. Well, 663 now when we jump across the gap. <laughs> and then keep going around. And then again, be careful here because it's very easy to fall off. I started getting really paranoid with my um, st falling off stuffs. Uh, keep climbing up though and jump across the gap here. That should now put us onto 671 out of 1,000. Jump across the next gap and grab this next four. Nothing to the right, but on the left of us is finally the main goal. Look at that. 726. Blamissimo my eye. Ababra booby. Yes. So that's everything. We can just drop down again. Uh, try not to die. If you do, you'll just have to keep restarting it from the top. But that is that. We can now head back outside. 
and crack on with the level. So again, you should be on 726 pollens right now out of a cheeky one thou. And of course, always double check that we're on the same amount of tiny kin. So head into the left. Now remember, we've already been here, uh, but we couldn't grab the crocodile slash alligator animal, whatever the hell that is. Uh, you, you tell me, experts of YouTube and uh, crocodile alligator stuff. But now we should have enough tiny kin. So we're going to go to the left as we exit. And then what we're going to do is now build a bridge. We should have enough yellow dudes. Well, when you recall everyone with the Y button, of course. Uh, we should have enough now, tiny dudes, for the sword to start finally making its way. The old pork sword, the old meat masher, the old strangle, strangle dangle, uh, <laughs> the strangle dangle. Right, we're going to go to the ramp. We're also going to pick up the car now as well. So, from where we were, basically where the sword was directly in front of us, of course, is the car ramp. Go up, and we should now be able to, again, we should still just have enough tiny kin there to get the car going as well. So, uh, let us build... Oh, damn it, I forgot to put an extra one on. Well, sorry, like you couldn't all just f jump over. Ja Je Jesus Christ. Anyway. Oh, well, there goes the crocodile. Thank you very much. So, we got a couple of pink tiny kin back. So, if for some reason you didn't have enough pink tiny kin for the car, you should have enough right now. So, we're going to build this next bridge for the pork sword to get over. The old uh, strangle dangle. Dong. So when that's going, we're actually going to follow them because there's a bunch of pollen and stuff to grab up here. So there's the first two. Smash open the way so that a bridge falls down. And, oh, and we got the car going as well. So this is 2006 F1 season. Shumi versus Alonso. Uh, but we're going to build a tower anyway. We'll come to that later on. So make sure to grab the two pollens from the top here. And we're going to jump to the left-hand side, just on this sort of top drawer or whatever, just to grab a couple more. Uh, make sure to grab all of the pollen on this sort of path, main path area. And we can actually just build another bridge for them to get up now. The sword has still got a long way to go just yet. Uh, so we're gonna jump down, we're gonna drop down here. You can already see a couple of things for us to collect. Uh, oh, in fact, no, we're gonna build a tower first, sorry. So they've already just collected what two for us, but we're gonna grab those two before dropping down. My apologies. Uh, drop down, open up the box. Uh, have a look to the left to grab a set of pollen here. It should be 768. And to the other side, past the tambourine, is another set of red broskies. That should be 10. Roughly 10 that you should be on now. Uh, jump up and grab these last set of pollen from this little hidden area. Ooh, it's raining. Um, <laughs> sorry. Don't get easily distracted. That's not the signs of a good guide maker, is it? And we should be done anyway with this area. So we can uh, build a bridge or build a tower just to get up to the next... Uh, bit and the pork sword is just chilling out there for a minute so that's fine we're gonna drop down here grab a bunch of yellows smash open this cake mm. yummy and we are going to grab reds a couple of reds in the corner which should put us up to 11 and we're gonna get the third out of fourth male as well so make sure to grab the letter right there and that's it for this once again little hidden area so climb up the rope jump up and, uh, well, we can't do anything just yet. So we're going to climb across the gap and grab a whole bunch of stuff. So from here, turn to turn to the right, just underneath the ramps, are about six, seven, or eight reds. That should put us up to 19. Go up on the dinosaur's back to get some pollen. That's 7.99. Oh, yeah. Hi, oh, yeah, we're getting through it. And grab a couple of yellow ones as well. That should put us up to 55 now as well. Right, so on the right, we're going to just jump up here, grab a couple of rebs from the floor, and then we're actually, I did just see this one right here, so where Bridger and Snips are, um, let us go ahead and grab the next pollen. So build a tower, get over it, job done. So what we can do now is just go so sort of back to where we just started this little bit, and we just jump up and up and up, grabbing all the pollen on the way through, jump across the grab, the grab. Um, open up the box, and now we can jump down, grab these next four reds. You can smash open the rope if you want to. I didn't bother because I don't... I didn't really fall that much in all fairness. But you can if you want to, just in case. Grab the next box before heading up the ramp. To turn to the right to grab another four. Sorry, it's just constantly go, isn't it? And open up the silk line. Silk line yourself up. And then silk line yourself back down. <laughs> So 
so a little bit of a numbers check just went on as well so that's all good uh hopefully like i said you should be on the exact same as me um on this cupboard door open we're gonna grab another four before we move on and there we go so we'll just keep going straight on we're gonna climb back up to the castle we're actually gonna open up the castle wall now but before we do that what we have to do is if we jump off Onto the Lego pieces. We need to throw some tiny kin here at this castle wall. That's going to open up the electric. Why the hell can I not say electricity? Oh, there we go. I just said it. Well, we got there in the end, didn't we? Only about almost five hours in. Job done. Good English, brah. Good English. Right. What we're going to do is just go all the way until we see. Remember we spoke to Bridge and Snips earlier? Just keep going all the way through the path until we get there. So that's the crane swung round, the, the road is over, the pork sword's on his way. So once he goes there, that'll be fine. We're going to head uh, towards the opposite direction now, towards this bookshelf and a bunch of leaves. So we're going to grab five here, but before going up any more, we're going to drop down one. We're going to interact with these two hidden books. Uh, there's actually an achievement for this as well, so it's not like you can miss this one. So uh, there's two books on the shelf. Uh, interact with the box there to open that one up, and then we can start heading all the way up. So, tower up, and tower yourself up. There we go. Grab another two. Make sure to grab these two as well. And the pork sword will be on its way, so don't worry about that. Interact with this hidden book. Grab a bunch of five yellows, and interact with this hidden book as well. There it is. So, that's four out of six that we need to grab. Jump across to the rope. Uh, jump to the right here on the coat hangers to grab these bits of pollens as well. That should put you up to 872 now, providing hopefully you've been following along fine. Uh, interact with this hidden book and this hidden book at the end. And that is going to get us 50, uh, 50 pollen. Plus, it's going to get us the amateur librarian achievement as well. So, job done. It should be straight in front of us as we begin anyway. So, that is 900 that we've collected now. So, we can jump up to the right. Make sure to grab another four reds. Again, very easy to miss that one. Smash the silk line on. And then what we're going to do, so obviously we're going to go and grab this next pollen. As you can see in the top left corner of the map, you can see there's a bunch of 50 floating around. That is for obviously lighting up all the candles. So once you have got the pyromaniac achievement, they sh that, that bit of pollen should start floating. So we'll come back to that in just a little bit. But just letting you know, just in case you were wondering, where the hell's my 50, bruh? But there it is. It's when you get the pyromaniac achievement. So start hanging up the leaves. We just collected another three and another two. And then climbing up, climbing up onto the plant pot, if you can get it first time. That's another three, plus two nuggets here, just chilling, killing, wanting to be smashed open. And here is the, our fourth and final letter, just on top of this briefcase or whatever it is. So that should be all letters complete. Job done. Now what we're going to do is climb across to the crane. So, uh, or fly across to the, to the crane even. So, there we go. It doesn't matter if you make it, because I'll show you why. There's actually a whole bunch of steps that can go up the crane. So if you manage to miss it, just go all the way to the bottom of the crane and start making your way up. Uh, because on each step and each little platform, there is actually a whole bunch of pollen to collect. So on to a winner again. Right, now the pork sword is chilled since we've got that area done and dusted out of the way. We're going to smash open these, uh, these crates or whatever to open up the bridge. Ta-da! Another bunch of stuff to collect, as has been the entire norm of this game. So on the left is some red. And we're going to climb up some boxes here to grab a whole bunch of pollen once again. So all the way around. There we go. So that should put us on to 900. 999. Uh, use the weight there to open up the gate and fly across to grab this set of pollen. And then what we can do is just simply drop down. 
eventually. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to drop down. And we need to open up the weight to open up the next gate. But to the right there, as you can see, is another box for us to bash open. We're going to need to build a tower to smash open the gate. And this will be the next cutscene. But what we're going to do is actually head through and collect the five reds directly in front of us first. And this is the cutscene. If th that's how easy it was to kill the dinosaurs, apparently. Either that or wait for a comet to fly down. If, you know, you believe whatever you want to believe. I believe they all had a big orgy and died of dinosaur raids, but that's just me. <laughs> the funnest way to do it. So make sure you just collected all five of the reds anyway. Go inside, chuck a tiny kin at your trophy. Job done. Before leaving though, make sure to build a tower right here. And make sure to pick the three, uh, three pollen up just above the gate. So very, again, it's a very easily missed one. So, right, what are we going to do from here then? We are looking all mighty fine. But what we are actually going to do is go to the mailbox now. So just go straight, keep dropping down. We are sort of now coming towards the end. We are, I mean, what are we? We're about five, ten minutes away actually from completing this now. So go straight. Here is the mailbox, of course. Smash that open. That is going to get you a good bunch, actually. That uh, also gets us the Employee of the Month achievement as well. 1,102 pollen as well, so we're all good. Plus, we've got we, we've got all the letters complete. So that is job done, Mr. Sun. Fun in the burn. There we go. It's going to be fun on the burn. Right, so where we're going to go now is head up this ramp. We're going to go basically up to the starting area now. Um, we're going to grab a couple of things up there, plus the extra 50 pollen. So uh, jump across this little silk line as well, and then climb up the rope. I'll tell you what, Ridme must be having a hell of a time. He's literally watched us work, walk around like an absolute bloody douchebag, and he's just chilling with his big fat walking stick. Anyway, there is the 50, uh, but we need to jump across. We actually need to be standing still, so jump across to the gap. Blah -de blah Oh, look at that. Look, look at that. And then in this little area, then, is another bunch of reds to collect. So, again, very easily missable. Um, now, if we have a look here on the right, there is another cannonball. So, we've got both uh, the, the two remaining items. Have a look at this Lego piece and just keep climbing down or sort of going across the, the, the sort of balance beam or whatever. Now, what I should have done was actually, if because you can see me build a tower, and the thief with the ring is at the top there. So what we need to do is actually glide all the way across. Um, so I should have done that now. So I apologize that it is that bit a bit back and forth, but we'll come back to him later on. That's fine. So what we're going to do then is actually drop down. We're going to use the arrow and the extra cannonball now. So again, we should have more than enough. We've got 38 tinykins, so we, are, we have got plenty. So use the arrow in this one. And then shoot it with the tiny kin, and then use the other cannonball, and that will complete this little section of area of section of area. So for whatever reason, I actually forget, it's to the right of us, by the way, the um, museum artifact, but for some reason, I forget to pick it up now. So if you want to pick it up now, drop down off the rope there and make sure to pick it up before going. If not, I obviously get it, I'll get it just before we finish the level, so don't worry. You. So coming back onto the shelf, this is one I did actually miss earlier again, apologies. This is just one of the zoo animals, which is, uh, was that a pterodactyl or something? I don't know, I thought it was another snake, but it might be a pterodactyl. Oh, it was as well. But we're actually going to drop drop down. We're actually going to finish off the zoo section now. So smash the other one in there, the snake in there. Smash the pterodactyl in there. And that is the next museum artifact. So turn around. Turn around. Grab your next museum artifact, bro. Yeah, bro. And so what we're actually going to do now is actually head all the way back up to where the thief is. So where we started in the starting area, we're actually going to go up to the thief with the ring and complete that one. So again, like I said, apologies that I didn't do before, but I jumped down, done this. You know, it's all good. I hope I haven't steered you too wrong. 
um, in this particular game so far. <laughs> so I hope that, you know, you won't mind a little, just a little backtracking just this once. Um, so what we need to do is glide our way up to the dinosaur here at the, the uh, middle of the room, of course. And then go to the right, slide your way over. We're going to climb the rope once again. Now, this next sort of, the th this thief mission genuinely gave me anxiety. And I'm not sure if it's just because I am an absolute fan bag with heights. Um, but you'll see what I mean now. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to climb up. There's nothing else to collect here now. We should be pretty much all squared away, which is owl good. And then we've just got a couple of minutes left on this level now. Fantastic. Ah, oh, what a douche. Loser! Okay. Right, so from here, we need to jump directly in front of us. So get the biggest jump you can and start aiming towards the right. So where the um, red tiny kin eggs are, head to the right there. You will actually make it then. So grab the next four, so six there, four there, and another three. So that should put us up to 35 reds. Um, I do advise smashing this rope down just in case you end up falling from the top um, and you end up having to come back up here. You can just climb yourself, climb your way back up. But what we need to do then, we're going to build a tower and directly in front of us, you can see the, the floating tambourine. So very carefully, make sure to jump on that boy. There we go. And you just need to aim and shoot four tiny kins. We're basically just getting rid of all the uh, comets. That's all it is. So jump across. Again, it's, it's giving me anxiety because I think I'm going to fall. And like I said, I'm a bit of a fan bag with heights anyway. So <laughs> it's not good. So collect the one bit of pollen and all of the red, uh, red broskies on there. Then jump straight across again. And you should make it there with relative ease. And you need to destroy this comet right in front of us, or asteroid, whatever you want to call it. Asteroid it is, really, isn't it? Uh, jump across, make sure to get all three. Like I said, we smash the rope down. And if you want to, if you want to die, just let yourself drop, die, and you'll just start back here anyway. Uh, smash this asteroid and the one to the uh, left of us there, or the right of us, wherever you are looking from. And we need to go in front of us now. And we need to climb onto this rope. Now, I just about make this one. So, if you're needing, as we grab all of the pollen and all the red ones on this as well. So, now we're on 1,191 um, or 2, whatever that was. So, we've only got 9 left now and that's it. Hooray! All right. This is the one that gave me anxiety. I would highly recommend just making a little bit of a tower for yourself before flying over. Because I was crapping my pants that I wouldn't make it. And in fact, I just made it. So, destroy this comet, or this asteroid, first. Let's get this one out of the way. Jump over to the next flying maraca charaka ting ting tong ting 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 And then over to the next one. Destroy this asteroid on the left. Nope, that's the right pile. Okay, there we go. Destroy this asteroid. Now what we're going to do is jump over to the spaceship on the right, because it has another three red tiny kin. So, smash those ones out. And job done. So what we'll do now, I actually do end up building a tower here. Flying across to the uh, sort of middle tambourine. So just jump. You should have plenty of bubbles, so don't worry about that. But jump with the middle tambourine. Destroy. You'll have to fly. Start flying over. So get a good bit of height. Start flying over and destroy the last asteroid floating midair. And that, luckily... Now you can unclench your butt cheeks, because that is exactly what I did. My butt cheeks were psh, clenched together like an absolute, you know, like an absolute king. And now they unclench. So pick up the, um, the ring, of course. We're flying, f gliding back over. We're going to jump back up. We're going to get ourselves the... If you collected the first museum artifact with the um, shooting the balloons earlier, you will now get the achievement called Legendary Collection because I missed it. <laughs> this is a second one for me. But because I missed the first one earlier on, I, we won't get it yet. But that's fine. I'll grab that in just a bit. So if you want to double check, uh, you should be on... Not, you should only have nine left. And I'll tell you where they are. They're directly in front of us. So when we drop down... Off here, there is just one silk boy that we forgot to pop open earlier, which is absolutely fine. So this should be the final nine that you need. Um, hopefully it is, and we are all good, and we've celebrated getting all of the pollen in every single level. Um, if not, again, 
sadly may have to do a bit of backtracking, but hopefully we're all good. And then what we can do is just drop down. We're going to drop down to, our, to where Sakura, Sakara, whatever your name is. Sakaru, Sakaru, enter Sakaru. Anyway, talk to him to get your final glider bubble. That will get us the Master Brewer achievement for some reason. It may take a, a little while to unlock. Head over to where the trophy stand is. So go onto the track and build a tower on these uh, pallets and then throw the trophy at the trophy case. I'm just waiting for... There it is. So it did take a while for the Master Brewer achievement to unlock. But that unlocked and you should get this achievement as well for completing this. Now this, once again, is just unbelievable. I love it. So we've got Alanza versus Shumi for the 2006 Formula 1 world title. Barry Keller, there's Hamilton there. Jerickson. Jerickson and Jerickson. Jerickson and Jerickson. Uh, that must just be a commentator for for Sky Sports Hamilton. <laughs> Featuring David Croft and every Sky Sports F1 presenter. Yeah, let's not get let's not get in too much into that. The um you know, the constant ball licking of Lewis Hamilton from the Sky Sports F1 crew. Anyway, we're not getting into that. We're having a watch of the race. And as it turns out then, this is one that Alanza won. So Fernando Alonso, 2006 Formula 1 world champion. While Shumi goes off into a lovely retirement before coming back in 2010. And sadly only getting one more podium for his troubles. Ah, sad Schumacher noises. But there we go. That is that complete. So basically we've done the level now. Um, but of course, what I forgot to grab was that first bloody museum artifact. Um, but what you should have in terms of tiny Pikmin is this pretty much exact number. So you should have 42 pink, around 8 to 10 reds, uh, 30 greens, uh, between 15 and 20 blues. I had 15 blues there to finish off, but up to 20, 21, something like that, and 60 yellows. As long as you've got that sort of rough number, that means you will know that you've collected them all and the only, and the, we're basically going to get the next, the got to catch them all achievement in the next chapter um, after we grab the only four in the level. So at this point, I'm going, I'm sure I'm missing something. Uh, so as the cutscene begins, yes, I'm going, shit, I missed the goddamn museum artifact. Ah, well. So again, I apologize about this one. If you collected it and you got the achievement, you should be good to just uh, fall straight through the hole and job done. So you can just crack on. Uh, we're going to end up in the Chrysler screen, whatever that is. But I'm just going to quickly nip back. I'll meet you guys there, okay? We're just going to nip back and grab that museum artifact. So go ahead, jump up on the rope. If, again, this is just if you followed me. If not, oh, stupid. Sell it. Oh, God damn it. See, Russian now. Look, I'm... I'm anxious because I let you down. Sorry for letting you down. There we go. There it is. Look. Ah, what a stupid butt bag. That I truly, truly am. So, Legendary Collection should finally unlock for me. Hopefully that would have unlocked a little bit earlier for you. If you grabbed everything. But that's it for this level now. So if you want to have a little achievement check, you should now only have three achievements left. That's got to catch them all. The Friendly Ghost. And basically for completing the game. So if you want to have a check, you should be on 40 out of 43. So now we can finally just drop down into the crazy workshop. And this last chapter literally takes roughly about five minutes. So it is absolutely nothing at all. It's all good. Okay. Oh, ech, no, ech, what has happened to my machine here? Yeah? It's not working. Oh, no. Which basically means, oh crap, it's not working in um, proper English, not tick, not shit talk language. Right, so what we need to do then is head all the way up to the top. Uh, we're heading up towards the attic now, so that's we're next fantastic. So jump on the rope. You can have a look at the museum artifacts if you want. Everything should be there since we've got it collected. So uh, jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump, jump, climb, climb. 
And what you need to do on this silk line, just jump off to the left to grab the rope. For some reason, my, my thumb decided to freeze, so we'll do it this time. And just make your way up. So like I said, there's only four tiny kins to collect, and there is the final ghost as well. And all we're doing is just chucking those four reds at um, at a stereo, and, that, and that's it. And there's just a couple of minutes worth of cutscene. And the games end. Wow, what a journey we've been on, huh? So, what we're going to do then is just head forward. And it's just basically going to be a big... We are just in the attic. There's a big gap here on the right that we're going to nip through. There we go. I think I think that was a very good theme tune for the last one. Right. Go directly ahead of you. Uh, go past the house for now. We'll go up there in a second. Turn to the right. And this is where Gasper the Friendly Ghost is. Casper the Friendly Coast. Can you actually see me? Yeah, that's why I've been interacting with you, you big dumb bag. Maybe you shouldn't have died and then people, more people would see you, but hey, that's sure <laughs> it's up to you. Anyway, that'll be the friendly ghost. That should be the friendly ghost achievement unlocked. If not, just have a look at each level on my timestamps and um, have a look from there. And then we can, well, we don't need to speak. We just need to collect the four tiny kin behind this guy. That will also get us the gotta catch them all achievement. And the last one now is literally just for finishing the game. So we have made it! Right, nothing else to do except uh, jump back down from the house. And I can't remember if you speak to these broskies automatically. Uh, nope, I just decided to speak to them. Um, but basically all we need to do, there's a big battery pack on the front of the stereo right here. And that's all we got to do is throw the four tiny kins at them. And once that's done, this, this just ends the game. So, enjoy your last throwing of the bombs, buddy boys. Bam, 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 wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. What a treat. This'll be neat. Uncle Mo's. Why you eat? Right, okay. Maybe there is one more thing that we've got to do. So, we've just got to glide back towards the house now. And then it's, then it's done. So, I'll just do that... Uh, you know, game end a bit again. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This would be a treat while you eat. Uncle Mouse! supposed to shrink people for centuries now. The mutilations I call this house, or rather this a being that caused the ex But it's funny. My, I've never seen the... I need to get back to Earth. The, the real the technology I need to finish my machine, it didn't exist in... My young friend, I'm very lucky the blueprint is... So you won't. So yeah, will. We won't have... That bone, it's just a toy now. Take that. Send so no. Shut it here. Take no. Merlidane. A thousand, if I remember. So that. Yeah. 
So if you got the story then, that kind of looked to me like this dude decided to midget himself and then smash the earth to pieces. Top job, Brodsky. Um Yeah, so, well done. Although, to be honest, can you imagine being small and trapped in a house? Oh, man, that'll be... I mean, for a lot of introverts, that'll probably be fantastic. That'll be their idea of heaven. Just talk to a couple of bugs, no problem. You don't have to worry about anything else, anyone else. Anyway, that is that. So now, we're done with the game. We are literally done with the game. I'm just showing you the ending cutscene anyway, because it's all cute. But that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really did enjoy this game. To, to put a guide together for all of the collectibles in every level was a bit of a pain sometimes. But, I mean, just in terms of it was a fun game. It was just chill. Really enjoyed it. So, well done, Splash Team. Also, well done, Splash Team, again, for the F1 reference. That, 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 that generally got my... Uh, uh, nips go in there to be honest. I really enjoyed that. So uh, yeah, big so thank you so much um, But again, thank you so so much for watching guys and gals if you enjoyed the guide of course Don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well uh, Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on patreon Such Absolute legends and with that one finally done. I'm gonna go for a nap and I'll see you in the next game pass game guys and gals big la 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 love